Oh well. Oh, apparently I'm on chill music today. Okay. Well, if you insist, music. Hello, everybody. It's Minecraft. It's Minecraft day. So, how are we holding up? I'm a little, I'm a, I'm a, I'm not going to lie to you. I'm not going to lie to you. I'm like just a little bit, a little bit EP. Um, of course, through no fault of my own, uh, nothing I did would make me EP. I did not stay up late watching Lies of P. I did not read any book. I did not <laughs> uh, forget to blink until a little bit ago. Uh, but hey, I'm here now, and I'm speed eating some yakisoba, and uh, having a little stamina potion, playing Minecraft, listening to Roos play Minecraft. Oh fuck, it. that is the sauce. That's why your name is Sauce, because you understand the secret sauce. Thank you, I said for the delicious chip. I did too a little. It's all right. See, that's what we're talking about. What is the flavor today? I am eating Korean barbecue flavored uh, yakisoba. She. That time's flying already? It sure is. Thank you for the, I mean, awful two months. Thank you, Hosha. Hosha, you get the, you understand the assignment. Anyway, thank you very much for wishing me uh, luck on visiting family. It should be okay. We'll see. Depends. <laughs> uh, I go eat now, though. Good night, Win. Sleep well. Um, Yakisoba, my beloved. Rose, look out. There's a fire behind you. Is the fire in the room with us right now? <laughs> Sammy and Neurotic Alien. Thanks for being a Rusader and a Jackax, respectively. All right, Neurotic Alien. Good luck with that voice back. Um, don't say I didn't warn you. That's a mood. So real. Mm -mm. Just flee to the bathroom if stuff gets awkward. Yeah, that's true. Yay, thank you, thank you. The trip's not important. What is important is that today we're going on a different journey. A journey in the world of Minecraft in which I will be making a road. And if I'm feeling, you know, if I'm feeling up to it, maybe I'll make like a little logging camp or maybe a stable. I don't know. We'll see. Hate mail for you. Thank you, Orangemaru. Uh, I will take that hate mail in stride. I will hold it near and dear to my heart, where I will then uh, toss it directly into a fire. <laughs> Delicious. Thanks for the... That's not a glizzy. Thanks for the... Um, what the fuck would you call a burger? The blizzy. <laughs> Thanks for getting slizzard. Uh, craft of the mind. Whoa. Many months with Ruse. Wait, I have to be here for months? Oh, man, when I signed the contract, they didn't say it was going to be months. Thanks for the sand, though. I don't know if you can call it. Can you call a burger a sandwich? I feel like that's got to be some sort of sin, right? Like, that's got to be sacrilegious in at least some way. Ruse! I'm a new fan of yours. A friend introduced me to you. First of all, that friend sabotaged you, so keep an eye on them from now on. Don't ever call them a friend. Like, you can call them a friend to their face or whatever, but you need to make sure you're, like, investigating what's going on because it sounds like they're trying to do something to fuck with you. Uh, I would not trust their taste if they lured you over here to look at my vile, vile visage and hear my, my toxic words. But, hey, welcome in. Enjoy your stay while you can, I guess. <laughs> a hamburger is not a sandwich. That's what I'm saying. Is a hot dog a taco? If Magni asked that question, Magni was asking the right questions. Fighting the status quo, you know what I mean? Happy two months. Thanks. Minecraft, yippee! I like your omen PFP. Good luck, Usaka. Tsukini. Wow. Thank you. Take time for ruse? I'm going to be taking time for uh, homework, family, and obligations, but I will try my best to take some ruse time in between. Hey, that's okay, Chills. You got a lot of homework. Uh, well, homework? I mean, VODs, which is your homework. You can catch up on. Don't worry too much about it. Mm -mm -mm. Did you just call me the rap kid? Oh, no. Oh, no. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> 
Oh, no. If I'm the Rap King, Hollow, Hollow Star ZN's got to get some flavor in it. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> I, put, I, I, I dropped a little dab of, like, fucking Wonder Bread into the soup, and everybody's like, oh, he's the Rap King. <laughs> Oh, that's fair. Uh, thanks. <laughs> Thank you very much. Oh, man. Uh, that's funny. That's good. Thank you. I, I, I understand. <laughs> that's very kind of you to say. Uh, I, I hope you can stick with me on my rap journey. Uh, whew, that's funny. Uh, let me have a little bite of my yakisoba. I'm going to chill for a second. Anyway, I hope you guys have a good week or whatever. I'll be keeping an eye on Twitter and social media and, you know, doing my due diligence as... Uh, as an idol and or, um, I don't know, uh, <laughs> servitor to government. <laughs> oh, yeah, and I'm going to be doing a karaoke rebroadcast on, I want to say Saturday. I'm going to try my best to do a gorilla stream maybe next week, but no promises. Um, and then I'm going to have one more stream on Monday before I go on my trip. And it... Will probably be some sort of marathon. Again, not I can't like promise that, promise that, but I'm gonna try my best. Num num num. <clears throat> what cosplay are you working on, B? Num num num. Also, what Pokemon, Siona? Tell me you won't. Ew, you guys heard that slurp? I gotta mute that next time. Yuck. Slitherwing! I do like a Slitherwing, but I will say that Volcarona is still my favorite Pokemon. Sowie! Is that noodles? Yeah, I'm having Yakisoba. We're just vibing. We're all we're, we're gonna hang out. This is now a mukbang. Is it mukbang? Wait, I feel like I've had this conversation before. Mukbang? Mukbang? Hagwitch says, are you going to take the kitties with your ears or are you going to have someone watch them? Um, I've got to have a cat sitter hang out with them. Thankfully, uh, my neighbor is willing to, you know, come over and feed them. So I'm going to have them come over to the tavern room where I keep my cats and feed them once in a while. You cannot. You may not. <laughs> How about Reed God? Yeah, sure. We can go with that. Go. No problem. Oh wait, I probably missed. I probably missed. I probably missed the cosplay. But you know what? Fuck it. I guess I missed it. That's on me. That's on me for not reading fast enough. <laughs> what does the kitty's room in the tavern look like? Uh well, if you have minchies, you actually seen pictures of it. There's a little cat tree and there's like uh there's some vines and stuff. Um Yeah, I mean it's pretty cute. There's a little desk they like to play on. Which I just recently put in there, actually. Listen, I would love to go find the cats in Minecraft, but that's quite a um, it's quite an endeavor, and I want to I want to craft today. I'm feeling crafting, but I might still do it. Uh, I'm not saying no. I'm just saying I'm gonna start with probably working on my road or. Maybe I want to work on the place the road connects to first and then connect it with the road. <laughs> we'll see. Cats can spawn in villages if you find one. Arr, I did not ignore this. Hey, thanks, Pumpkin Patch Cat. I try when I can. Uh, I haven't DM'd in a long while. It's actually, you know what's funny about that D&D stream is I didn't think this was going to happen. But right before it, I started to get really nervous, which is weird because, uh, yeah, you can get a bug fact. No problem, Chili Bean. Um, bug fact. Did you know bugs are free and you can just take them home? But if you want a real bug fact, did you know that mini bugs actually breathe through spiracles, which are like sort of um, not spiral shaped, but like rounded holes on the side of their bodies that are really tiny? They actually breathe through a ventilation system, essentially, where instead of like sucking in air using lungs, they let oxygen flow into them naturally. And then that goes directly into their bloodstream since their blood is free flowing, not inside a vascular si or a vein system like humans. Um, so if you were to drop a bug in water, they're actually drowning because it, water will get in their spiracles. Anyway, happy birthday.
So try not to put bugs in water unless they're meant to be there. Some bugs can, like, have ways to handle that or close the spiracles off. Cool, but why did you know that? You want to know why I knew that? Hold on. Felix says, what's up, loser? In the shortest amount of time you've become a hole. Oh, yes. Yes, I did it. Definitely don't have as much fun on your trip as possible. I expect hugs when you get back. I'll parry those hugs. Accept. Thanks for being exceptional, Elliot. Holy shit. Um, um, what was the question earlier? Uh, oh. You asked why I knew that. I know that because I was... This comes back around to D&D, &D, by the way. I know that fact about bugs because I was researching bugs to figure out how likely it was that a bug could survive at human size if I wanted to have a bipedal carapace creature. And eventually I settled on the idea that they're not actually bugs. They're carapace like bugs, so people see them like bugs, and they're vaguely segmented, but not as much as a bug. Um... I don't know if I want them to breathe through spiracles because I think that would be a huge limitation on an adventuring type of character. Uh, but they're still like bug-like in most of the ways that matter or count. Uh, but I was researching bugs and why they couldn't grow to that size. And a lot of it actually has to do with the fact that they don't have lungs to pull in air. So the oxygen wouldn't flow through them correctly. It would have too much chitin to pass through for the air to like actually give them the oxygen they need to survive at that size. Anyway, that all ties back around to saying... When I was doing that D&D session, for some reason, I got really nervous right before I did it. And I was like, why am I nervous? And I remember that I haven't DM'd in like two years, three years or something like that. And even then, I've only ever DM'd for one group. And it was the same campaign for like three fucking years. So I was like, oh, that's why I'm nervous. Because I'm not that experienced of a DM, if I'm being honest with you. Like, yes, I DM'd for a long time. But like, uh, I, and I and I did have new players and a couple veterans then. And they all said I did a great job. But they could have just been, been being nice to me. So I was like, oh shit, maybe I fucked up. Maybe I bit up more than I could chew. But I had a good time. It was cool. I mean, I think I did all right. I, I definitely need to practice a little more. I think sometimes uh, I have an issue where I can slow the game down by being too descriptive. And then other times I have issues where I feel like uh, I let plot hooks get a little meandering. And that's on me, but we'll, we'll get there. Random question. Do you have a favorite Kigurumi? Says Tsukiko. Um. Hmm. Yeah, I've got one that's like skeleton themed. It's got, it's like all black with like little white bone patterns on it. It's got like a little skull hood. I think that's pretty cute. Um. But I don't really wear Kigurumis a lot. When I do, I wear that one. Nyan beans. Thank you for the chips. Nim, 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 nim. Hey, how's your first session go, Mardok? I think we're going to treat this beginning part like a just chatting, by the way. We're just going to have a little short zatsu while I eat my breakfast, and then we'll get started for real. We'll get our actual game started. Nom, 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 nom. Anytime I can inspire anybody to play, or rather, anytime I can inspire anybody to play D&D, great. But if I can inspire you to DM or run D&D, I feel like in some ways I'm carrying along Matthew Colville's legacy. And uh, I could not ask for a more flattering um, statement than that. Do I know about The Broom? I don't know about the broom. It's not the flying broom, is it? <laughs> Never give a broom to flying to your team. I was so nervous, I realized I could only do four voices. Hey, you don't have to do voices for D&D. That's fine. Also, if you could do four different voices, you could actually do like 16 to 32 voices because all you got to do is slide an accent or pitch up or pitch down on a voice. For example, if you're like, whoa, I can only do a deep voice and I can only do a high voice. It's like, okay, well, now if I had a British accent to my high voice, well, suddenly I could do two high voices. Isn't that fun? And then you add a little gravel to it, and you're like, wow, suddenly I can do three high voices. That's kind of cool. And then you add some, like, fucking, I don't know, like a cadence shit, and you're like, well, I think that if I were to talk a little slower and crack it some, maybe now it's a, uh, a nervous nerd voice. Bam, you got four different voices up at the top. That was easy. Um, hell yeah, no problem, Nova, and good luck. Get it, Emiru. Get the D&D &D set and play. 
That's beautiful, enticing thorn. Glad to hear it. Mm -mm. Good muse. Muse Wallace says, I'm definitely gearing up to use my map of Imperium to do a short campaign. Fuck yeah. But can a Kermit voice work? Any voice you want can work in D&D. Wow! Thanks for being an axle, space cowboy! <laughs> Alright, I'm almost done with my food, I promise. And then I promise we'll get to actual Minecraft. I know this isn't much Minecraft. Somebody's gonna sit down and watch this VOD and be like, What the fuck? Did this dude just yap for 20 minutes? I did. Maybe half an hour. Who knows? Um, Odabi says, Any tips for starters? If you're talking about uh, DMing, my tip is have fun with it. Do not expect that you're going to live up to the ideals of whatever DM you... Um hold to whatever standard i think when i first got into dm dming i thought i wanted to be like matthew colville or um somewhat like matthew mercer i think I, uh, there was a part of me that was like anti matthew mercer in a way that was like i could i don't have to be like that i could be better than that or whatever or like i could do it my own way like i'm so tired of these people thinking i have to be like that uh but there's a part of me that also is like a big fan of matthew mercer since before critical role or whatever i liked him as a voice actor and I have to admit, Matthew Mercer is an incredibly good DM and great at characters and creating narrative hooks and making sure that his um, players stay in game. Whoa, Arzuros! I see you. <laughs> Azuros, thank you for the delicious chips and thank you, Space Cowboy, for the chips. But uh, I think the reality is you're never going to live up to that image because that image is handcrafted for the screen and is not what... Not what actual D and D is. Even even Mercer, for example, I was I was watching a um, interview because I've been taking an interest in Brian Lee Mulligan lately because uh, I hear he's a really good DM and he seems really funny. And he was interviewing Marisha Ray and they were talking and um, sorry, Brennan Lee Mulligan. I said Brian. Wow. Uh, and uh, he said he asked a question about their home campaign and stuff like that. And Marisha was like, "Well, our home campaign was a lot of like, you know." dick jokes and irreverent humor and we would stop and eat snacks or we'd have side conversations or sometimes we'd be on our phone it didn't really become like a coherent like super like engaging narrative until we made it a show so it was a lot like everybody else's home game which is exactly how home games are always going to be like nobody's going to play a campaign that behaves like critical role or like dimension 20 you're probably going to play a game that is much more like the Adventure Zone, and that's okay, and you should enjoy that for what it is. You can still have an important, engaging narrative that's fun and care about your characters, but the reality is it's not a comment on you as a DM. If your players get a little dist distracted or aren't always as engaged as you wish they were, just uh, try to enjoy yourself. Go with the, like Roll with the punches. Make your own jokes. Have your own fun. Don't treat the game like it needs to be some like dramatic story all the time. Because every dramatic story has a lot of like levity to it. Other than that, don't over-prepare is my advice. My, my, my major advice to the DM is whatever you think you need to prepare, go ahead and do that. And then prepare in a modular sense. Con Air, thank you for the gift chips. Uh, and when I say prepare in a modular sense, I mean always prepare in a way where you can play Legos not fill in a puzzle, right? You don't want to have this piece that has to go right here. And you're like, it has to fit in this corner. It can't go anywhere else. You want it to be able to slot into multiple places so that if your players do something you don't expect or go somewhere you didn't want, you can still just be like, well, I'm still slapping that bad guy in front of them uh, and just explain why it's there, right? So if you're like, oh, my players have to talk to this town guard, and if they don't, everything's ruined. So then you're forced to railroad them, and then they feel like they're not making their own choices, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. But if you have a bad guy that could be anywhere any time or has multiple lieutenants that you can use to kind of guide the players toward that bad guy that's not railroading that's just emergent narrative baby teriyaki thanks for being an axle i always build dungeons that i feel like could be literally anywhere in my world right like if, if somebody's like oh well your dungeon's too grounded in being a mountain dungeon i'm like uh you add a few flavor schmack rolls onto that bad boy and it's anything i want it to be i had some vines on the walls and some sort of like uh you know sort of sickly water maybe some the smell of rot it's a swamp dungeon if i don't want that and i'm like oh this is a dungeon flying in the air because everyone took airships to get there okay well suddenly it's an ancient temple it's got a lot of like open open air and fans everywhere and like you know maybe a cloud layer underneath you can just change things around do what you need 
need to do. Build loosely so that you can always fill in the gaps as needed for wherever you need it to be. Okay, let me finish these noodles while, while, while you guys ask whatever or say whatever. Would you consider doing a D&D Q&A stream? Honestly, yeah, but I'm not qualified. Like, you should, you'd be better off asking somebody like Brennan Lee Mulligan or Matthew Mercer or Matthew Colville or just a better DM than me. Honestly, you'd probably be better off even asking, like, Gr Griffin McElroy. But if you wanted me to, I'd be down. Ah. Have I listened to my brother, my brother, and me? Yes, I've probably listened to about 350 episodes of it. Silent Gamer says, Have you ever had a joke character in a campaign? Like a player that Max specked into one skill and became a one-trick pony glass cannon kind of character? One, no. Two, I would recommend you don't do that as a player. It's fine and funny for a one-shot. And it's okay for like two or three sessions. Eventually, at least from my experience, you're going to get bored of that real quick. Um, because the reality is, and a lot of people don't want to hear this, is that D&D &D is really simple. It's not a complex game. Um, and the combat genuinely after a point boils down to you take your 20 seconds on your turn. And then you spend like anywhere from depending on group size, 10 minutes to half an hour until your next turn. Which is fine if you're really, really engaged in the narrative and not fine if you're running a cycle charge build that tries to get, like, advantage on an attack while doing a plus two for charge, while doing extra damage for heavy weapon, using specifically a lance to do as much charging damage as possible, and then you break away from combat and do another cycle charge. If every turn your strategy is the exact same and you're not thinking on your feet, trying to do combat in, like, a vaguely narrative way... You're probably going to get bored, and you'd probably rather be playing something like Baldur's Gate or Divinity or fucking, I don't know, Age of Wonders 4, because you probably want more complexity out of your combat than D&D can offer. I feel like people who min-max D&D, while valid, I don't have a problem with that. I think min-max characters are fun, aren't actually wanting to play D&D most of the time. They probably want to play something with more crunch to it. Um, but... I do think D&D can be a good outlet for that at times, but I think D&D lends itself to roleplay more than crunchy combat, which is why I really want to play Pathfinder 2 at some point. I want to DM that really bad because I think it probably would have pretty good crunchy combat, but I think there's even crunchier systems out there I'd really want to mess around with. There's a part of me that thinks combat would be better suited handled in a different game than D&D while handling roleplaying in a similar way to how D&D handles roleplaying. Uh, but the TTRPG system I'm working on hopes, I, I hope, to kind of alleviate that or target that in some ways. Muse Wallace says, combat in D&D &D can be so tedious in my opinion. Yeah, I think everybody goes through their cycles in D&D, &D, right? Uh, everybody goes through these, like, phases where they really play D&D specifically for the combat and min-maxing things. And then there comes a time when they're like, D&D &D and combat... Combat in D&D &D is just so slow or tedious or like you don't get your turn fast enough or it's not engaging enough or there's not enough options or there's too many options. Um, but none of them are viable except for this specific option. And that's just like, eh. That makes sense. I agree. But I think that's the nature of tabletop, right? Like it's never going to be as fast paced as a video game. I think video games have kind of, especially for people who like crunch like me, have kind of tarnished tabletop combat because it's just a little too slow uh at times can you make that noise again <sighs> have i ever played vampire the masquerade no no i have not i've researched the system though um i hear that there's a couple good video games around it it's not really my flavor. I fe My fear with Vampire the Masquerade is if I sit down at a Vampire the Masquerade table, the first thing that's going to happen is someone gets real lascivious with me, which is fine. I mean, that's cool, I guess. It's just not my... I, I, I struggle to play aggressively um, edgy. Edgy, like, 
I like edgy comedic. I think edgy edgy is a little, uh, it can be annoying at times, like taking yourself super seriously edgy. Um, it works for like NPC characters, but when I'm trying to embody that character, it kind of makes me want to crawl out of my skin. And I, I feel like often Vampire the Masquerade, you either have to be edgy or very sexy. And I am not good at role playing either of those things. Uh, because I, I, I guess I don't believe it or I don't buy into it. Or maybe because being that person makes me want to like pull my teeth out of my, like, like it makes me want to rip, put my hands like through my torso slide them out of my mouth and then peel myself open. You know what I mean? Like, I just don't want to, I don't, I don't feel like doing it. <laughs> yeah, I'll take some crunchy soup with that crunchy combat. Thanks, Conair. Um, yum, yum, yum. Yeah, it's kind of like being, it's kind of like if Azure Ruse possessed me, it'd be fucked up. <laughs> Now, I'm not saying you can't have a good Vampire the Masquerade setting. That's not fair to Vampire the Masquerade players. I'm not saying every Vampire the Masquerade player is that way. I just know that I've seen enough D&D &D players who are that way, who I just, I am, I, I, ooh, I can just fucking sense it on them, right? Like, they haven't heard of Vampire the Masquerade yet, but if they had heard of it, they'd be all over it. And I know if I sat at a table with those people, the first thing that would happen is some dude across from me would be like, can I roll the seduce Rosie character? And I'd be like, no, dude, that's not how this works. Uh. Or, you know, I'm sorry, that's not fair to, like, D&D &D dudes. Uh, or some girl across the table. Just as, just as bad. Just as bad. We, I give a lot of shit to, like, <laughs> overtly creepy dudes in role-playing environments. There's just as many overtly creepy ladies. And probably non-binary people. I don't fucking know. But I've had a lot of bad experiences with a lot of people in a role-playing setting. So... <laughs> We can't be vampires now. We can't be sexy. It's true. Nyarihado. Exactly. You got to roll to seduce the dragon sometimes. Sometimes. Yeah. Mm-mm-mm-mm. Nyaruhodo. I have had good times playing with um, strangers in D&D, &D, by the way. Like, I played an online pick-up-and-play session once where I played a... I did it mostly because I wanted to play a build. I had been itching to play really bad, uh, and I didn't really care about the character. I was doing a lizard man, barbarian. Um, I think I was playing a ranger so I could get maxed out movement speed. I think I took the Barbarian's uh, extra movement speed at level 3 where you get 10 extra feet of movement speed so you could run 40 feet a second or a turn. And then I took the Ranger class that gives you another 10 feet, so it was 50 feet. Um, and then I was basically doing a full strength grapple build where I was using the Lizard Man's bite attack to get advantage on grappled targets by pushing them down so they were on the ground, grappling them so they couldn't stand up because D&D 5e has very stupid rules for grapple, where if somebody's grappled, they get zero movement, but if you have zero movement, you can't stand up. So I had to try and save against my strength check, but because I was a barbarian who was raging, I had advantage on strength checks. So I'd basically be pinning them to the ground, biting them every turn, and then even moving at half movement speed while dragging somebody grappled, I was still moving 25 feet a turn. So that was pretty brutal. Yeah, it was like a, it was like, well, the, the idea was I built an alligator, right? I would basically rush out of the water, bite somebody, and then start running every turn with them while I was biting them. Like, I'd be sprinting with them, dragging them 25 feet a turn, biting them like an alligator trying to get them back to the water, and then death rolling with them. And if I could get them into the water, they were basically fucked. Because, you know, lizard men have a very good natural swim speed, and most creatures do not. Um, so that was funny. Chompy Roos win? Uh -uh. One day. Coming back to this with zero. <laughs> yeah, I guess. Actually, that's a little crunchy. That's a little deep for anybody who just got here. Sorry, we were talking about D&D &D for a second. Teleports behind you. 
See you later, alligator. What was really funny about the character is that the DM was like, well, at least you can't, like, like, yeah, he moves 50 feet to turn, but at least you can't, like, get to these enemies in the back. I'm like, dude, your character's, like, your longbow range is, what, 100 feet, 300 feet if you're getting disadvantage? I could catch you. If you dash with 50 feet of movement speed, that doubles it, so you get 100 feet of movement speed in a turn. It was pretty stinky. It was pretty gross. Imagine a, a, a screaming, raging, frothing at the mouth lizard man running 100 feet every six seconds at you. <laughs> he don't bite. Yes, he do! <laughs> sounds like a normal time. That sounds like a nightmare. Me want bite. Me want bandit leg delight. Me want deep ride. Me think death rolling is nice. Okay, anyway, let's get into Minecraft, shall we? <laughs> Wait, I got one more bite of noodles. I got one more bite of noodles. I changed the lyrics. It's not copyrighted anymore. Now it's mine. Okay. Mm -mm -mm. Oh shit, I forgot to grab music. Hold on. Shit, Newman. Newman. Okay, this should work. Goodbye to those dipping out. Uh, hello to those stepping in. My music is a widow too loud. Actually, it's all right, I guess. That's fine. Don't worry, it'll stop being ominous in a second. Good luck at work, Sanders. Hey, Odanimal, welcome in. Ah, radio it is. Is that a bit too loud? This song goes so hard. Nah, this is the overlay today. Enjoy. This is what I've decided you get for your overlay. Okay, I turned the music down, you Dewido. All right, so. Um... Last we left off, for those who were unaware, did not watch the VOD, I had started, I finished this bridge. I'll give you a quick look at the bridge if you'd like. Uh, and this well, which is cool. And I did, uh, you know, some of the beginning of the road, but not a ton of it yet. Speaking of, I have a ton of shit in my inventory I need to clean out. So first things first, I'm going to clean out my inventory, but I'll give you a quick look at the bridge before I do that. Oh, and I built the beginnings of a staircase, which will, uh, I'll sort that out with Dark Oak probably at some point. I kind of wish I could do packed dirt stairs. I would love to do that for roads and stuff. Um, but since I can't, we'll settle for wood. It should still look good on the map, so it'll be all right. And there is our bridge. As you can see, there's a little bit of like a uh, mesh style wood underneath. And then we've got the mesh in the middle. We've got our little support beams. And we've got signal fires up on the top in those little braziers, 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 braziers. I don't fucking know.
It looks really cool at night, I'll tell you that. Hey, I don't know what that says. I apologize. I believe that's Korean, but I could be wrong. Um, but hi, welcome in. I forgot how to say hi in Korean. I thought I learned that at some point. Damn it. A brazier? I think a, braz a brazier is a bra. I think a br brazier is what the fire goes in. Annyeong. There you go. Ah, no, no. I see, I see, I see. Why is that dog up there? He lives up there right now. Don't question my dogs. Please let them live their life. Let them live their normal dog lives, okay? This very normal dog behavior. Don't be weird to my dogs. They're just trying to survive, all right? Ain't nothing weird about a, ain't nothing weird about a dog trying to live his doggy life. Hey, hey! Where's that puppy going? Hey! Sit, sit the fuck down. Good dog. Hey! No, no, bad, bad. God damn it. Get off the stairs. Get off the stairs. Get off the stairs. Get off the stairs. Thank you. You can wait there. Um. Okay, so let me organize some of my stuff real quick. And then we'll we'll get to work on the road. I think I'm gonna carry the stone cutter with me in case I feel like I want to use stone for anything. Um, but I'm gonna put away some of this stuff. Why is the Minecraft soundtrack so good? What's that about? Who gave it the right? Oh, that swelling. Ah, wee -wee. Hit me with it, Minecraft. Okay, anyway, put these back. Uh, I guess I can hold on to these. I'll put away this thing and this thing, because I don't need those right now. And then it gets real adventurous, you know? Fuck yeah, dude. Who gave it the right? Nice. That'll work. You know what this uh, soundtrack actually reminds me of? And I mean this as a compliment. It's going to sound like a comparison, and I don't mean it that way. But one game that really holds a lot of nostalgia for me that really gets me in this mood, this adventuring mood, is actually Starbound. Um, I played the fuck out of Starbound. And it always, the soundtrack for Starbound always gets me in that, like, sort of um, adventuring zone in my brain. Mm hmm. Oh, Starbound's so good. God damn. My only wish is that I... Not my only wish. My only regret with Starbound, rather, is that I didn't go and join some large multiplayer server for that game, because I feel like I would have had a ton of fun. Oh, yeah. That's going to look good on the map. That's going to look good on the map. Zombie. Ah, oh, well. Hey! I don't know what you're saying. I apologize. I can't read Korean. You might have to keep it to English in here, champ. I don't know if you're saying some sort of slurs. <laughs> but I like your little cats. Okay, I like this. I like this. Do I want to provide blocks on the side? To create... Hmm. Hmm. I'm not sure yet. I'm trying to decide if I want this to have like sort of um, blocks on the side so it creates a sort of railing style or oh, I could put actual railings on the side like fencing, I guess. I've never really done that with a staircase though. Typically what I do is I just do full blocks on the sides. Sweet. 
sus. I disagree. Pridoli. Thanks for the delicious chips. Good night, Quincy. Man, I'm going to miss Minecraft while I'm taking the stupid trip. What am I going to do without Minecraft? Oh, man. What am I going to do without my Minecraft iPad? What am I supposed to do? Read a book? You know what I'm not going to miss? Those goddamn Rosaders. <laughs> Good luck, gamers. To those of you who are larking. I'm not an iPad kid. I'm a boomer. Stop it. I mean, I'm a boomer. Stop it. Respect your elders. Wait, no, hold on. short all right let's see which one of these we like the look of better whoa is there anybody queepy up here won't miss you either thank you that's what i like to hear it's going to look a little weird because I'm basically going to be doing um, opposites on these, but that's okay. Which one do I like more? So the problem with the one on the left is that it's super disconnected in a way, and that's kind of a bummer. What I could do, theoretically, hold on. I don't, I don't love this one over here, I don't think. Damn, Roos confirmed a boomer? Yeah, I've done this a thousand... I've confirmed that a thousand times. I'm a big boomer. I'm like... I'm like so fucking old. I'm older than all your grandparents. I could do that. Uh, it's okay. But it just kind of recreates the problem, really. Hmm. <sighs> Maybe we just go with the planks. It's kind of boring, though. Go with more of this. Hmm. Mmm! A boily bowl of rage! I'm not an elf. Exactly. Thank you, Shin. Put a fins on top of the solid block. Yeah, that could be kind of cool, I guess. I mean, that's not bad. Ah, uh, that gets too tall. It starts. It starts to be like oppressive, like a wall on you. I'm going upstairs. We don't want that. I think that's as tall as I can really go. Is one block higher? It's not bad. I kind of like that, okay? I think that's pretty good. Gibby Lord says, where are you going, Ruse? Oh, you're trying to dox me, huh? You want to know where my family lives? Nice try. <laughs> South Elysium. <laughs> yeah, I think I like that, okay? I think we'll go with that for now. That's all right. This will do. 
if we change our mind, we can always come back and do different stairs. Anyway, let's go take a little nap. <laughs> yeah, I like that okay, I guess. I'm going over the meadows and through the woods. You're right, Pumpkin Patch. I sure am. A lump of coal in human form. Yes, that's exactly. How'd you know I was a, I'm a coal gajinka. <laughs> I'm actually your coal OC from your coal, coal, um, AU. How'd you know I had a coal OC? I know all your secrets. How'd I get out of your notebooks? Because I'm a real boy. <laughs> you can't contain my evil forever, father. Someday I'm going to get out and I'm going to fuck the world up. Haha! <laughs> <laughs> get fucked, idiot. Wow. Thanks for the soup with a little bit of dandelion. I don't know if I've ever eaten dandelion, but I hear it's actually pretty good. Like, good for you, rather, I guess. It's like some sort of medicinal thing. But uh, I've only ever, like, looked at dandelions and been like, cool, dandelions. I think I like dandelions because people think they're a weed. And I mean, they are weed by classification and by the way they treat the environment they're around. But I think there's some sort of stark beauty in them. You know what I mean? I've always, I, I feel like I've, I've, um... I don't know if this is like a recent development for me or it's something I've always kind of had, but I feel like I see a lot of beauty in really stark environments like tundras and stuff like that, or like hinterlands, highlands, things like that, like sweeping grass fields or like interspersed with like rock outcroppings and shit. Something about that's like nice. Nature is pretty fucking cool. I'm not, I'm not even, like, a huge nature guy. Like, I don't go out... Like, I do my job outside where I'm, like, you know, fucking smacking corruption beast and shit. But it's not like I'm, like, the type of guy who's like, oh, I'm gonna go pack my fucking granola and go on a big hiking trip or whatever. Though, I mean, honestly, I would like to get into hiking if there's any good places to hike around where I'm at, but there's not. Um, But, man, I don't know. Something about it. Something about it's real pretty. Can't really enjoy dandelions because they make me break out in hives, says Cersei. Just, just eat them. Eventually, you'll become immune, right? If you eat enough of what you're allergic to, you'll become immune. Don't actually do that. That is not official uh, advice. <laughs> uh, Demito Lupin says, hiking through urban areas is always really fun. Modern cities can be pretty, too. Um, I will tell you, any city near where I'm at is built for utility first and beauty absolutely last. Uh, it is not fun. It is not pretty. There are very, very, very few sidewalks or anything that is pedestrian uh, friendly. And most people are going to get pissed at you for existing anywhere on foot. Wolfrain says, got my ruse tattoo designed. Don't you dare get a tattoo of me on you. I swear to fucking God. Two, two months from now, you're going to be like, I hate that fucking ruse prick. I wish I didn't have this. <laughs> but also thank you I will try to meet cute bugs thank you Wispy for the soup as well and thank you Wolverine Gail says Jesus South Elysium sucks I live in a big city and can walk from one end to the other I live in the middle of nowhere South Elysium not even in a city and if I were to step outside right now not only is there no sidewalk outside where I'm living there is no sidewalk for miles and miles and then if I make it to the city there are sometimes sidewalks and they end abruptly for no reason on like fucking 
very busy intersections for wagons, and then everybody gets mad that you exist. There's no crosswalk. You have to sprint across, and no one's going to slow down for you. And then if you do sprint across, you might find, like, a, you know, about 20 yards of sidewalk on the other side if you're lucky, and it's all broken and fucking shattered to bits, and you're going to fucking twist your ankle walk. It's It sucks. It sucks. It is not built for people. The assumption here is that everybody rides a wagon, and if you're not riding a wagon, you're either homeless, which, if you're here and you're homeless, you're an objectively morally bad person and that's a personal failing um or you're a psychopath or a druggie you never know <laughs> it is thrilling in all the best ways if you use your legs you're a little weirdo here which is a shame because i love walking i love my 3 a.m walks so i guess i'm just a little weirdo There's so many huge pits here where I was going to build my road, which is kind of a bummer. I really wanted to put my road through here, but putting it so close to huge pits feels sort of off in the world building sense. Like, why would someone build a giant road right next to, like, such a hazard? Wow, that's a big pit. I always forget this one's here. I wish I could walk out uh, at 3 a.m. Uh, without feeling unsafe. Here's the thing. Don't do what I do. Walking at 3 a.m. where I'm at is not safe, but it's okay. I always carry my trusty uh, stick and knife with me, just in case. Um, and I keep my head down and I don't talk too much to anybody because if I did, I would probably be talking to one of the... Uh, let's say the area I'm living in. Let's... Hmm, how do I say this in a way that's family-friendly? Uh... You guys ever watch Breaking Bad? <laughs> never mind, that's a terrible lead off. Uh, never mind. Anyway, you shouldn't talk to the people who are walking around at 3 a.m. where I'm at. Uh, you probably shouldn't talk to anybody. You keep your head down and you walk on your side of the street. <laughs> Weirdest experience walking that late. Around here, not a lot, and I wouldn't tell you anyway, because it might be somewhat doxing. But at one point, uh, at a previous place, because I've moved a lot, and I do still move a lot. I hope to move again soon, honestly, and get the fuck away from here. Bye, Sarah! Uh, gotta go to the gym and rock show. Oh, I thought you meant, like, gym, like, workout, and you spelled it wrong. But you mean a gym and rock show. That's fucking sick. Congratulations. That sounds awesome. Don't you dare get obsidian, how dare you. Uh, why don't you get yourself some something cool, like, uh, I don't know, fucking, get like a aquamarine, or a tiger's eye, or, um, ooh, amethyst would be fire. Get amethyst. What do I want this road to be? Season Salt says, I can't walk anywhere by myself. I got a bit terrible habit of talking to strangers. Honestly, I tend to engage strangers too, just to show that like, I'm torn between the idea of I don't want to look threatening, but I also don't want people to think that they can look threatening to me. So there's this like constant battle between like, do I smile and engage them? So I'm like disarming or do I like avoid eye contact and try to like, you know, square my shoulders and walk with purpose so that like they don't try to bother me. Uh, and that's always a fun debate in my head. Wait, where did I just go? Hold on. I got to make sure I didn't get turned around a little bit. Let's go spot my base before we keep moving. Because I think um, I think I'm wandering the wrong way a little bit. I was always taught to walk with purpose as Hidden Beauty 12. I think that is wise. If you are femme presenting or you're a smaller person or even if you're mass presenting and you just aren't that uh, scary looking of a person, in certain areas, it is wise to walk with purpose, go where you're going. But one thing I would advise you not to do is... Don't look demure or escape or, or afraid. I think a lot of people will give you the advice like don't make eye contact or keep your head down or don't look at these people. And I'm like, 
yes, but you don't want to look like a target either. Like, you want to look like you're aware of your surroundings, right? And always carry something on you that could be used as a weapon. If you're in an area where you feel unsafe, you know, like, keep your hand on your keys or carry... You'd be surprised how good a weapon an umbrella can be or a walking stick or a, a fucking... A, a keys on a lanyard? No one wants to get hit in the fucking face with keys on a lanyard. Just saying. If you got, like, knuckle dusters or pepper spray, you know, that's good to keep on you. But the fact of the matter is, if you keep your head down and pretend like you don't see what's going on around you, that unfortunately does make you a very tempting and very easy target. Uh, so I would say, you know, be aware of what's going on around you. Uh, but don't necessarily engage with people. Just walk with purpose, but look like you know what the fuck you're doing. Mm -hmm. Heavy full metal water bottles? That's true. You can use those as makeshift flails. And that sounds stupid. That sounds like a <laughs> rouge on his medieval fantasy weapon nerd shit. No, I'm not kidding. Oh, man. What do you mean he's rebooting? No. Okay, we got to we gotta pop off for a second. I'm going to head back to the tavern real quick. The server's going to close down for about three minutes, and that's okay. In about three minutes. Um... Let's take a look at the map while we do that, and I'll vaguely plan out my road. I might take the map with me when we go back out, just so I can keep an eye on the road. I think knuckle dusters are banned in most places, and honestly, kind of rightfully so. I mean, knuckle dusters are just force amplifiers, right? The problem with knuckle dusters is that they turn your knuckles into a, a very, very realistically, depending on how hard you can throw a punch, a lethal weapon, like a killing weapon. And that's that's pretty scary. Uh, I don't think they're any more dangerous than, I don't know, a knife, but they are pretty dangerous and they're really easy to conceal and it's really hard to tell someone's using them until it's too late. All right, we're going to hang out here in the house until um, the server shuts down so I don't log back in and find myself in the middle of the road tonight with, like, creepers everywhere. Ruse, I think you put an extra stick on the stairs. Did I? I did. I'll go get that before the server shuts down. Thanks. Do I have any more cool bug facts? Um, good question. Meow, meow, pow, pow. Um, let's see. On the Minchie, we talked about the wasp that kidnaps tarantulas and lays its babies inside them. Uh, cool bug facts. Cool bug facts. Um. Ooh, it's not bug fact, but have you seen the process of making silk from silkworm thread? That's pretty cool. So far, so good, Jerry. Do bug facts include arachnid facts? I include arachnids in bugs, but not in insects. Bugs, to me, is an all-encompassing term that, like, includes any sort of creepy little crawly. Right, we're going to go back to the main scene so you guys don't see my little server list, even though there's only one server on that list. I don't know what's considered doxing by the government, and so we will go over here. Uh, bug fact! Bugs are friend shaped! What is your favorite bug? I don't know if I have a favorite bug. I like moths and beetles. I like, um... I like ants a lot. I think spiders are pretty cool. Scorpions are interesting. Greedy, yes, uh, female praying mantises will often eat the male when they're breeding, which everybody acts like is like the weirdest thing in the universe, but that seems to be a pretty common thing between um, carnivorous bugs. Like, spiders will also eat their males. 
like when they're breeding, and no one talks about that. Uh, it just seems like uh, equal opportunity predators for the most part. Ladybug facts. Got any of those? I have a story about ladybugs if you want. <laughs> uh, tagged with bug phobia. If you've got bug phobia. Once, when I was a wee babe, when I was just a little baby bitty babe. Oh, how about snake facts? My 2,300 uh, 2, gallon python and I also say hello. Hello, python! Uh, you're her least favorite idol, too. <gasps> Whoa. Thanks. I don't have any cool snake facts other than um, I had a snake once. He was really cool. I liked him. Uh, his name was Tyrus, which I believe is Sindarin for uh, Sentinel. Anyway, here's uh, here's my ladybug story. When I was a wee baby, when I was uh, too young to really have too many memories, I remember once we were traveling for some reason or another, which we didn't do a lot, so it was already kind of weird to me. And we stayed in a really shitty, cheap as we could find motel. And I went into the motel and I looked up and the walls were like mostly whitish, like that ugly white beige color of walls that have been smoked in for too often. You know what I'm talking about? Like that yellowy white, that sickly sort of like yellow glow. But the roof was very dark. And I was like, why is the roof so dark? That's weird. And in my head, I was like, well, I guess maybe it's just like a, a dark roof. I, I was so used to like the, the landlord special where everything was painted the same color, including the roof. That I was like, that's weird, but not that weird. But I turned on the light because to the corner of my eye, it looked like I think the roof's moving. That's weird. So I flick on the light and it turns out the roof was made of ladybugs. And by that, I mean something had happened. I don't know if there was like some sort of leak and the ladybugs were attracted to it or if there was some sort of like food they wanted there, or if it was just like where they were nesting and the room hadn't been used in a long time. But when I flicked on that light, those ladybugs went buck wild and flew all over the place. It was wild. It was, uh, it was a little nightmare inducing. So that was fun. That's my ladybug story. It could have been a changing of the seasons thing, yeah. <laughs> Attracting all the ladies at a young age. All the lady bugs. You got bitten by I never I've never been bitten by a ladybug. I don't think I've ever been bitten by a bug. I used to be terrified of spiders though. Okay, so I think we want to land, like, right here vaguely with our road. So why don't we, just for the sake of knowing where we're going, we're going to put down a little... I got to close this up. I can't have caves on the way to the road. That's too dangerous. Travels will get snatched up by, like, witches and shit. I'm going to put down, like, a little road starter here so I have a marker of where we're going. Yeah, I like ladybugs okay. I mean, they're fine. I'm not like a ladybug fanatic or whatever, but they're cool. Coco Dini says, Hi, I'm a Rusader now. And I say to that, Wow, golly, thanks. Oh, that's, that's right, right swell of you. Thanks. Don't know why I've been falling back on that Michael Mouse voice lately, but there it is. Do I like fireflies? I do like fireflies. Yeah, I used to catch them a lot. I did not know until recently there were people who thought fireflies were like a myth, like something you only see in movies, and that they are a fake made-up creature. I thought that was funny to learn. Thanks, Birdie. Get tricked. Get tricked. Get tricked. Yeah, there's people outside of uh, South Elysium who don't believe fireflies are real. They think that they're like something from like Hollywood movies and shit. I'm not kidding.
Ah, oh, shit. Aw, oh, man. Well, that's because fireflies are going extinct, Haley. Um, they're dying out due to a, ver a variety of reasons. Reasons, but uh, I can promise you the vast majority of them are that uh, the environment is changing quite a bit, and so is their uh, ecosystem. <laughs> Unfortunately, I don't think we're going to be seeing fireflies for like another, eh, give it another roughly 50, 100-ish years, and fireflies will probably be gone. Do I like stick bugs? Yeah. Yeah, I think stick bugs are pretty cool. Damn, I don't really like that this doesn't continue, so I'm just gonna I'm gonna reset this a bit. Just saved a screenshot. Oops. <laughs> no creepers, please. I hear Pollux crying outside my door. What do you want, little kitty? Hurry now, Pollux! Daddy's cracking! <laughs> okay, cool. So we'll continue our road down this way. I think I'm gonna turn it into a dirt road from here. Like once we get to the bottom of the stairs, what I'm gonna essentially do is turn the rest of this into dirt. I'll just start it now, actually, just to save myself a little bit of trouble. Okay, simple as that. Now I know where I'm going to connect my road. That also means the map should reflect it. Oh, yep, there it is. See the north part of the road? Wow! It's already happening. I love it. I love it. I love maps. God, it's so fucking cool. It's so fucking cool. It's so fucking cool. It's so fucking cool. Who are you? Thank you for being a jackass. Uh, arigato gozaimasu. Um, um, Ohio. Uh, uh, Hajime Mashte. Hajime Mashte. Hajime Mashte? Ah. Oh, so. <laughs> Rose, I want a ticket to, uh, for Ichiyoshi talk with Ru What? Hell yeah! I'm excited. I am ready to sing the song. One, two, Hubaku I can't believe you want a ticket. No, sh that's actually pretty exciting. Congratulations. I'll see you there. Well, I mean, I won't see you there. Well, you know what? Yeah, sure. We'll Digi yeah, digital still counts. I'll see you there. That counts, sort of. <laughs> hey, oh, welcome in. Thank you for the renewals on the Rusader ship. Hey, let's take a look at this bridge at night since we're we're here already, right? Oh, I know. Uh, uh, uh who are you? Uh, Sugoi. Mm -hmm. Not bad. Not bad. That staircase is a little harsh. I might carve it in a little later, but we'll see. Ah, it's around. Oh no, the intrusive thoughts, they're winning. Jump, jump, jump! Ah. I must rest my bones. Fireflies should be added to Minecraft. I think they have them in swamp biomes, I want to say. When they added the frogs, I think they added fireflies as well, but they only spawn in one biome. Which is a uh, kind of a shame. I wonder if I can kidnap them in some way and bring them back here. That'd be kind of cool. All right, so let's see. I need to get over pretty far. I, I'm gonna do sort of a smooth curve at first and head over this way until about here-ish. But the problem is I do think if I go, if I curve too soon, I'm probably gonna run directly into a hole, right? Let's see. 
Or maybe that's a straight shot. That'd be really cool if there's a straight shot. It might be a straight shot with no holes. I mean, there's one right there, but that's not that bad. I could plug that up. This might be a direct run. Wow, 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 wow. That's kind of cool, actually. Carpenter bees. Holy shit, Ink Swirl. That sounds terrifying. Also, thank you for the soup. Holy fuck. That, uh, that sounds pretty scary. I like my stairs to have a little consistency to them, you know what I mean? I know it doesn't look as natural, but it does look like somebody had like a, 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 a human hand in the creation of these stairs. And stairs are inherently a human concept, right? So I, I always like to make them huh, feel a little bit like the hand of a, of a human has been involved in the creation of these stairs. Um, so I tend to uh, add a little bit of embellishment to them, a little... Um, a little razzle dazzle, if you would, to make sure they look like they uh they've been crafted that way. I do want to plug this hole up, but I want to like really get in there uh, and make sure it's pretty deep so that we don't get a bunch of random monsters like that spawning, just waiting to be annoying behind a wall. I hate that. I hate when I hear like <laughs> from witches when I'm running down my road. So I'm just gonna kill a couple things, and then we're really gonna we're gonna dig deep here. So one thing that's pretty cool about Minecraft is you don't actually have to plug things perfectly. You really just need like a crisscross pattern, uh, which eats up less materials, and that will save you a lot of trouble. Because most things can't spawn in one block. This way you can preserve materials. Material go! Okay. Mmm, mm, mm. mm, yada Oops. Uh, well, that's alright. No great loss. Mm, mm, mm. Let's see. So that should be there. That should be here. That should be there. That should be here. We're getting close to the point where I can start using actual um, dirt. In a second. You learn a lot of little goofy tricks like this when you're playing in survival mode and you have very limited resources. Okay, that should be good enough to plug the rest with dirt. So now I just need to harvest enough dirt somewhere. Uh, let's grab one of our mostly broken shovels, because I've been meaning to use these anyway, and dig. We want to keep things looking kind of natural, so I don't want to dig too much in one spot. And if I do, I tend to try and make it uh, follow the curve it had initially. Like so. What is your favorite camouflaging bug? Mine is between the stick bug, the orchid mantis, and the leaf bug. Um... Actually, maybe I would say Mantis, probably. I like Mantises pretty well. I think they're pretty cool. I 
That's pretty good. That's pretty good. That's pretty good. I like it. I like it. I like it. I like it. Break that. Break that. Break that. And then I gotta break this one. So I can put that one down. Okay. Not bad, gamers. I like it. All right. So, um, the problem with building roads is you often come across places like this where you've got to just like reorganize it a bit to make it look ideal in your own vision. And that is what I have done now. I have made it look ideal in my own vision of what I think a road should be looking like. I don't like that this one's like the only one that's not the same color. It bothers me. I don't know why. It shouldn't. It is like, you know, a mesa biome with lots of different colors, but for some reason it bordering the road, but not being the same color as everything else on the road, just kind of it's fucking with me a little bit. Uh, we do got to go one more out on each of these, I guess. Yeah. Thanks for the delicious soup. Yeah. Okay, but now this looks a little too crafted on this side, so we're going to have to go on this side and fix things a little. Got to make sure this doesn't look too ridiculous. Mm -mm. It's all part of keeping it looking vaguely like it formed naturally. Uh-huh. Yeah, that's pretty good. Ooh, isopods are super cool. I like isopods. Cool. All right, so let's get back into actually doing our road. And we're going to start with this. I don't know how far I'm going to go straight yet um, or where I'm going to add curves or bends in the road. I think adding those makes a lot of, like, interesting spots on the map that's fun to look at, and I do love that. But... But this could be a pretty straight shot. Oh, it can't be a straight shot. I lied. We are going to have to curve because if I hit here, I'm going to hit this. Okay, so we got to curve before we get here. Got it. Would you ever eat a snail? Yeah, I don't see why not. Uh, oh, ice pods have gills. What's the name of the beetle with the long nose? That is probably a weevil. I think you're thinking of a weevil. I want a colony of isopods that... Oh, hold on. I didn't read that fast enough. Hey, readers, have you heard of a glitter weevil or the crystal weevil? I have not. Are they cool? So they breathe using specialized lamellar gill-like pleopods, which are swimming limbs, on the posterior section of the body. Huh. Huh. They really are just such little guys, aren't they? Weevils are just little dudes. They're just little guys living their little lives. They ain't doing nothing wrong, except for fucking up the quality of your wood, but who cares about that, right? Come on, man. I really just want to work on my road. Go get a hobby. When you got to shoo the zombies away and tell them they got to go get a hobby. It's time, my zombie friend. You need to go out and live your own life. Get your own hobbies. It's time to grow up a little bit. All right, so I think it's around here. We're going to curve. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to build this out some so that we have room for a road to curve. And then I'm going to add a little bit more, actually. Um, boop. There we go. Uh, that'll give me the space to build the road up some. And then I can curve it before we really get too far. I think I'm going to cut this in some. So what I want to do is curve the road before I hit up here. Okay, if you could have one of those massive self-sustaining dreams, which bugs would be in there? Says Gabby, Abby, Dabby. Well, Gabby, Abby, Dabby, I'm so glad you asked. Um, I'd probably keep ants in them. Honestly, I want to. I really want an ant. Um, terrarium. I don't know if you call it a terrarium. Honestly, I want an ant cage at some point. Pretty badly. I would love to have one of those. I think it'd be a lot of fun. Ants Canada makes it look like it's a lot of fun. I know it's a lot of work, and that's the only real downside. Is uh, I don't know if I have the effort inside of me 
to take care of them how they deserve to be taken care of. Maybe, maybe not. Uncle Milton's ant farm. Who the hell is Uncle Milton? Maybe? Sure. Ants, both fascinated and terrified of them. I mean, that's fair. Ants can be kind of scary sometimes. I get it. I do get it. Don't want to build like a little... Oh, it would be kind of fun to do something like this. Hold on. That's kind of cool, actually. And then we build like... Hold on. Do like this with the road, maybe? So it automatically curves before we even get on there. Would that be cool? Or do I need to put one here and one here, too? Hmm. Let's find out in a minute. Let's open my map. Yes. Yes! Yes! The road! God, I love roads. Roads on maps are so cool! Vivarium? What did you just call me? I'll show you a vivarium. Do I know about peacock spiders? Says Kuri DC. Yes, I do. I think you're cute. It's getting toasty in here. I might need to turn on my AC or open a window. Dare I open a window to the outside world? Hmm. More likely than you think. Give me just a moment. Yeah, I like the way they dance. All right, I'll be right back. BRB.
thanks for the chips. Yum! Thank you, thank you. All right, so we're back at it again. Oh Lord, back at my bullshit again. Uh, I'm back. Hi everybody. I turned on AC because I decided it's just not cold enough outside to bother with the uh, window. Unfortunately, it's a little warm out there even today, which is just super fucking fun. Uh oh. Uh oh. A banana says, I learned that ants count their steps to navigate because when scientists gave the uh, gave some little stilts, they went further than they should have. That's interesting. I wonder if ants actually count, if that's what the conclusion we can come to, or the conclusion we can come to is that they understand, like, inherently a certain amount of steps, like it's an instinctual thing. Maybe it's less, like, our notion of counting consciously and more like they just understand a certain amount of, like, tiredness or body, like, exhaustion or, like, length of steps received. Who knows? Slow modded, thanks for being a bruiser. Detect, thank you for the chips and banana, thank you for the shoop. Okay, anyway. I feel like most animals know time, at least in the vaguest sense of the word time, but that's because of their circadian rhythms. I might actually have to go harvest, like actively farm up some more brown terracotta, which is kind of wild. I thought I was going to have enough for sure. That's okay, though. We got a lot of places we can get it. If there's one thing I have no shortage of, it's brown terracotta. Psychotic toge Togepi says they're what now? So circadian rhythm is the concept that uh, creatures on planet Earth, either due to magnetic poles or due to the day-night cycle or due to just like generations of being in the same environments and evolving over time. The idea is that creatures inherently passively biologically understand the notion of time which is why like at 3 a.m your cats get like the zoomies even if they can't see the outside world because their biological clock knows it is now dusk or now dawn which is the ideal time for cats to be hunting because cats are dusk and dawn hunters um so your circadian rhythm is what tells you hey this is this time in the world and you should be doing this thing sleeping or being active or whatever it is that your body's telling you to do That's pretty good. I like that. Zader's preferred time to hunt, says Meow Meow Pal Pal. Honestly, both my cats are pretty chill. They don't get a lot of zoomies in them. Um, they tend to be very relaxed cats. They spend a lot more time just fucking loafing around like little fat animals. <laughs> Which is fine by me. Uh, but, you know, I mean, I guess if they do get the zoomies, very, very rarely, it's probably around dusk or dawnish. Plugging that goddamn cave up when we're done here. Sorry, cozy Minecraft hours. <laughs> I have a vision. And my vision goes like this.
Yes. Yes, I'm seeing it. My eyes are... My eyes are picking it up. Ah, my vision. How do bees brush their hair? With a honeycomb! I don't get it. I'm kidding. <laughs> hey, is your icon those little fox dudes from WoW? I never got to play when those were around. Uh, Conair says, I'm, for, uh, I'm forgetting if it's ants or termites, but there's a class of soldier ant termite that will detonate themselves to defend their colony. What? I would never. Motherfucker really said, for queen and country. <laughs> Not me. Couldn't be me. You guys think ants are British coded? Am I allowed to ask that? Is that a weird question to ask? <laughs> you guys think ants are British? What? <laughs> it's a legit question, all right? Back up. Don't want me. It's a fair question to ask. Don't act like I'm the weird one here. So my vision, oh, God damn it, I was AFK so long the sun started going down. That's all right. So my vision I have is the idea that what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna build a guardrail on this road to keep away from that uh, edge, but still allow the natural environment to shine through in a way. Because I do think this canyon would be pockmarked with like big like rips and stuff. Even though these holes aren't super natural to the canyon, like there's not like these big tunnels straight downward or whatever that suggests some sort of canyon worm or something. Um, I do think it would have like you know, rifts, and I think um, it would be cool if, like, there was, like, walkways that went next to them and just had big railings and stuff like that. So I'll probably put a rail along this side of the road at some point. Damn, why the music getting kind of dark? Oh, never mind. It's just getting contemplative. Ants give Canadian vibes. Really? We're making a road, as you can see. Behold my map. Mmm, road. Tasty. Ken Silva says, I'm Canadian. Oh, yeah? Pro no, I'm just kidding. Have you seen bird courtship rituals? They're cool, says Jim. Fuck yeah, I have. And yes, they are cool. You're right. And you should say it. Um, I don't need that. I don't need that. Is there anything else I don't really need that I have on me? I guess not. I'm gonna need more stairs soon though. Okay. Tomorrow, I will have to go out and collect more. Uh, tomorrow, I'm going to need to go out and collect more fucking brown terracotta since I ran out today. So, that will be our next quest. Chibi says, despite being eight time zones away, <laughs> eight time zones away from home, I'm still up at 4 a.m. watching Ruse with a coffee. You know what? I can respect that. It's that it's it's that jet lag hitting you. You're like, you know what? Fuck it. I guess I'm wherever it is that you are right now, but I ain't going to sleep with their time. So here I am watching Ruth. <laughs> ah. Hello, Aura. Oh, you would eat Subway when you could have five guys. Pathetic. No, I'm kidding. I've actually started liking Subway again. For a while there, I was like very like, oh no, not Subway. But uh, they, they 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 taste all right lately. Not that I've had one in like the last 
year or so, but I feel like I tried one. I tried a subway again last year, and it was pretty all right, actually. I just had this weird dogmatic hatred of them when I was younger, I guess. I think they just failed me so many times where I lived. I was like, you know what? I'll never eat subway. It sucks forever, but maybe, maybe kind of like, you know, some other places they've had a turnaround. I don't know. But then some places get really bad really fast, too. Like, I really haven't been eating a lot of different stuff now because, like, I don't know. The quality just varies and fluctuates so aggressively with fast food places sometimes. It's it's hard to deal with. Volteca, thank you for that. Chips. My problem with Jimmy John's is they end up being lettuce sandwiches. I like Jimmy John's okay, but a lot of times I'm like, dude, why did you pack this with so much fucking lettuce? I could have fed an entire stable of horses. Like, I would have been fucking uh, the prophet come again for horses. I would have been uh, Jesus splitting the fish in a bajillion pieces of bread or whatever the fuck it was he did. They'd be like, holy shit, this guy's clearly the Messiah. Come to deliver us so much lettuce that we'll never go hungry again. This dude's out here feeding, like, entire countries of horses. Uh, whoop. With his weird infinite lettuce sandwich that he just keeps pouring lettuce from. Like, if I wanted to, I could take a Jim Jimmy John sub and I could probably turf an entire football field with it. It would be pretty wild and also start smelling really bad after a few days. But I'm just saying that if I wanted to, I could spread that across a football field, no problem. And thanks for being a bruiser, Gray. Ooh, Firehouse does go hard. I've had Firehouse subs with, um... You get, like, the garlic herb baked bread or whatever, and then you do, uh... Ham and turkey and sharp cheddar cheese. And if you're feeling froggy, you can do a little provolone on there. And then you bake that. And then you put lettuce and tomato and pickle. Oh, man. Ooh. And if you really want to, you can add maybe pepperoni or, uh... Or, uh... What is I'm, what, what's the word I'm looking for? Um... God damn, it's not pepperoni. It's, uh... It's another one of those little sausage type things. Those really like peppery, sausagey type of thingies. You know what I'm talking about? God damn it. Why can't I think of the word? Salami! Why the fuck did salami escape me? Holy shit. Sometimes it's a stupid word. See you later, Cricket. Good luck at work. The hell's a wah wah? There's something about clearing out a whole space of a certain type of block that just feels so therapeutic in Minecraft. Oh, it just tickles the right bones in my body. It's like if somebody like, I don't know, itched your spine. Like if somebody was like able to reach inside and itch your spine. Actually, that sounds pretty fucked up. Maybe not. Maybe that doesn't sound great. I don't want to be peeled open now that I think about it. But on the other hand, I wonder if my bones are itchy. I've never itched my bones. Are my bones itchy? Hmm. Shower thoughts I probably don't want to follow the track of. quick throw rocks at him you're not ascending to godhood you're just dehydrated out of my way Rosada. i'm about to liberate my divine shell good enough oh, it'll You're not ascending to God tier. Beckonor just killed you before you got to your bed, your quest bed. 
that's a little homestuck humor for you. You're welcome for all two people in chat who understood what I just said. <laughs> I said hop it a stupid amount of times lately and I completely blame you. Good. I hope you have. I hope you've said it around people who don't understand. I hope you've said it around coworkers or family who are like, what the fuck did you just say? And I hope you said it like an old man who's laying on his deathbed. <laughs> I go too far. I think I went too far. I went too far. It's over here. I say to work all the time. It's so bad. Yes. Yes. Food. Food. Let the hate flow through you. <laughs> Don't want to do. Mm -mm. Huh, huh. <laughs> That's okay, we got another one. Okay, there we go. There we go. We're doing it. We're making it happen. We're making it happen. Ba -ba 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 -ba. Mm -mm. Joel says, I bet you think about building stuff when you're not even playing. You know what? Typically, no. But that one day when my vision of my roof came to me in a dream. Yeah, I couldn't get it out of my head for like four days. I was like, I can't stop thinking about Minecraft. Oh, yeah, Roy? Well, you have fun with whatever it is you're doing. How do you like those? How do you like that? Yeah, you think you're so tough coming in here telling me to have a good time? <laughs> Two could play at that game. Wait, I filled up the wrong one. Oh, man. Wrong block. There we go. Yay! Time to keep digging. All right, how far off am I from my main road? Oh, I'm pretty far. Fuck. I didn't think I was going to have to curve that much. I guess it is kind of a curvature, though, huh? 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 Hmm. Man, these creepers have done some fucking work out here. Dicks. We want to help build too. Go fuck yourselves. All right, so I'm probably going to have to cut. So I'm going to have to curve at some point, but I don't want to do like this big sharp turn. But at this point, it might end up being a sharp turn unless I can build out. I guess I could build straight from there and then curve a bit. as we. Okay, so we're going to build straight for a little bit and then we're going to curve as we come forward. Uh, the problem is that this road is actually a three- instead of a two. So that's going to change things a little lot a bit. I know Roos is trying to tell us something. He's trying to say he's secretly the man who voice acted every villager in Minecraft. Huh. Huh. Minecraft villager brainworms are true for anybody who's ever played Minecraft. And that's a fact. A game fat. No, sorry. Oh, you know what, though? The opportunity is here to not make this uh, stay a three for long. What I could do is have a crossroads of sorts around, uh, right around this little peninsula. Maybe I'll turn this into a plaza. Like maybe the road deposits into this area and it becomes like sort of a plaza and then it breaks off into two two by uh two um two by one roads so that essentially what happens is you get um a path down that way toward where gerard and octavio are and you get a path up that way toward the eventual farms and stuff brick tall says when they add npcs to minecraft girl i don't fucking know I 
mean frickin'? I don't frickin' know. Yeah, I think that's what we're gonna do is we're gonna make a little plaza out here in a second. I don't know what it's gonna look like, but we'll figure that out as time goes on. See you later, Quinn, and good luck! Pumpkin Pat Cat. Pumpkin Patch Cat. Pumpkin Pat Catch. <laughs> Says, what's the end game of your current build? A complete village? Um, no, I just like to build with a sense of, um, oh, I use that word too often. I need to say a different word. Uh, I like to build for a sense of believability or to make the world feel lived in, I guess. Uh, so I like to build things that seem to make some level of sense. Like you wouldn't have like a farm out in a canyon. Probably you'd probably put it somewhere where there's grassland. So I'm taking a road and I'm making it all the way out to the grassland out there so I can pasture my animals instead of farm fields. And then I'm probably going to put a logging camp on my map somewhere around up where that greenery is. So yeah, that's the plan is I like to build my worlds in Minecraft in a way where it feels like it makes sense that somebody would live in it and live in the way that they are doing what they're doing there. Was the word verisimilitude? It was, Rupoki. How'd you know that? Yeah, I like to keep it kind of immersive, kind of believable. Don't want to just go, instead of digging down all the way, I don't want to build up from here. Nah, well, maybe. Thank you, Ellie. I hope you have a great day. How about that? How about that? You didn't see that coming, did you? Yeah, let's just build up. Thanks for the soup. Okay, so now we're just gonna fill this in and eventually what's gonna happen here, like I said, is I'm gonna turn this into a short of plaza. Um, it's gonna be really cool or whatever. I don't know what point I want it to end at. Let me see, we're getting close-ish to where I think I'm gonna start curving the road. So it'll probably start around here-ish is where the actual like, circular plaza area will begin and i don't know exactly what that's gonna look like yet it'll probably be cobblestone what would you build a new clay what would you build into clay mm. chill badlands vibes study to yep Uh, Eleni says, would the words homely or super realistic count too? I think super realistic isn't something you could ever apply to Minecraft. And homely, yeah, maybe. Doesn't homely often mean ugly though? Isn't that like a, a substitute for that word? Like a polite air quotes way to say that? I could be wrong. Maybe I'm just making that up in my head. I don't know. Um, either way, yeah, sure. I mean, you could describe it that way. I don't see why not. Yay! We have more. Cool. Nice. Chef's kiss. Summon more ziggurats. Uh, a ziggurat? I don't think I want to put a ziggurat here. That seems a little wild, don't you think?
Is there mud brick in this game? I could do like a brick area. Uh, so it's probably gonna be like right here-ish. And we wanna carve out sort of a circular pattern if we can, I think. So I need to get rid of a bunch of this secondary area. It doesn't have to be a huge spot, I don't think. But it needs to be big enough to make sense. So something like this, 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 and then I want to go here, here, cut that off, I think. And then it would end up uh, one, two, three, right? Yep. So one, two, and then this should be parallel. One, two, three, one, two. Okay, cool. Which does mean I need to cut down a little bit on this side because I gotta make this make sense and not be too crowded by the wall. I don't want it to be crowded. I might need to go make even more pickaxes. That's a bummer. They added mud brick recently, right? Maybe. Bruce is over here inventing desert cottage core. I have so much power now. Behold, I will invent desert cottage core. I'll make you want to live in a desert. A recent update added mud and mud bricks. I wonder if the server's on that update. I'll have to check that out. That sounds like fun. Can't actually do it by threes, because if I do it by threes, then the roads splitting off aren't going to make any sense. So I need to do it by twos, which means I need to plug these back up. Hold on. So, plum, 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 plum. Okay, so it's going to have to be here. Here, 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 here. Okay, and then these can split off into roads. Cool. So it's not like a circle so much as a uh, sort of diamond shape, and I'm okay with that. Yeah, that's okay. Let's go make another pickaxe, shall we? Well, you guys do have cherry trees. Were those the same update? Ooh. Pumpkin Pat Catch says... Cat. God, I keep calling you Catch. Pumpkin Pat Catch. Why do I keep shifting Pat and Cat? Or Patch and Cat to each other. Pumpkin Patch Cat says, Ruse, would you do a Sim stream? I don't know. Maybe. Sims isn't really my thing. The problem with Sims is I make the characters for like five hours and then I design the house for like five hours and then I don't touch the game, period, because I have no interest in the actual gameplay itself. Like, negative interest. So the answer is maybe shrug. That's the peak Sims experience. I like that this is oval shaped actually it makes an interesting little uh gives it a, gives it a weird vibe kind of feeling it oh you know what i could do make it more dirt uh Hmm. <gasps> what? Hmm. 
Hold on. Okay, wait, wait, wait. What if I do this? Never mind. Hold on. Big brain time. Big brain time. Yep. Nice. And like that, I think we've turned it into a circle again of some sort. But that's okay. I'm fine with that. Wait, did I have just enough? Wow, I had just enough wood for that. It was meant to be. That does mean that I need to drag this one back in a bit, which is fine. Are we going to do this all the way down? Is this just what we're doing now? All right, listen, somebody's got to change. Someone's going to have to change their outfit, and it ain't me. There we go. Ah, fuck, I did it again. God damn it. What is this, a kalimba? Is this like hang drum? What's going on right now? Hang drum sounds so fucking good. Actually, I have a little steel drum. I never learned how to play it because I don't know how to play music, but I fucked around a little bit. Man, steel drum sounds good even when you're just fucking around. Steel drum just sounds good. Like, where does it get off being like that? What do you think you are just sounding great on your own? Who gave you the right? Hand pans, yeah! Yeah, 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 yeah. Suddenly, pows. I used to play those as a lady. Really? Wow, wow. Good sound. They sound good. Ah, tasty. Our little crossroads looks pretty cute. <laughs> I like it. I like it. Yes. Yes. We'll do something better than this later. I just wanted to get rid of those two fences in my inventory to create more space. Um, but I like where this is going. I like the feel. I like the I like the energy behind it. I might want to turn this into a seat or something at some point. Maybe I'll grab like a stone chair or some shit. I don't know yet. See you later, Rhapsody. Let us make more stairs. You can never have too many stairs. Hey, a creeper. What's up, man? Do you do any texturing on the road? I don't know yet. I don't even know what I would use to texture with this specific material. I guess I could use like, I could throw like little pebbles on the road by throwing down stone buttons. I could try to add a different sort of brown color to make a texture. Like if, if mud brick does exist, maybe I could add mud brick on the road. Hard to say. Brown concrete could be interesting yet.
how soon do we have to curve before we hit a pit? I don't want to like come over this hill and be in a pit already. Oh, we've got space, honestly. I could, I could probably come up to the top. Let's see if I came up to the top of this, I would end up like right about here-ish. Then I have to get up here, and then it would be a pretty abrupt curve. But I could carve this down and make that work. Yeah, let's do that. Let's carve this down and make that work. Maybe gravel or some sort of color gradient. Mm. Maybe. Maybe. The problem with texturing, I find, is it just adds so much complexity to an already pretty complex project. Because, you know, you got to have the road shape right to make it feel good on a map. And then you add on to that texturing, and it's like, okay, well, if you do too much texturing, it doesn't look good from far away on a map. If you do too little texturing, it looks weird when you're running on it in person. Hard to say. Maybe. Maybe. We'll see. Maybe coarse dirt. Maybe. Wolster says buttons with one trap somewhere. What does the trap do? If it blows up my road, absolutely not. If it just knocks somebody down, I mean, that could be kind of funny. It, like puts them in a hole. Cool. All right, that gives me a lot of space to work with, so I know I can just go straight up this hill now. Bow, bow, bow. Arrow trap. Mud is found abundantly in mangroves. Great. So now I got to do this hunt down a mangrove, huh? That shouldn't be super duper difficult or anything. And by that, I mean it will probably be pretty annoying. But on the other hand, I do love mangroves. They're one of my favorite environments. So maybe. Maybe I will hunt one down. What did I just... Why did I... Oh, you know what? That's fine. You can also make mud with water bottles and dirt. Oh, I do have a lot of glass. Well, I got a lot of sand, so I can make a lot of glass. There's a whole desert behind me on the other side. I could do like a whole glass production thing going on for a bit where I make like a bunch of um, furnaces and just get heavy into glass production for a while. Shonks. You only need one water bottle. Oh, the bottle's not consumed. Oh, that's even easier. That's ridiculously easy. So all I really need to do is go farm a bunch of jet. All right, well, we'll consider texturing with mud then. How about that? Well, I will consider using mud to texture it. We'll see how things go. Um, let's get the road done first, and then I'll decide whether or not I feel like texturing said road. Road. No, you don't. Yes, looks so pretty. Wow, look at my little rod. Oh. Yeah, I mean, I guess I could still just do glass production for the sake of it, just so I had a lot of glass left over for, you know, other Armist boys to use or for myself to use. Oh, that's annoying. Yucky. Ooh, light gray terracotta. I think not. Parry the platypus. <laughs> Orgent teal. Brown and orgent teal. <laughs> Damn. 
There we go. Okay, so now I'm going to have to make a probable. Well, it's not too bad a curve. I thought it was going to be a way worse curve. So I only have to curve to about here ish, really. Right? Like if I go over this crest, I should see my road. It's not bad at all, actually. You know what? Let's start again on this side and work from there. This is good. Just got here. What are you building? How dare you ask me that? You come in, the, in the here, into my stream, and you're asking me what I'm building? How rude that... No, I'm just kidding. Uh, I'm building a road. Hee <laughs> hee. This road will not be a road of crimson, but a road of terracotta. Mm, that's satisfying. I like that. Whoop, 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 whoop. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's going to be where the curve meets for sure. Uh, uh, uh. Nice. Uh. Not bad at all. All right, so. I like it when my roads have an up curve and a down curve. All right, then. Let's get this started. South Elysium, Desert Mama, Elysian Roads, take me home. Hello, Seed. How's it going? Damn straight, I'm still streaming. We ain't done until this road's done. Damn it. Or at least most of the way done. been one month and I'm coming out of my cage and I'm doing just fine. Gotta, gotta be Quincy because I want it. <laughs> just kidding. Hi, Quincy. Do you know the song Babushka by Kate Bush? I don't know. I don't think so. I don't think so. Man, I'm so close to done with this road. I really don't want to keep going on it past the next day. So I think I'm just going to try and finish it tonight. Speed run. Speed road. Oh, it's gonna feel so good on my map when this connects. Ooh, ooh, when this connects. Ooh. So cool, so good, so cool.
music's getting a little intense. Uh, relax a little bit there, Minecraft. Whoa. Damn, it really said, once I hit that bed, it said, oh, boom. Okay. Ow. You've rumbled my entire house. Don't test me. I'll do it again. I'll make it worse this time. You ever hold that kind of note that makes your whole chest rumble? You know what I mean? Like that, like really deep in your chest note that like just makes your whole body kind of vibrate a little bit. That's always fun. It's my favorite kind of note. Oh, so cool. So cool. So cool. God, I love road. roads. I said ribs because fell spelled ribs in there. No, because it makes my ribs itch inside. And I don't like that. Just itch in there. Just reach in there and itch. What are you talking about? <laughs> you know what I used to do as a kid? <laughs> I don't do this anymore. And I recommend I'm going to preface this with A, body horror. B, don't do this. But when I was a kid, I was really, really scrawny, right? You could always see my ribs no matter what. Um... <laughs> and uh, I would, like, suck in my, like, my ribs and my stomach until I could, like, really, really see my ribs. <laughs> I would grab under my ribs and touch my lung gently. <laughs> it was always like, oh, feeling. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you for vindicating me and my stupidity. People are like, you're not alone. I also did that. Well, then we're all dumb together. Fucking apes together strong. You know what I mean? <laughs> Yay! We made a road! All right, now I just got to go plug up that cave that's really close to the road because it's pissing me off earlier. Do I have enough dirt to do? Mm, I'll do it with terracotta. Oh, and I got to build a railing for this segment. <sighs> Maybe I'll just rail off the whole outside of that. That'd be kind of funny, actually. Yeah, let's put a railing around the actual cave. That'd be fun. Wait, could you feel when you breathed in? What, like your lung? Well, I don't know if I actually touched my lung. That might collapse your lung. I'm not sure. Um, I was pretty convinced I was touching my lung, but scientifically, in my mind, I'm like, I don't think that you can touch your lung without collapsing it, so I doubt I was touching it, probably. I probably just touched something I really shouldn't have and felt, a, like, a sharp, jolting pain. Um, I don't know what I was touching, but I'm going to assume it probably wasn't my lung itself. Question mark? I don't know. Don't worry too much about it. Anyway, the point is, don't do that. Don't reach under your ribs. I was a little fucking freak. Mmm, tourist spot. Okay. And then I just do a little bit of... Pium. Pium, pium. Pium, pium, pium. I kind of want this to curve in a bit, honestly. Uh, to make that happen, I'm going to have to do this, though. So I'm going to try more light green terracotta. Hold on. And then I got to drop this, this. This, 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 this. And then that could curve in. So, yeah, we'll make like a sort of like a whoa, 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 whoa. No walk in here. Observe from a safe distance type of zone. And I love that. I think that's fun. Yeah, so now I can put a fence around it. Yay! Family game night! Sounds like a good time. What are we playing?
The song strikes me as vaguely Homestuck coded. You're welcome for that. And you know I'm right, too. I know some of you are like, uh, zero days since Homestuck mentioned, but you know I'm right. Nice. Did I ever pick up my crafting table? I did. Let us make more fences. But what color of fence do I want? I think I'm gonna go with oak today. Why? Because I have oak on me, and two, because there's an oak forest right here. It would make sense that I sourced oak for this. That is not gonna be enough fences. I might have to go cut down more oak. That's all right, we'll start it out. Do, do, de, do, de, de, do, de, de, de. Well, thank you very much, Shiro, for the last soup before I disappear forever. Ah, uh, I remember Ruse. It was a summer like no other. No. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I remember Ruse. You see, me and the lads, we were down in the uh, down at the old baseball field where we like to get up to trouble. And our mamas would always tell us, don't you wander too far off the road. And then one day we saw something unlike anything we'd ever seen before in our lives. Some asshole throwing puppies around or whatever. And we said, we better get the fuck out of here. And we did. And that's how I'll always remember that stupid, totally normal human ruse. Shit! Uh-huh. Yay. Ah. Fine. I just don't like it when the stairs aren't bordered. You know what I mean? Like, I, I feel like having them have a little bit of a border just feels better. It just feels better, man. I can't help it. I can't help it. I can't help it. I am a creature of habit. Speaking of home sucks, says Spud Spudnik. I had this pointed out to me a while, uh, while ago. Japanese light novel titles are becoming troll movie titles. Live with that knowledge. Yeah, I mean, that's, that's, you're right. You're right. I mean, I, I not only am I not going to debate that, that doesn't bother me. That's just the truth. For those unaware of what uh, was just said, so troll movie titles are always exceptionally literal and just describe what is in the story that they're telling, the, the movie that they're talking about. So instead of being like, I don't know, a good example is, uh, fucking, give, give me a movie, someone say, say a movie name, quick. Okay, so Snakes on a Plane. Yes, it's like that, except the troll title would probably be uh, in which you, in which people get on a plane suspecting a normal flight, but it turns out that snakes that were transported are also on the plane and that many deaths ensue. skeleton doesn't sneak up on me right now. I sure am vulnerable with my plump, juicy heart exposed to the world. Please don't shoot me in the back, Mr. Skeleton. Ah! <laughs> Did you just delete my block? Where's my block? You actually deleted it. Holy shit. Wow. What timing? Just spawned two blocks in my inventory. That was wild. Anyway, there we go. That's our tourist area. It is not a tourist trap, though it could quite literally be a trap if you fell into it, I guess. 
in a way, it's a tourist trap. Hey, this could be kind of cool if I made this like even. I think I want to make it even. Hold on. Break this. And then I'll mine this out. And we'll make the outcropping a little more centralized. So it's like right here instead. Yeah. And then we'll do like this number. Ooh. Oh. Ooh. I like that. Fuck off, mate. There we go. Okay, now we've got our, our safety net-ish thing. Does that show up on my map at all? Probably not. It's probably not thick enough since fences are so thin. Nope, sure doesn't. It's okay though, it's there. We know it's there and that's what matters. Let's go home and take a little nap. Hey, skeletons. Hi. Bye. Ow. Thanks for the boost. Ah! Just kidding. <laughs> wow. Cozy, calm, relaxing Minecraft hours. I do know about shields, but mama didn't raise no So, I don't need them. Thanks, though. Also, it annoys me that they block half the screen. I just don't like looking at them. Thank you, El Eleni. Eleni? I'm going to say Eleni. You guys like my little, like my little karaoke stage? Fuck yeah. Ah, uh, okay. So, monster box. This song is kind of meandering. Could you waltz to this? Would this be a waltz, I guess? Oh, that's where the brown is. Okay. Can you guys shut the fuck up? God, I can't wait to get you guys out of here. Brothers and sisters, welcome to the Dark Carnival. Just kidding. Unless. This song reminds me of, um... It still reminds me of Crystal Chronicles. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, Final Fantasy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Someone asked me recently, I think it was Flayon actually yesterday when I was hanging out with Flayon and Bettle on their stream. Flayon asked me what's my favorite Final Fantasy and I should have said that. Because that's probably true. 
You fucker, you want to what? Ruin my road? You know you could come in here and ruin Muscle Man's road? You know, I've never watched the show Muscle Man's from. I just hear about him so often that I've, like, absorbed him through osmosis. Good night. Sleep well, Helia. Sl sleep well, yeah, even. <laughs> Wink. He's very me coded. Oh, deep, introspective, emotionally intelligent. <laughs> Just kidding. <laughs> sure. Great, glad to hear it. Toss a coin to your crimson. Hey, thank you very much, Wacky Warrior. Take in that Ruse energy. Use it. Become powerful. Become stronger than you ever possibly imagined. Because the energy that you think you're taking from me is actually energy that comes from within you. It just took a little bit of an extra uh, activator, if you would. A catalyst to the chemical reaction of your own mind, creating the power that has been within you all along. You don't need Ruse. You only need yourself to be strong. And you are strong. Petition to view, build a cute little viewing platform by the pit of despair, says Ink Swirl. Uh, petition considered, but not yet granted, because I am thinking about it. Uh, I gotta decide where my actual pasture is going to be, and there's another pit of despair here in the middle of this fucking field. There's a lake down there, though, but there's the pit. Oh, in the cave. Uh-oh. See, there's a new pit of despair over here. Stop with the screen shaking. Damn. New pit's actually the name of my novel. Wow, thank you. Toss a coin to your crimson. Or 10 or 20. Or 10 or 20. Ooh. <laughs> uh. I like that little lake. That's cute. Man, is that another pit by the lake? That would suck. Uh. <laughs> No, okay, it's not bad. Man, you'd really have to come down into this valley, though. Huh? I'd have to... Where am I going to carve out a farm? Where am I going to carve out a farm? Oh, oh, let me just cook for a second in my brain. Hmm. It is a pretty valley. It is unmarred by the hands of man. For now. But soon. Soon that will be undone. And like all things must, it will come to an end. It will be stricken down by the profane, corrupt digits attached to the end of my fleshy stumps. Do you guys ever think about how fingers, um, I know fingers seem like these delicate little entities or whatever, but fingers are just five tiny arms attached to the end of your arms. Isn't that weird? What?
No, it's the truth. It's the truth. Think about it. Think about what I said. Really let it cook in your brain for a second. You'll be like, damn, you kind of right, though. I imagine aliens would think they're weird. Only if the aliens didn't have fingers, but then how would the aliens have developed enough technology to build things without, like, ambidextrous thumbs, amongst other things? It's hard to manipulate tools without those. I mean, I'm not saying it's impossible, but it's hard. Their mind? Ah, telekinetic aliens. That's assuming telekinesis is a real thing that isn't 100% fake, like magic. <laughs> bye bye good luck Adriana oh yeah we're in the shower thoughts hours we, we hit it my eepiness has caught up and now it's shower thoughts time okay so let's say the road goes from here to dare. So it would technically deposit right here. I could curve it a bit and have it come into this groove because it's kind of already made for me. And I like following that little naturalistic feel. So there's already kind of a staircase going on here, right? Um, so I follow this down a bit. Not end up about there. Oh, I would come out near the lake. That's kind of cool. There's a little cave here, which is kind of annoying. That's fine though. All right, let me put my torches at the top of this so I remember where I want to be. Yo, Ruse! Luckily, I lost out on the Ruse meet and greet tickets, so I guess I'll have to live vicariously through telling you here that you definitely are the worst, and I don't love your humor and rambles. Lucky you. But all right, that's cool. Hey, thank you for telling me that you do not love my humor or my rambles. That is uh, really kind of fucked up and evil of you. I, I kind of needed the confidence boost today, but I guess if you just want to come in here and like fucking crush me emotionally that's cool i get it lean tendo you hate me it's fine I, I don't know what i did wrong but it's cool i guess i get it life's hard man you try your best and sometimes it's just not enough sometimes people just don't care sometimes you just you just can't struggle hard enough to make it work sometimes you just have to accept that not everybody's gonna like you that's it is what it is Hey, Ruse, I think you're all right. <laughs> Cringe. Fan energy. Ew. <laughs> Thanks for two months. <laughs> Damn, I take it back. <laughs> There's a meet and greet for Ruse? Ew, I know, right? I have to talk to people live, like like in person-ish, sort of, technically, <laughs> like I guess. Uh, without talking to text, right? Like you're gonna have to you're gonna have to stare at a screen where I'm just kinda right there on that screen going, hey. <laughs> That's a nice house. Oh, Merriweather, you wanna see it? Check this out. Wait till I show you the bridge. Ow! to show you my uh, craftsmanship. I gotta get to my viewing peninsula. I have a dedicated area I like to view it from. Get out of here, creeper. We don't have a long time to look because I got creepers and zombies everywhere, but check out that bridge. God dang him. Oh, damn, that's a, that's a nice looking bridge right there. Anyway, that's my bridge. That's my house. Woo, you missed, baby. It's pretty cool. It's pretty cool. It's not exactly a house so much as it is a tavern slash inn. There's a lot of rooms there, but I mean, you know, what is this biome? It is actually the uh, canyon biome and or desert mesa. See on my bridge, you can see there's this huge river you can look out at. Um, it's a better view from the bridge, but I will not risk luring that creeper over the bridge to blow up all of my hard work. So... There is actually a dedicated Badlands biome really close to me, which is different from the Mesa, believe it or not. And then there's a desert not far from here. I do have a lot of dogs. Uh... Uh... Ow. 
This is my well. Eventually, there's going to be a stable here. There's going to be a bathhouse over there. But first, I got to go get started on my uh, things. Maybe I'll do a... Uh, maybe I'll do a marathon stream today, too. Who knows? Do the other boys have stuff, too? Uh, and Octavio's got a church. I mean, Octavio and Gerard are out there to the south in a desert not too far off. I just went pretty far away from them, A, to be away from them, and B, to find a different biome. And I found this really cool, whoa. I found this really cool river, so I decided to build over it. That's my bridge from underneath. It's very cool. You are gonna be away for a while. Give us the 12 hour streams think about it. Thank you, Cassian. I think it's an all right bridge. Ah! Uh. See ya, chump. I <laughs> wasn't even worried for a second. Pathetic attempt to catch me. You'll remember this is the day you almost caught Crimson Ruse. <laughs> Ow! I'm gonna head over to my little fishing dock. Ignore all of the animals up here by my tavern. I promise they're not gonna stay there. Neither is a little farm field. I'm gonna get rid of both once I get um, my actual pasture area going. Which is why I was building my road today. Look, I built a big long road. And my tavern looks like a little beetle on the map. I love it. I wonder if red terracotta is the rarest terracotta. I feel like I see so few deposits of red. Thanks, the ax hits really hard. It also busts shields up, which is fucking hilarious. Gerard likes hiding behind a shield, so I like to swing my little ax at him. I don't think he's quite figured out that the uh, shield does not work against the axe, so it's always funny. Bridge. All right, so to continue the road, I think I'm gonna use sh sh packed dirt from here on out. What's the sugar cane for? So the sugar cane I was using to make pages so I can make maps, so I can make my map wall, which, speaking of, I need to go get another piece of the map wall down. This is my map wall. There's my new road, which travels out this way and goes up here. Eventually, I'll build a road south that travels through the mesa all the way out to the desert, and then I'll build a road to a dockside area where I'm probably going to build a little dock town, maybe three or four houses, and a like, little dock off of it. And I'll use that dock to get around over to uh, Gerard and Octavio's place. But for now, what I'm going to do is build a pasture up here by this lake. So I'm going to continue the road down to the groove of the valley here. This is about where the valley starts. I'm going to head down here, and I'll probably level out some ground to build a pasture with... um. You know, sheeps and goats and, or not goats, sorry, sheeps and cows and pigs and, I don't know, chickens or whatever. Yeah, it's pretty cute in here, right? Not bad for a criminal's tavern. You got all your little chairs. I've got, like, my little tables with soup. Mm, good soup. I've got bread, or the closest thing I can get to chips, which is a baked potato. I've got some cake here. I've got a little karaoke stage. I've got some dogs. I got these uh, little flags hanging down. I've got this window with this flower. Bink bonk. Yeah, and then back there's the bar with all the little bottles of alcohol and stuff and those big old beer kegs. Fuck yeah, baby. Are the dogs the waitstaff? Nah, they're my guard dogs. I'm gonna build them a little house too at some point, I think. I don't know what I'm gonna do with them yet. I guess I could put them in the basement, but like that seems kind of fucked up, doesn't it? I won't put them down here. 
Uh, 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 uh. Octavia's room, also known as Octavia's piss slash poop corner. He's got a boat in there. Ignore it. This was Gerard's room. I don't know why he took the sign down. And then this is the master bedroom over here. I've been using it. It's not my room, but I've been renting it out, so that counts. Uh, it's got a nice little view out here. Yeah, look at that. Wow, and you can just barely see the desert starting over there. And if you step out onto the balcony, boom, river. Pretty nice, right? And then, I've got the attic. You gotta kind of crouch into the attic. There's gonna be a storage space, eventually. And this is just a, uh, I don't know what it's gonna be. It might be a cat room. It kind of looks out onto the first roof, but there's a second roof up above it. Like, this is the roof above the master bedroom, so I'm technically right on top of the master bedroom right now. And then above me is the main roof. Yeah. A secret hideout if the IRS comes? <laughs> the IRS will never find me. I've got a foolproof plan. Putting on a fake mustache. <laughs> not me, officer. <laughs> I'm not Crimson Ruse. Actually, I think I'm going to want two of those. I think I'm going to want at least two shovels. I might even want four, because I'm going to have to be doing... You know what? In retrospect, there's going to be quite a bit of digging going on in a second. I might even want another pickaxe, but for now I'll stick with my one and, you know, a fifth or whatever that I have left of that one pickaxe. Uh, let's get out there and get to work. Time for more roads. My well! My wellies, shabba dabba doo. Add a top hat while I'm at it? Oh, okay, if you insist. Do, do, do. I gotta fix this crossroads. I think I want to do like a stone fence on the corners. You know what I mean? Like leave the actual road and then do a stone fence here, here, here. Uh, Jack says, "Hey, Ruse, quick question. Totally unrelated to a future campaign plan, by the way. But if the gang found an arsenal full of very cursed weapons, what's the most evil curse you can think of to give a group for ignoring warnings? Uh, are you trying to end your campaign and like punish the players to the point where they're not gonna want to play anymore? Or are you just trying to give them a little high? Fuck you." Uh, kind of in the middle. Oh, I did not do enough, actually. I was thinking three each, but actually it's going to be five each, isn't it? Yeah, it is. Uh, let's start in the back over here and just do this, and then we'll come back to it. Um, as far as curses for your players to teach them a lesson about ignoring warnings, mm, why not do... Okay, I need one more. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. So I need just about twelve more. Let me think. What you could do is give them an item and don't tell them what it does. Okay, no, that's kind of fucked up. I lied. They'll hate you forever. Uh, don't do that. That was too fucked up. I went too far. I went too far. Uh, <laughs> uh, <laughs> uh, Tell us anyway, I was going to say to give them an item that levels them up in reverse, but don't tell them until they start leveling up backwards. Like give them an item that gives them negative levels for what levels they're getting, but don't tell them until a level up would have happened. Uh, but that's fucked up. <laughs> that's so fucked up. And they would be very angry. At you. <laughs> so probably don't do that. Um, damn. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> that's so fucked. Um, let's see. Something that's in between, like, game ending. What the fuck do you want? Are you shitting me right now, dude? Do you want this? You don't want this. Go away. Go away or I'll make you regret it. All right, motherfucker. You want a party? One chest plate, one axe, no shield. That's all I need.
Looks like they're staying where they belong, which is fine. I'm going to take a little nap now that I fixed my crossroads. And then I'm going to run over there and do my road for real for real tomorrow instead of shooting the shit for so long. Uh, yeah, you could do like the old classic soulbound weapon, which is fine. You could do a weapon which makes them switch their characters and play each other's characters for a while, but that could end poorly because you don't want to give other people control of other people's characters because they might be dicks about it. Um, you could give them items that change their race. If your players are the kind that are egotistical about the way their characters look, you could turn them into gnomes or... Uh, uh, sorry. You could give them... Let me think. You could just give them something like items that do half damage. I mean, basically give them negative quality items like you would get in a roguelike. Are you guys still here? All right, I guess I got to kill a bucket. Take a shot, dude. Okay, now you're dead. Warned you. Yeah, you could give them a curse that makes them smell so like something conspicuous. Simple as that. Charisma slash stealth uh, disadvantage is pretty, pretty bad, actually. You do a lot of stealth and a lot of charisma checks in D&D, so that's a pretty brutal punishment. I mean, that's deceptively powerful as far as punishments go. Lanny says, I wonder why the monsters emit hearts when you hit them. It's just signifying that that's how much damage you've done when you tap them. I promise the monsters aren't secretly like masochists who are like, yes, hit me more. They're, they're just telling you how much damage you're doing. That's it. Do I switch to oak out here? Maybe I can switch to oak out here. Save me a lot of trouble. I think I switched to oak out here. Could be the mo that the monsters are masochists. You don't know. Mm -hmm. A really weird thing to program into a game like Minecraft, but I mean, maybe, I don't know. I'm not judging them. I mean, I am judging them. I'm going to judge them. I'm going to judge them just the same as I would judge anybody else, which is harshly and frequently. <laughs> Whoa. Another giant pit of despair, except this one goes down for fucking ever and ever. Wow. How deep is that? Holy shit. Lumi says, yo, Ruse. Luckily, I won the Ruse. You won one too? How is this possible? Luckily, I run won the Ruse meet and greet, so I could tell you one-on-one -on -one that you're definitely the worst. Not dunking on Lean Tindo here, by the way. We're IRL friends, so I already dunked on that. <laughs> That's so fucked up and evil of you. <laughs> We're IRL friends. I already dunked on them. I love that. I like that energy. You know what? I'll see you at the meet and greet. That's like a bedtime story for somebody like me. Tell me again how you ruined someone's day, Grandpapa. <laughs> Sing me the tales of your cruelty. All right, Ruse, but just one more time and then you need to go to sleep. Anyway, I'll see you at that meet and greet. Thank you for the soup, and I look forward to it. <laughs> it's going to be a good time. Or maybe not. I don't know. I've never done a meet and greet. I'm not going to lie. A part of me is actually kind of fucking nervous, which is such a weird feeling to feel about it, because I'm like, I talk to you guys all day, every day, 
Uh, but there's a part of me that's like, oh, but it's in person. And what if, like, I don't know, what if somebody comes up and they're like, uh, you know, like, fucking, uh, Ohio. And I'm like, oh, shit, uh, Nihongo, not Jozu, my guy. Sorry, I'm, 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 I'm the shittiest Nihongo Jozu there's ever been. Fucking, I'm terrible at that, sorry. That's gonna feel bad. He's gonna just chill out, damn. Nice. Oh, I love, I love Pactor. All right, so where are we going to curve at? That's an important thing about any road is knowing where to curve. I forgot to grab the other map. I forgot to grab either map off the wall. It's fine. We'll look at it when we're done. It's going to be beautiful uh, when we're done. And that's what matters. I think I'm going to curve around this hill in a really natural sort of way. Like I just wanted to feel like it kind of follows the hill's curve, sort of. So one more out, and then we go whoop, whoop, bop, boom. Boop bop. Boom. Boop bop. Um, boop bop boom. And then do I go straight from here? Not yet. I would go, let's see, if I'm standing on this block, go straight up. So I'm probably at that block. And then one, two blocks more. So one, two. And then if I wanted to meet up, I probably need to go one more. But let's go ahead and pull out. Let's let's just pull this road outward some and meet each other in the middle and see what it looks like. Hey, welcome back, Quinn. Did I miss you? No. <laughs> Next album. Good night, Pulet. Pulet. More like P U let, am I right? <laughs> gotcha. Ooh, I like how dark it is. It ooh, that dappled light coming through the leaves. Mmm. <sighs> it's kinda taste <gasps> kinda tasty. A meet and greet sounds terrifying. I can't imagine how it'd feel. I know. I'm like, what 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 even is that? Like a part of me is just kind of feeling the absurdity of it, I guess, is what's happening. I think I think a part of me just understands how ridiculous the notion is that someone would want to come like talk to me in a meet and greet. Like, why? Why? I'm some jackass nobody on the internet who just sits there and rambles randomly during the day and is kind of kind of a dick, all things considered. So I'm like, uh um, uh, so part of me is like, don't be a dick, don't be a dick, don't be a dick, don't be a dick. But I'm like, wait, no, I mean, that's kind of just who I am. Like, if I'm not a dick, I'm not really being mean. But if I'm not be, but if I am a dick, maybe I'm, maybe I'm going too far. Maybe actually I'm, 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 I'm not, I'm, ooh. Anyway, there's a lot of weird feelings that go into being the subject of a meet and greet, and uh, I don't know exactly how I feel about it yet. I mean, it's fine. It's whatever. I'm going to do it. It is my government mandated duty. Uh, and also, I mean, it sounds kind of fun. I mean, the Rosader sounds kind of cool. I guess in a kind of lame way or whatever. Not that I give a shit about you guys or anything, because I don't. Um, but I mean, eh, it could be interesting. It could be a unique experience, I guess. I don't know. I don't know. Whatever. That's better. Like Pactor. I'm not in love with this wall, like kind of kissing the road. That kind of annoys me a little bit. Maybe I curve around it some. I feel like, yeah, that's the move. Yeah, that's that's kind of the move. I like that better. So one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, okay.
With any luck, I might connect directly with where I left the other road off, which would just be fucking serendipitous, wouldn't it? Oh, serendipity. How fortuitous. Okay, so sorry. Uh, serendipitous is a good word, isn't it though? Yum, 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 Tasty. Did I miss somebody saying something? Hold on, let me scroll back. No, we're good. Okay, cool. I'm good. See you later, Irish. Oh, for fuck's sake. I might have to cut this one down. I don't really like cutting down too many trees if I don't have to, but this one's kind of just directly in the way. There is too many trees around for this one to naturally be destroyed, so I have to handle it manually. Yay! Manual tree destruction. Whee! There we go. Okay. So. Arr, piss. Arr, piss! I hear lava. You guys hear lava? I hear lava. Oh, for fuck's sake, man. Not right now, sir! Not interested in whatever you're telemarketing! Okay, anyway, uh, where was I? Oh, right, we were digging more road. Mmm, yummy! Things are getting a little more wacky out here. I don't know how I feel about that. Oh, for fuck's sake, guys, come on. Boo! Get a job! Boo! Welcome in, gamers. Sorry, I'm a little focused because it's night time and I want to get this road done. I'm not that sorry. I'm like a little sorry, but I'm not that sorry. Ah, shit. I curved it too far. Jesus, fuck. That scared the shit out of me, music. Why'd you do that? It's not like the prettiest curve in the world. It's probably not going to look great on a map. <sighs> but I'll take it. I guess. Sorry. <laughs> Sorry I threw up in your ear cutely. <laughs> <laughs> Cat girl role players be like, Sorry I vomited cutely in your ear. <laughs> <laughs> That's so fucked up. <laughs> uh, it's fucked up, but it's kind of fucking funny. Okay. 
I might just stay out here all night and work on this instead of heading back. I just don't see the point in going back right now. I, I don't I don't perceive it being of use to me. Hurry up and get up here so I can kill you, please. I'm not Dante. Yeah, 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 blow up. You're so scary. Sorry, dude. I'm just, I'm not feeling it tonight. I'm just going through the motions, my little creeper friend. I apologize. I tried to make you feel scary so you wouldn't feel bad about yourself, but I just, just trying to get some shit done. You know how it is. Frying pan ASMR. Okay, cool. I think, uh, feeling pretty good about this. Once all that grows grass, that's going to look really good. So let me, uh, sorry. Okay. Much better. Woohoo! Uh, uh, uh. Oh yeah, nice staircase, nice staircase, nice staircase. Fuck off. <laughs> Silence, filth. Kneel to your new god. I am a cold and wrathful god, full of vile vitriol, hatred and disdain for you and all of your kin. I've come here to tell you how pathetic you truly are, and to establish the new order, my order. Okay, sorry about that. <laughs> Something's wrong. It's not right! This hill must go. Why? Because I have a new hill to build. I am a god of the earth, a god of plants, a god of water and society and construction and destruction and life and death and rage and wrath. And by my hand, I will build this empire. By my word, you will know fear. <laughs> hey, thank you, Richard Like Spies. I hope it's a chill one. I hope it's, I hope it's well with two we were waxed. Plugged up our shitty cave. Woo! Let's go, baby. Okay. Yeah, that's me, the Yap God. <laughs> I'm 
beginning to feel just like a yap god, yap god. People fall asleep to my stream, they call me nap god, nap god. Yeah, 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 okay, I can, I can, I can make that work. We can get there, we can get there. <laughs> Rewrite win. Crimson Ruse original win. <laughs> Tell your mama to show for herself. Good luck, Oracle. You know what we need? More pirate sea shanties from Armas. Mmm, tasty. Yar har. We be pirates. Yar 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 Yes, please. Agreed. Please. I gotta get the boys to. I gotta get the boys to freestyle with me on uh, pirate sea shanties. Since I'm flattening this hill out so much, I might actually use this as like a way station type of building. Um, I don't know what I'm going to do with it yet. It might be like a little guard tower or something tiny. I don't know exactly what I want to do with it yet because I'm going to turn this into like more of a farming settlement type of feel. So I don't want it to feel like super militaristic or guarded. But on the same hand, I need to do something here, I think, since this is such flat land. I could start the farm up here, but I kind of want it to be down by the lake. Oh, maybe I do like a individual small farmhouse here that has like a potato field or something out here. Joe Kalatrix says, I'm curious, can you use chopsticks? Well, yeah, of course. How else would I eat my sushi? Guess I didn't plug that cave deep enough because they're right on the other end of this, which is kind of fucking annoying. That's all right. We'll figure it out. It'll be okay. Mm -mm -mm. Okay. Nice. Mm -mm. Now I just need to make that make sense. Actually, it kind of does on its own. I don't really need to do a lot with that. That's lucky. Boom, bow, boom, bow. Uh. Let's see. A terrace farm, says Rupoki. Oh, a terrace farm can be cool, kind of cool out there, yeah? Like we carve it. Well, the problem is it's, it's such a steep cliff. A terrace farm would be kind of difficult because I'd have to... Um, Usually with a terrace farm, what I would want to do is do like three, down one, three, down one, three, down one, three, down one. But doing that, I would have to carve so much more of it because you'd have to either go three up three or something like that because it's a one to one up, which makes it a little difficult. But it's possible. It would just be hard to do. Are you fucking me right now? So there's another cave over there. All right, I got another cave to plug. Hold on. Uh, how deep in this one do I want to go? How deep do I want to get? I guess I could just fill it with, like, torches in there. It'd probably save me some time to fill it with torches and then just plug up the, whole, the front. So I'm going to fill the inside with torches a little bit so we get less spawns near the front here, especially underneath these stairs because that's fucking annoying.
That should be far enough. I've actually never been to China. That sounds like a pretty fun, uh, fun trip. I'd love to see terrace farms out there. That'd be awesome. But then again, I've never really been out of South Elysium, so shrug. There's a lot of places I want to go. So let's plug this up, but I don't want to do like a ton of it. I don't want to like fucking sit here and babysit it forever. So I'm just going to plug the front of it and just make sure it's really torched near the front. Like really torched. So that hopefully there's no chance anything could spawn down here. And then we'll just kind of fill it in here. Hopefully that is enough to keep them from uh, being little freaks. Ah, damn. Is that enough space for something to spawn? It sure is. <gasps> pretty good okay anyway back to what i was doing uh what did i miss whoa, 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 whoa. definitely would love to see you travel and ramble about uh, to us about it yeah sometimes i wonder how i could make content out of something like that like if i got to get around a lot you know what i mean like how would i turn that into something i can share with you guys in a way that makes sense i mean obviously i can't just like carry a fucking camcorder with me or whatever the hell like i mean sh like I don't, I don't i don't think the government would be super happy with me if i just whipped out my phone camera i was like hey, let's record this stuff um, so I wonder what I would do with something like that. Vlogging? Pre-record some content? Yeah, I could. I could. Kind of close. I'm running out of shovels. I also need to make more stairs. Damn, this is steep. Um, Watame's done some travel stuff you can look at for ideas. Yeah, I guess that's fair. I could look at Watame Senpai's stuff. Uh, for fucking. I think uh, hasn't Kiara Senpai done travel stuff too? I guess I could like see what they've done and how they did that, but I feel like that'd be like a lot of editing. Which is fine. Miyabi does too. Wow, I haven't seen any Miyabi's uh, travels content. That's fun. I want to leave a few of these tiny hill outcroppings because I do want to still give the like idea that this is really hilly terrain because it is. Um, but I do need to cut down a couple of these hills once in a while to make space, which is a shame. But that is just the way of progress. Uh, that's adorable. I kind of love that. Yeah, there's got to be so much editing and censoring and probably like running it by like the fucking like, uh, you know, running it through the red tape and shit. That's got to take so much work. Poor Miyabi Senpai. Poor Shinpai. I can't imagine how many, like, fucking checks you have to run through the legal team and stuff or something like that. <laughs> Damn. 
damn it. It would be raining. Oh, you would pull this horse piss. All right, uh, let's see. What am I going to do here? I'm going to build out some to create this space that has a walkway. Okay, that feels pretty natural. Pretty good, pretty good. And then we got to build this. Got to get a little bit of that. Yeah. Wait a minute. Okay. Wait a second. I'm, I'm on to something. I'm on to something. I really should have brought a bed out here or something. <gasps> if I can trick any of the boys into joining me if I hop into a voice call. You guys think I could do that? <laughs> Alright, let's head home and take a little nap real quick before I forget. Damn, it really gets steep here. I'd have to build so much. Ugh, I'm gonna create a canyon, basically. That fucking sucks. Uh... Maybe I gotta dig into the wall some. Maybe I, I could delete what I did here and dig in more. Let's see you in the morning. Stairs, but with scaffolding. Yeah, I could do stairs and then do upside down stairs underneath those to create like a, um, you know, like a ramp essentially and then put scaffolding underneath, I guess. Ugh, I guess. I don't know. We'll see. Mmm, calm music. Yeah, I could zigzag it, but then it loses the double stair, which is fine. I mean, it's not the end of the world, but it's kind of a bummer. And I've already started on those stairs, so I'd have to delete those stairs and then zigzag it and repair the wall to the way it was supposed to be for the... What the hell? Are you guys having some sort of fucking meeting I don't know about? And I wasn't invited? Not cool, guys. Not cool. Everybody gets an accent. You're welcome. I know. I know. There's enough to go around. Don't be a baby. Wow, 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 wow. Huh. Yeah. Oh, it's hot in here. Hop it on. Hey, Don Bet. Boom. Bam. Nap time. Oh, they're practicing their K-pop dances under cover of the night. I see. That makes sense. They're practicing for their TikTok filmings. Yeah. Stretch. Why witch? Oh. All right, let's get back out there and decide what we're going to do. What's up, piss ant? Aruzio. <laughs> Let's go. 
Is he out? Uh, then, then, then Gerard comes in, you know, sneak into the mansion. Is he out? Is he out? Hi, Melanie. <laughs> All right, let's do this. Yeah! Lean Tindo! Thanks. Mmm, soup. So good and tasty. All right, so check this out. <gasps> Ew! Oh no! It flattens everything. Oh, come on, man. I can't fucking win. Oh man. Alright, well ah, fuck. Uh shit. Uh fuck. Alright, I'll do it this way. Okay, now we're going. Now we're going down. Okay, 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 okay. Night burb! This does create a very natural vibe, which is kind of cool, I guess. Kind of creates this energy of like, oh, this is just like a path that very few people take because it's just a little farming site. It's not like this big deal. <laughs> it's not like they have like a huge fucking city out here or whatever. <laughs> Wink wonk. All right. Mm -mm -mm. I don't, I don't like that some of these have grass on them. Some of them don't. That's pissing me off. Okay. So, ba -ba 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 -ba, and then you make it here, and it's like, ooh, surprise. It takes you down. And then this one takes you down one more. And then this is, goes bye-bye. Bye-bye. And then I guess you got to go down even one more, maybe? Yeah. And then you cycle back in. Or maybe you just go straight down. Whoa. Now let's keep cycling left and right, because I think that's funny. Um, so where would I go about here? And then we cycle. Let's turn this into a staircase. Yeah, let's turn this into a staircase. So what we're going to do is we're going to carve into this. Carve into that. Carve into this. Carve into that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's all coming together. Okay, so. Sorry, I'm not looking at what you're saying. I'm uh, I'm in my zone, and everybody takes second place to Minecraft. That's a fact. <laughs> you know what it is. Hell yeah, Chalk Warrior. Congratulations. I hope you've been having fun with it. Thanks for two months. Never mind, I have more. You're at work! 
You're at work instead of watching me stream? Quit your fucking job. Quit your goddamn quit quit your quit your job. Quit your job. <laughs> <laughs> Just kidding. Wow, wow, wow. Why, why? <laughs> why, why would you even become a Rosader? No, I'm just kidding. Thanks for being a Rosader. Um... That's a little scary. It's like, ah! You almost fall off the edge and you're like, Whoa. Maybe I put like a little fence here or something. That could be kind of cool. We do like a... It's kind of ugly though. <laughs> Not in love with the way that looks, but if I build it up a bit and kind of like, okay, wait a minute, 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 wait, 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 maybe, maybe I'm a genius. Damn, that instrument was really feeling itself. It was like, Motherfucker really said, I can hit that note. Make the area wider. No need. I'm cooking. Oh, this is going to look home homey as fuck. Wow! Oh, wow, a little itty-bitty land bridge for me. <laughs> How quaint! A tiny sheep fence so I don't trip. Oh, sh you shouldn't have. Oh, my. Oh, my. How kind of you. Uh, I do probably need to wait till grass grows there, though, which is kind of fucking annoying. Um, How long is it going to take for grass to grow there? Will grass grow under a fence? Does anybody know? Boink. Do I got bones? I do got bones. Give me that bone meal. I need grass. More glass, please. Oh. Please, grass, please. Uh, I hate waiting. Fine. Ugh. Disgusting. Rain. Fall. You are strong, Weather, but I am beyond strength. Fall. I don't want to be patient! Fuck! Another month of hating and being hated. I'll always be wishing nothing but the worst for you. Hey, thank you. I wish the worst for you as well. You filthy animal. Slash endearing. Slash <laughs> for knee. Bro, I'm fucking living for that. Let's go. That's so cool. All right, I'll give that a chance to grow. Let's go rest somewhere. 
I gotta go take a little nap back home. I gotta bring a bed with me this time. I'm gonna steal Gerard's bed out of the tavern and take that with me. Thanks for being a bruiser, I wish you. Wait a minute, that's not your profile picture. What happened, Washi? Hey, Bruce, when you come up with stream ideas, do you just sit down and brainstorm sessions or just let ideas come naturally through random sources of inspiration? What do you mean by that? You mean, like, uh, for regular streams, I just play whatever I'm feeling that day. Um, but if you're talking about, like, for goofy little, like, um, specialty streams, like the Fruit Smasher Pass, kind of whatever sparks my interest, I guess. Sometimes it's random. Sometimes it's something I have to think about for a minute. It really just depends on the stream itself. Oh, it's an alt. Oh, I see. Well, thanks. Why is it so hot in here? Why? Fiddlesticks! You guys want to know how to do the fiddlesticks voice? You guys want to know the secret? It's true. It's breathe in. It's breathe in when you talk, but you gotta you gotta alternate. You can't just breathe in because that that creates too too direct a. Uh, um, it's it's kind of like it loses the jarringness of the voices changing constantly, as if someone's like choking through air. Um, you gotta breathe in and breathe out as you're talking. You don't want to do it like rhythmically though. You want to alternate at random intervals. Sometimes in the same line. So like instead of going like fiddlesticks, you'll be like fiddlesticks. You know what I mean? Yeah 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 yeah. Uh-huh. Thanks for agreeing with me, random villager. How did you feel about his redesign a few years back? I thought it was a fucking... I thought it was pretty fucking good. Pretty fucking good. I said, that's a good fiddlesticks right there. Huh? Sure, I did, Mr. Villager. Ooh. Can I make a Donald impression? I don't think so. <laughs> Maybe. <laughs> Old Gorsh. <laughs> I don't know who Dinald. Yeah, Dinald. Dinald. That's Dinald and his friend Michael, and uh, you know, uh, Umfi. I love Dinald, Michael, and Umfi. Those are my favorite characters. Oh <laughs> <laughs> yep. Yeah, yeah. I don't know how I feel about four. I'm a little, I'm a little on the fence about four, but I'll talk about that some other time. When you sound like Dinal and Goober. Ah, let's be safe and make some more. Just in case. Ding ding! Give it up for Montu. Um, to my least favorite idol, I could do without the Denold impression. Uh, d sorry uh, that I didn't whisper the ring into your ear. Apologies. Let me readjust this ASMR real fast. Ap let me try again, whisper rain, if you don't mind. Uh, let's start over. So here, uh, how about instead of the Denold impression, what if I were to, uh, let's say. Do slightly more uh, rain ASMR. Let's try something like this.
That's just not safe. Let's go, baby. There we go. That feels a little better. <gasps> Sorry. <laughs> Sorry for my audible gasp of, like, shock when I noticed that there was grass there where it wasn't supposed to be. Bruh! This is the most fucking cottage core path that ever lived. How did I do this? Why did I do this? Why did I do this? How did I do this? In what war- Oh, wow. 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 Damn. You're just like, ooh, 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 I'm just gonna go down. Do, 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 do. Ooh, quaint little fence. Oh, ooh, ooh, quaint little fence. Oh, 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 oh. oh, oh, oh. oh, oh. wow. Wow, that was such a soft path. I loved that. Water! And then you're like, oh, look at, oh, look at, oh, look at the, oh, look at, oh, what in the fucking Hobbiton is going on down here? You know what I mean? God damn, that's beautiful. How did he do it? How does he do it? Fuck yeah, baby. Let's go. Enjoy your trip. Or not. Wow, why the or not? What's that about? Whoa, 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 whoa. Where's all this latent aggression coming from? What the hell? What's that about? Why are you being so mean to me? What did that do? <laughs> Who in Hollow Stars Ian would hop over these guardrails? Uh Axel, if you ever played Minecraft. Uh Altair. Um Gerard, only because he was being impatient, not because he could actually handle the jump down. He would probably start screaming once he took damage. Uh, not Octavio, because I think Octavio would appreciate the aesthetics of it over the safety of it. Um, probably Battle. He'd get impatient. I think Flayon would appreciate the aesthetics. I think Shinri would appreciate the aesthetics. Uh, Gold, mm, Goldie, I think Goldie, Goldie's a toss up. Goldie's a 50, 50 chaotic motherfucker. I feel like Haka would, yeah, Haka would just glide down on the on the wings. I feel like Haka's always got those goddamn wings on. I feel like Haka would glide down no matter what. Gobbish member? I was talking to Battle the other day when him, uh, he and Flan were streaming. Um, Lies appeared. <laughs> <laughs> talking about how fucking silly it is that every time a clown shows up in anything, someone's like, is that metal? And it's always like the fucking ugliest, most heinous creature you've ever seen. I'm talking like full on like intestines, like spewing out of its mouth, like maggots in its eyes, like weird ass fucked up, like digital <laughs> fucking funny man, uh, like with the most runny, heinous makeup you've ever seen. They're like, is that garbage metal? And I'm like, yeah, sure. Why not? <laughs> I'm like, that must suck, man. People always got your fucking goat every time a single clown shows up. I'm kind of glad. Sometimes I'm like, man, I'm glad my, like, thing isn't, like... Like, my thing is, like, axes or being a mercenary or whatever, but, like, n you're not gonna, like, see every fucking mercenary in every game. Like, is that Crimson Woof? Like, every time some fucking flea-bitten, like, uh, multiple disease-ridden, like, unwashed for 50 years mercenary shows up on screen, not everybody's gonna be like, is that Crimson Woof? Uh... And I'm glad for that. It's like, my thing is what? Axes, being a mercenary, and uh, being a totally normal human. So, like, those are all pretty loose concepts. So it makes it harder for people to kind of, like, one-to-one -one me and things. And that's nice.
Rich just says, no one points out anything even remotely clown-like, though. It says it's battle, at least not from what I've seen. Well, I'm sorry that you poked both of your eyes out Oedipus-like and then, I guess, ate them so that you would never see again. But if you see anything with a clown notification on it and anybody who's ever seen Hollow Stars the end, the first fucking thing I hear is, is that Gabbage Bedbug? <laughs> and that's okay sometimes i get it like things remind you of things i don't blame you i understand i do i do get it because sometimes i am reminded of battle when i see things i'm not gonna lie i never saw armored core 6 as Fleon, but then i watched Fleon play in armored core 6 i'm like ah oh, yeah yeah now i see Fleon when i play this game god damn it um Oh no, here's Homestuck Rouge. Ooh, ooh, my legacy is horrible. <laughs> my legacy is a nightmare. Uh, you brought this legacy upon yourself? I sure did. I sure did. That's my bad. Octopimp's gonna take the VTuber pill. Octopimp's getting VTuber pilled. It's true. Me watching One Piece and seeing Buggy. Whoa, sick battle reference, brah. <laughs> exactly. Exactly, Nullhound. Not car cat coded. Oh, fuck. Are you going to have lights along the trails? I will. I will. Worry, worry not, young one. I will build the lights. You will see. Live action buggy was really battle coded. I never watched. I I have I have consumed negative One Piece media. In fact, I have actively avoided One Piece. I saw that Alma. Negative One Piece. <laughs> I've got no problem with One Piece or One Piece likers. I just don't have i don't have the fucking time you get one super media in your life right like for me it was homestuck for some people it's one piece for other people it's fucking i don't know like binge watching fucking what's another super media doctor who i guess yeah doctor who or whatever um and for me uh i'm good i'm good with what i did I, i'm done i i went into the fucking trenches all right i i dealt with the world i lived in all right i i saw the the equius cosplayers i was there when the when the deep language was fucking written all right i know what horrors lurk at the corners of the minds of men and i don't want to to be there again <laughs> and i feel like one piece is that right now <laughs> hey Mari. <laughs> oh man. Sometimes I like to be petty just for myself. You know, it's not what's what what I really enjoy about streaming, I think, is that I make it I make it entertaining for me, and I think that sometimes translates and that's why it's entertaining for you guys. But sometimes I just have my own inside jokes that I don't bother explaining and <laughs> and I <laughs> Like, someone just typed, Oh, Rouge, you've read, like, five of my comments. This is sick as hell. And, like, that's really nice of you, and I'm glad you're that excited. But I actively read that and then decided, I'm not commenting on that. I'm going to pretend I didn't read that. <laughs> oh, it's so fucking funny, dude. <laughs> Oh, I sure am a... Ah, uh, oh, man, I am really just the scum fuck at the bottom of the muck barrel, am I right? <laughs> oh, God. Oh, I love being awful. God damn. <laughs> oh, hey, grass is growing on my path. Nice. The bottom of the muck barrel, you know, with all the muck in it. Yucky, yucky, mucky.
Oh, grass is growing on this hill too. Nice, 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 nice. Uh, now, please grow. I just need the proof that grass can grow under the fences and then I'll be happy. Did grass grow under these? I think they did. I'm not sure. Jackie's pens, Ponzer. Ponzer, Dragoon? Uh, thanks for being a crusader. Does that mean if you died, you'd want to go out of the mukba uh, mukbang? Is it mukbang or mukbang? I don't know. Anyway, sure, fuck it. Why not? Going out eating, I guess, sounds fun enough. I mean, unless you choke on it. That, that, sounds, that sounds not fun, actually. Um, I, I don't know. I feel like I either want to die in my sleep so I don't know I'm dying, or I want to die in a dramatic sword duel on top of a snowy hill against somebody who used to be my best friend but is now my enemy, and I want someone else there to witness it and be really sad. Someone to be like, no, they were such good friends, though. Why does it have to be this way? And I want to have, like, a dramatic speech between me and my best buddy before we, like, fight each other in our sword duel to the death, and hopefully someone will be, like, on a, like, sort of, like, just kind of off in the middle distance playing piano really slowly, like, sort of like a bling. Bling, plong, bling, bling, plong, bling, bling, plong, bling, bling, plong, type of deal, you know what I'm saying? Uh, and then, like, we, I don't know, just stab each other to death or whatever the fuck. Maybe we have, like, a few sword locks where we look each other in the eyes and it's like, it wasn't supposed to be like this. Nah. And, like, we're not really, like, hating each other. It's just that we're on two sides of, like, diametrically opposed ideologies. And we still, like, you know, we're still best buddies, but we have to, like, fight for different forces because we believe in different ways of getting our message to the world. That'd be cool. <laughs> hey, thanks for the gift of chip, Vizodi. And thanks for being a bruiser, Quinn. I'll get you, bud. But it was a play on you saying you're at the bottom of the muck. Exceptional diatribe. Oh, I got you. I got you. But I'm going to riff off your riff. Don't worry. I, I I told you. Have confidence, my my good friend, Sergeant Shinobi. Know that I am riffing with you when I continue the riff. I feel like that might be my life someday. Fuck yeah, baby. Damn, the camera angles. Oh, wouldn't the camera angles go kind of hard? Are you trying to kill each other so that I have to live without you? Nah, that gets in a romance territory. And, like, that's cute, but I don't want to die romantically. I want to die dramatically. Uh, Bunnyhugger410 says, Nah, from the four and a half values of Homestuck I've read, Karkat and Dave are ruse-coded. Not the other way around, in my opinion. What can I say? The characters in the world intrigued me. Four or five volumes? Wait, are you reading the physical copies? Hmm... Can there not be drama in dying heroically? There can be. It's just romance doesn't play heavily into the the fiction of my death, I don't think. It's just not how I want it to go. Yes, Shin Research. Sh cert? Yes, Shin Cert. Certification. Yes, Shinry certification. Uh, there are physical copies of Homestuck. You can find them at your local library. You're going to regret it, though. No, I'm just kidding. It's pretty cool. But I would definitely recommend consuming it digitally so that you can get a hold of, uh, you know, all the little, like, um, mini games and blah, 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 blah. I'm, I'm done chilling this, actually. I don't know how I got exhausted saying that in the middle of saying that, but I sure fucking did. Something about saying that stopped me in my fucking tracks. I was like, I'm, I'm done talking about this. Uh, anyway, the point is, yes, there's physical copies. Consume it online. I don't know what they're saying, but I'm just saying it. Really, Cooper? I feel like I've seen so many fucking physical copies of Homestuck. Maybe they're not at the library anymore. Maybe they ran out. Who knows? I think they stopped at four or five. I don't remember. Who knows? I sure don't.
Maybe it's at Barnes and Noble that I've seen them. Mm. Huh. 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 Mm. I am now at a bit of a loss for how I want to start building. I could dig out some of this area. Like this area right here is really ripe. Ripe for a building, probably. Because what I could do is I could just lower the hill here. Yeah, I'm going to start. I'm going to start. Just fuck it. We're just going to get started. Uh, whatever happens, happens. You know what I mean? Plong. Pling, pling, plong. Oh, I see. That makes sense, Money Hugger. Thank you, Wolfred. I don't know why I felt the need to scream that one. That was a, I made that unnecessarily hype. But that's the best kind of hype. Do it, Zucchini, you won't. Live your arid and cosplaying dreams. <laughs> No, I won't eat my vegetables. Working on a Nepta cosplay in 2024? Respect. Good for you. Proud of you. Ah! Oh, cool. I still have another one. Why my music stop? <gasps> no. Continue. Thank you. <laughs> uh, uh, uh. Dude, Fancy Tier kind of... I really wish I would have gotten a chance to do a Fancy Tier cosplay. That would have been so cool. But I'm not good at crafting cosplays. I would usually just wear the outfits my buddies made. Which is a bummer. I've lost contact with a few of my Homestuck buddies. But it is what it is. Uh, I always wanted to do a fancy stuck though, but if I wanted to do that, I mean, you can't really put that on your friends and I would never ask them to do it. So uh, I just kind of had a vague desire in the back of my mind, but not the wherewithal or the will to learn cosplay. And that's on me. It is what it is. Conair says, hey, Ruz. I know I've gotten kind of quiet lately because I'm in the middle of a Warcraft. Ooh. I'm in the middle of a World Warcraft 3 custom match. I mean, I haven't played Warcraft 3 in forever. I want to play Warcraft 3. I suck at that game though. I need some support because I'm struggling hard against the normal calm. If I lose, I'll send some chips. Well, in that case, I want you to lose. Get fucked. No, <laughs> just kidding. <laughs> Good luck. Here, I'll send you the support you need. <clears throat> My life for Nerzul. <sighs> oh, perfect music timing, too. Holy shit. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. That was weird. That was kind of weird. That was kind of weird. <laughs> anyway, thank you for the soup and good luck on air. Oh boy, I can't wait to turn all this dirt into mud later. Yeah, you guys thought I forgot about that, didn't you? You guys probably forgot about it, huh? You were like, look at this guy. He's just digging dirt forever. What's he going to do with all this dirt? I have a plan. I've got a plan. I love mud. Mmm, mud. <laughs> Fucking vile. <laughs> Why did I say that? <laughs> I don't know what's going on in my brain right now. I guess because I didn't get much blinking time. Something's going on in there, and it ain't great. <laughs> Oh shit, something's going on in there, and it is not ideal. <laughs> you got that pig in him, fuck.
Okay, so I could put like a little like cabin or a little house here, right? You know, nothing crazy, nothing wild. Maybe like a little um four, no five, uh, maybe a six by four type of deal, and then like a little side branch of it. Is a tool shed possibly? Uh, and then what? I guess I could use that space for farming, or I could use this space over here for farming. I could put the house here, but then. The rest of this isn't really great land for farming. I gotta... Could I make a, like a tiered farm? I guess. Life Swordsman says, are you excited for Expo and the meet and greet trues? I'm a little nervous. I've never done meet and greet. Oh no, God. I'm sorry. I'm sorry it went down like this. A moment of silence for our fallen soldier. Just a moment. A moment of silence and piano. Bling. Bling. Prong. Bling. Bling. Prong. Bling. Bling. Prong. So sad. Thanks for the chips, Connor. <laughs> uh, I'm more nervous than I am excited for the meet and greets, but I will do my best. Uh, I will definitely try to make that work and be super duper normal about it. Um, hmm. I guess I could do the farm over there. Like, I could have the farmhouse here, and I could do the actual farm up here because it does flatten out a little bit. Not like a lot, but enough that I could dig a reasonable farm. Yeah, like I could... I could fill this in and then dig back here some and build a reasonable farm. Oh, yeah, and then I could... Okay. Thanks for getting super chipper as soon as I discovered things. I think the music's a paid actor today. I came over that hill and it said... Ooh, 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 ooh. Flow is not on the go, says, how do meet and greets with VTubers go? Hey, that's a lot of rhyming. Uh, I have no fuck included. I've never done one. Um, I'm a little weirded out by the concept of it and the idea of people being like, oh, yeah, I would love to go talk to Roos. Like, why would you actively talk to me? What a weird choice you've made. But that won't stop me because mama didn't raise no coward. I'm still going to do it. You can steal my identity, you can't steal my cats. Then I'll just kill you. I'm kidding. I'm not allowed to say I'm going to kill you. The government says I can't do that anymore. <laughs> no more killing Rusaders, Ruse. I said, fine. Uh, you're no fun, government. You hate me. Oh, let's go, music. Oh, this is going to make a really cute little farming hole. It's going to be like a little farming hollow. And maybe, ooh, what if the stream trickles down into the little lake down there? Ooh. This is going to be good. That's gonna be cool as fuck. Oh! Most intense dirt placing ever. Hey, the, the game just wanted me to know how incredibly well I was doing at putting dirt down on the ground. I think this song is called Alpha. This song is in fact called Alpha and it is on the Alpha, no, sorry, the beta volume of the Minecraft uh, C418 album. When did Minecraft music go this hard? Oh. Oh. Have you guys seen that TikTok? <laughs> 
I can't explain this with... I, I cannot verbally make this as funny as it is visually, so I'm just going to pray. Brother never forgot the drop of Cascade. I did never. I did never. I did never. Uh, I can't make this verbally as funny as this is visually, but do you guys know the fucking TikTok? <laughs> <laughs> where that guy just imagine this guy's face when he shrugs and the TikTok where that guy's like you burned down my house you killed my family what am I gonna do and there's a guy who stitches it and he's just shrugging and smiling <laughs> and his like chin is sinking into his neck so it looks like he doesn't have any chin he's just got like three necks it's fucking hilarious he's just got the biggest stupidest smile on his face <laughs> <laughs> He's just shrugging at the guy screaming about his family dying. Like, oh, I don't know, dude. Good luck. <laughs> I have that face in my mind every time someone yells at me when I do something bad in a game. I'm like, that's that's my face when I shrug. I'm like, yeah. <laughs> <Ooh>. <laughs> like barely concealed joy at their pain. <laughs> you burned my house to the ground. <laughs> <laughs> oh man that's funny god damn it god damn it now it's in my fucking head <laughs> fuck all right anyway let me focus let me focus on minecraft <laughs> oh wait there's a way down over there i need to go get some iron so i'm gonna go over there Oh, fuck off. Arr, it is a thunderstorm. Uh, you fucking suck. Ooh, iron. Exactly what I needed. Thank you. Ah! Ooh, more. Ooh, piece of candy. Yum. Can I take a little nap, please? Fine, I'll wait. <laughs> we'll just enjoy some ASMR. Oh, that's that's kind of nice. Ruse, I think you're the only VTuber my dad would like, slash positive. Did your dad like TikTok? Because I'm in. <laughs> did I ever catch a bee? I did catch a bee. Yeah, I'm going to transport the hive I got over to this area in a bit. Once I get things going. There is, in fact, a bee, Rip Jester. It's very cute. I too have a soft spot for Minecraft B. Please let me nap off the storm. <sighs> let me sweep. Thank you. Thank you. My B loving. Are you fucking me right now? Thank you. It turned out Lumi is a bigger coward than I am, so I'll kindly pay to ask in their stead. Any topic you'd love to talk about during the meet and greets? Uh, 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 whatever's on your mind. <laughs> I promise you, my brain will be jelly that entire day. I will be sitting there like, I'm going to probably what's going to be running through my head the entire time is I can't count to four. Uh, I assume what's going to happen is my brain's going to give me a little, uh, a little worm and it's going to burrow deep, deep into my noodle and it's going to stay in there. It's going to be saying some dumb shit, real dumb shit. So I'm relying on you to give me a conversation topic because I'm probably not going to have a great one for you. Ours will be jelly too. Twinsies. Um, just uh, I guess if um, I just want to say, 
if anybody's like intimidated or nervous about talking to me at the meet and greet or if, honestly even if in streams you guys ever feel like you know sometimes it can be scary to chat or it can feel like um i guess sometimes it can feel like content creators are unapproachable or it can be tough to talk to them and i just want you guys to know that if you ever feel intimidated by me good <laughs> Bunny Hugger says, gosh, I love Minecraft music, right? Like C418 created some absolutely gorgeous music like Alpha and Hagstorm and uh, Lena Rain created some really cool stuff like Pig Step. That's adorable. I love that name. That's it. That's the post. Thanks for that. I'm here to help. Me? Scared of you? Ha! I laugh in the face of danger. <laughs> so you think I'm dangerous? What if I'm... What if I'm dangerous? Insert e-boy TikTok here. You know, just tapping the side of my head like... <laughs> tongue out. You know what's wild? I'm not kidding when I say that Azure, or not, uh, the, the. It could be your angle or your devil. Wait, hold on. What was I saying? Fuck, I forgot. Word. Never mind. Fuck it. I surrender. Oh, man. I only have one piece of coal. Eh, hopefully that's enough to do seven. That's all right. Uh, 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 uh. Uh, yeah, you can bring the chippy chippy chaba chaba dooby dooby raba raba magic call me. Call me dooby boo 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 boo. <laughs> That'd be fun. As far as topics at the meet and greet, I assume it's going to be relatively short. I think um, I've been kind of pre warned that the conversations will have to be kept like at a, a shorter time frame. So I don't know what that looks like. I would assume generously, probably five minutes. Uh, if we're talking scarcely, probably two minutes. So really whatever you're feeling, I guess, I mean, I would say just whatever you want to say, feel free to say it. And I will, I will counter with whatever stupid bullshit is in my brain at that very moment. Um, I apologize in advance if it's just some dumb shit like chippy chippy choppa choppa. Uh, I would say skip your pleasantries. How about that? It's probably going to be short enough. There's probably, there's almost certainly going to be no point in popping up and be like, oh, um, Hey, Roos, how's your day going? And I'm like, oh, uh, 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 because that'll probably, A, that'll probably be my answer. And B, um, I want you to get your time's worth out of that interaction, that meeting. Is it a meeting? I don't fucking, you know what I mean. Out of that interaction, I don't want you to be like, oh, man, I, I went to see the meet and greet with the Roos, and all I got was two seconds of Roos fucking kind of slobbering on himself and being unable to talk. So, uh, just know what you're going to say and say it, I guess. Thank you, Mari. Exactly. That's perfect. If you want to rock in there and be like, I hate you. Bye. Uh, and then, oh, maybe we can both dramatically, like, kind of, like, act like we hurt each other's feelings. You know what I mean? Like, really just play a trick on the managers. Like, you roll in, you're like, I hate you, Roos. You're the worst. You ruined my life. You're the worst I know. And I'm like, fine. Leave then. I can't stand it here. I'm going to graduate. And I just, like, dramatically, like, run off screen. <laughs> and my manager's like, what? 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 No, what? What? What happened, Roos? Are you okay? And no, what they say? I'm like, I don't. I can't talk about it. I won't. I can't do this anymore. <laughs> <laughs> you burned my house down. <laughs> yeah, come in and say that to me. Actually, I lied. I do know what I want you to say. I do know what I want to talk about. I want you to come in and scream that I burned your house down and that I murdered your family. <laughs> and then ask me, what are you going to, what am I going to do? And I'm just going to look at you and smile. I can't shrug because my shoulders don't move, but just know that I'm shrugging. <laughs> <laughs> you burned my ass down <laughs> You murdered my family What am I gonna do And I'm just sitting there like <laughs> Poor Shikamane <laughs> Oh 
Oh, that's funny, man. That's fucking funny. <laughs> Shikamane does not deserve that, but it's kind of funny. You gotta admit. Hey, Alexander. Alexander, thank you very much for saying so. You know what? I just want you to know. Sorry, I'm tucking my hair behind my ear like the Demi Lovato gif. One sec. <laughs> I think your name's pretty cool. Okay, there we go. Wait, huh? <laughs> what, is it Debbie Ryan? I don't fucking know. One of those assholes. Yeah, I got you, Iceland. Hold on. <clears throat> Let's get dangerous. Does he have a lisp? I don't know if Darkwing Duck does. Hold on, let's let's undo that. <clears throat> let's try again. Hold on, let me just <laughs> stage set. Back on Broadway again. Let's get dangerous. Okay, cool. <laughs> I want to watch Big Top Burger again. Man. But you would pull some horse piss like this. It's just like you, Steve. <laughs> I guess I should go ahead and say, hey, don't actually do that at our meet and greet. The the you murdered my family thing. I don't think the manage I don't think the government's gonna get it, and I feel really bad for like the poor, probably very sweet, like I'm going to assume native Japanese speaking person who's probably going to be there translating for me, sitting there like, what the fuck is happening? Is everything okay? <laughs> you burned my house down! Stole my chicken and bees! In Minecraft! Ah, <laughs> uh, too late? All right, well, so be it, I guess. Sorry, whoever's going to be translating. I guess I could level this out even more and turn this into one like tier for farming real quick. And then I could put the animals somewhere else where there's more room. Cause that's not a big, it's not a big pin. It's not like, not like a tiny one, not a big one though. Ooh, this could be a good free range area, but then it's so far away from the house that would be down there. But then again, I mean, farmers travel pretty high up upland, like, you know, graze their sheep and shit. It would make some sense, I guess. I don't know. I could turn this all into farmland right here. Let's do that. Doc from Big Top Burger, good cosplay choice. <laughs> Preposterous. This is my work voice, and this is my regular voice. <laughs> Let me sweep. Let me sweep. Let me sweep. Let me sweep. He's a good man! A man with a medical degree! Conrad! Get over here! <laughs> we got a bed down! <laughs> ah, let me sleep! Probably enticing Thorn, probably. Oh, what a beautiful wall that you wander down to make it to this beautiful farmland. What idyllic fence lines. <laughs> Tuck's hair behind here again. You were Billy? Fuck yeah, baddie. So I think I'm going to turn this into a farming tier, which will be cute because there's going to be like a bunch of wheat swaying behind this. Yeah, okay, I see it now. I see it. I'm talking with my hands. You can't see it, but I'm waving my hand like kind of majestically in front of the screen. Uh, so uh, when you're standing over there, it's going to be like these swaying wheat fields just right behind the lake. It's going to be beautiful. It's going to look great. It's going to look good. So that does mean I got a lot of digging to do. 
No, I should probably make it real quick. I should probably go ahead and... Do I have enough wood to do that? I do. I should make a chest for all this dirt so I can turn it into mud later. I always talk with my hands. That's my secret cap. Going into Hollowstar as a mercenary, coming out a landscaper. You better believe it. My father was a landscaper. <sighs> you want to know how I got these scars? <laughs> the wettest mouth sounds you've ever heard. <laughs> you see, my father... He was a gamer. I buried that deep down. Please don't unearth that. Not me digging up your traumies. Open. Thank you. Okay, so how do I want to do this? I don't want it to be like, because I kind of want to like really. Hmm. Let me think. No, no, I cannot see out of that side of the mask. Thank you for asking. I'm just kidding. I could see even more out of that side of the mask, if you know what I mean. Things the untrained, uh, untrained eye may miss. Nani? Yep, it's true. Nani the fuck? Nani? Ah! Sorry. Do you guys ever just shout dramatically like you're in an RPG when something happens? Just... <laughs> Can I tell you guys something? Can I tell you guys something about... Uh, maybe it's the delirium talking. I'll tell you a little... I'll tell you a little baby ruse. Uh, <laughs> I'll tell you a little baby ruse story. When I was a, a kid... I used to like try to like. <laughs> so I was told I was too loud a lot as a kid. So I eventually got really quiet um, to the point where I got the nick or earned the nickname mute when I was uh, like a teenager or whatever. People would just call me mute because I barely ever talked. I would mostly just read and like nod or vaguely gesture with my hands or grunt at people. Um, but anyway, when I was a kid and I was in that loud stage before I became the mute kid, I would like emulate the sounds and gestures of characters I liked. So I'd like tap my fucking shoes on the ground at the toe to like get them back onto my feet right, I guess. Like Link did for no fucking reason. Or I would uh, fucking uh, be like, <laughs> when I was like jumping or pushing something. <laughs> So I was like, obviously, these are the sounds of exertion that a normal human makes. <laughs> Stupid. And that's on being neurotypical. The fuck did I just come in on? Didn't we all do that? Yes, probably. Maybe. Mmm, dirt. Uh, you were the cat noise kid. Were you the kid who, like, uh, fucking LARPed as a warrior cat or whatever in public? <laughs> Whoa. <laughs> an, <laughs> an Azure Bluette. <laughs>
I need more space. And that means you have to die. Be gone, Hill. Nom, 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 nom. Okay, so now that I got a little more space back here, I can turn this into a separate farm. Maybe a little Zen garden or something. I don't know. We'll figure it out. Uh, I do need to get rid of all of this stern and turn it into jet. So I will do that real quick. Your buddy sounds great. I gotta admit, I still make random noises at completely odd moments. Listen, if we don't, I, I think letting go of the noise making is when you start to die as a person, right? When you start to become like the adult that you told yourself you would never be. Don't let go of your stupid noises. Make your dumb noises. I walk into the fucking kitchen at 3 a.m. God be damned. I look straight into the eyes of my fucking creator or whatever. I look past reality into the eyes of whatever fucker is running the simulation and I make the dumbest fucking noises you've ever heard. I'll bray like a fucking cow. I'll I'll say I'll I'll just spout TikTok sounds. I don't give a fuck. I don't care. I don't I don't fucking care. I'll chirp back at my cats. I'll echo lolly of the shit out of those cats. I'll say they'll say meow and I'll be like Mwah! back at them. You're so right, worsty. Wow, do your worst. <laughs> be your worst self. Be the be the piece of shit you, you know God wouldn't want you to be. <laughs> exactly. The person playing the sim that is me just said, "Why the fuck did my sim just meow in the kitchen?" He good. No. No, I'm not. Okay, next question here is, do I want to dig out one more layer, or would I rather just fill in this little area? I think I want to just fill in this little area. I think that's going to be easier, and I've got a lot of jet. I like yelling, Jimmy! Like that one dude yelling at his dog? I don't know if I know that one. But I do know that I like doing that. Ma! Ma, there's a weird fucking cat out of here! <laughs> but to anything, really, especially... Honestly, I kind of prefer it if it's not a cat. Like, if I see a... I don't know, if I see, like, a, a dog, or a cow, or a weird-looking person... Like, imagine someone's, like, stepping on your lawn at, like, 3 a.m. and they're being real sneaky-like, but instead of being like, Hey, who the fuck's out there? You're just like, Hey, Ma! There's a weird fucking cat out here! Not only have you insulted them, you've let them know that you know that they're there. <laughs> they gotta go home with wounded pride and fear of God. Really got to maximum waste my spice here. I'm going to have a lot of farming. I've got to do carrots and potatoes and whatever else. Plus, I want to kind of do like, I was thinking, uh, originally I wasn't going to do like an actual uh, straight strip water line because I think that's kind of boring. What I kind of want to do is maybe like a roundabout, like a little creek that circles around and then drops down into that. Possibly. I don't know what that's going to look like, though, and I don't know how I'm going to make that make sense, because it's not coming down from anything. Is there anything, is there, like, something up here I could use as a logical water source? Oh, water trickles down from here, because it's coming off of a runoff or a thaw, or maybe it's coming out of a fucking underground cave. I don't fucking know. Hmm. I 
I am not crafting stuff I find in the mine, Hex fan. I'm just crafting. I'm crafting roads and farmland at the moment. I did make that cool road though. Ooh, jungly. But it's kind of sparse. It's kind of a sparse jungle. Make a cave. I'll consider it. Ryuji Sakamoto says, Ruse, have you ever considered to make ASMR content? Uh, I've had a couple people tell me that I should make ASMR content. Um, especially after my hunt streams for some fucking reason, which is kind of weird, but... Uh, I don't know what I'd make. I'm not really good at the whole typical, I don't know, ASMR stuff. Like, I'm not gonna be, like, sitting in here like, All right, and now here's a clickety-clackety sound, and I'm just... Uh, this is me lightly dabbling on your ears. Like, I'm not gonna do that shit, so I don't, I don't know what the fuck I would do with it. Maybe one day. I, 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 I don't know. I don't know. I'd have to figure it out. I'd have to figure out a way to make it very cruise coded. Um, and that takes time and effort. And that's fine, and I will do that, maybe, if I do ASMR. But... Uh, I don't know. We'll see. Citrine talks to the cat. Oh, hey, everybody. Welcome to my ASMR. It's great to have you here. Um, so... <laughs> Weapon shark. Ooh. <laughs> the grindstone wheel. <laughs> How the fuck does book reading end? What, do you want me to just fucking turn pages into an ASMR mic? What are you saying right now? How does that, what is, okay, so here's the deal. All right, all right, all right, wait, 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 Stop suggesting me things. Stop suggesting me things and listen. I have never consumed a single ounce of ASMR content. Not even like 20 seconds as like a little gag reel. Um, so I don't really know how to do ASMR or what qualifies as ASMR. Uh, so sorry. But I'll figure it out. If that's what is demanded of me as an idol, I will become the ASMR man. The ultimate ASMR. You're gonna be like, whoa, that Rouge guy? He's the ASMRist motherfucker that ever lived. That's insane. Wow, how can one person turn PvP mode on in ASMR? <laughs> and I'll be like, I did it. <laughs> Please look at a boyfriend hit you with a pan ASMR because it's you. Yeah, that sounds about right. I would do that. You don't want me to do an a, a fucking Echolalia ASMR stream? Because I would be like, uh... <laughs> Hey, everybody. Welcome into the stream. It's great to have you here. Um, so today we're going to be doing a little bit of Echolalia ASMR. And then some jackass would drive by outside, and I'd be like... <laughs> You'd be like, what the fuck is happening right now? <laughs> Content. Wahoo! <laughs> An audiobook? Okay, here's the thing. Um, it has to be a book that is in the common law, as in, like, there's no copyright on it anymore. It just belongs to the public. So that's very few books. It's very limited. I'd hire you for an audiobook. Well, I mean, if you wanna. I don't want to brag, but I'm kind of an audio booker. <laughs> I 
I've been booked a few times for a few gigs. Oh, Sherlock Holmes. Oh, yeah. Well, I could definitely see myself doing that. And then transitioning aggressively between an Australian, a uh, very poor Australian, and a very subpar British accent. It'd be great. Good night, Jumpy. All right, I think this is going to be our farmland. This will be good enough for now. I might actually bounce this up a tier and use this as its own special tier of farming. Maybe it's where I'll farm trees or flowers or... Maybe I'll put like a little garden here to look over the farm. I don't know yet. Don't know, but I'll figure it out. Yeah, 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 yeah. No way. What if I do like? Four hours of unspoken Minecraft ASMR. I don't even talk. I just sit there, you know? I'm just like... Maybe I'm an expert of this ASMR stuff. Typing ASMR with occasional talking? Yeah, I got you. Um, <clears throat> no, maybe if I... <laughs> Monster Hunter hunts you for sport ASMR. Oh, hold on. Wait a minute. Matcha, are you telling me you lube your fucking keys, bro? <laughs> what are you saying right now? <laughs> Wait a minute. My keys are fine the way they are. I like the clickety clackities. I ain't lubing my keys. They're fine. No, you don't lube your keyboards, you weirdos. You just leave them as is. I like the clickety clackety. I dabble in collecting keycaps. I only have one keycap that I bought. Well, no, that's not true. I have a couple keycaps. Anyway, the only keycap I really care about is this one itty bitty baby boy little keycap. It's got a Paris in it, and I love it. Not the city, the Pokemon. <gasps> I also have a Lord of the Rings keyboard, but not keycaps, just a whole keyboard. We. So, I've got my basics down. I need to, you know what? Actually, I'm going to go back because I need to stay there for a bit so I can work on the actual pasture. Uh, I need to get at least the fencing down for the pasture so I can start luring animals, I think. Yeah, actually, uh, Pentapedals, I've taken it a step further. Uh, my Lord of the Rings keyboard doesn't have Frodo's face on it, but it does have an unbreakable bond to the Dark Lord of all evil, who is the lieutenant to the lieutenant of evil. Um, and every moment that I'm near it, it slowly drains away my life force and my will to live while simultaneously trying to get me to take it back to the Dark Lord of all ASMR, where he will then create ASMR videos that will brainwash everybody's mind forever. It's pretty cool. <laughs> Do 
Tell me more music. Does it thought, it thoughts, it ticks, and it talks. You know that. One keyboard to rule them all. Oh, you're not backseating me. You're fine, McMacha. You're chill. It wasn't even an actual keyboard. It was simply my, my mouth sounds. <laughs> It's hot! Hot pitzel! <laughs> oh, you fool! You fool! How is your place so hot during uh, during winter, my man? Oh, you naive little child. I live in Midwest Southern Elysium. That means that in any given moment, and I do mean this quite literally, it will be snowing at evening, and then by day, it'll be like 82 degrees outside, 82 degrees Fahrenheit. And then the next day, it'll be like 28 degrees. And I'll be like, all right, very cool. We love when it shifts like 60 to 70 degrees overnight. We love that. We love it. There's a little humidity once in a while. Depends on where you live. Sometimes it's like super dry, but if you live near the rivers, it can be pretty, uh, pretty fucking, pretty fucking wet. <gasps> Never mind, I got another. It's not that bad when you're a little further east, though, to be fair. I have a question about the Ruse lore. Are the colored job titles predestined or assigned over time? What do you mean? There are no colored job titles. There's only Ruse. Crimson Ruse. I just got a big red coat. It's not really a job title. People just call me that because I have a big red coat. Arr! I don't know why I turned into a fucking pirate suddenly, but okay. That was weird. How much of this am I willing to dig out and how much of it do I just want to fill in? I think at minimum this bottom layer has to be filled in. Sometimes the spirit of a pirate just possesses you out of nowhere. Um, and I think it has something to do with like some sort of ancient pact that was made or whatever by humanity and Poseidon or some shit. Uh, I'm sure that is definitely a very logical and reasonable explanation for why sometimes you just turn into a pirate out of nowhere. You just become pirate coded. Uh, this, this feels very much like this block goes here. This does not feel like this... Okay, everything's fine now. Mm. Oh, a place to put a barn, maybe? I could put a barn up here. 
And then I could have the door be right here. And then we can have this be like sort of the grazing path. Oh. <laughs> okay, so the barn will probably be up here. So I don't have to cut this hill down as much. Yeah. Fir tree, thank you for the chips. My last chip. <laughs> All right, everyone, that's my final chip. Now I must leave. Goodbye, everybody. Goodbye. Goodbye forever. I'm going on my trip now. Goodbye. I stretch. That's not true. I got I got work to do right now. Hold on. Wait a minute. No! Oh, thank you, Jazz K, for the chip. I'm looking at all of my environment. I'm intaking it all right now. I'm, like, I'm really sniffing it in. I'm really getting the. I'm really getting the vibes for this place. Um, and the vibes say, I think I want to do. I think I want to put a barn up here. I get. It'd be weird to have the barn so high up, wouldn't it? Well, no, because then you can see it from down there. And that'd be kind of cool. I think maybe that's okay. So that's like a little farmhouse. This will be like a little barn or a shed to house the animals when it gets wet, rainy or cold. But it being like stone on the ground, is that weird? Glad you liked it, Pumpkin Patch. Good luck. Why is stone weird for a barn? It's easier to clean. Oh, true. True. You're not wrong. Thanks, Lauren. And thanks for two months. Welcome back. Did yet. What if... Okay, what if I made more space for this by filling this oh, filling this in so that there was a significant amount more room wow thanks for being a bruiser so okay now this is kind of an uphill and you could have like a, you know, like just this empty farm land out here. They got like a single tree. I might plant another tree in here. And then they kind of have this whole field to graze in. It is a little bit ridiculous right now. Like just a little overgrown, a little large. I could fill this segment in. I might fill this segment in. Honestly, one less deep is probably the move. It's going to take a while, but it's fine. It'll take a lot of dirt. So be it. I can always get more dirt. Plus, I like the sound of placing dirt. It sounds good. It sounds good on my ears. If hers is red, then what color is Gerard? You already know Gerard's key color. It's on his key color card. It's black. Bruce, if you were to use an animal for tracking a bounty, what animal would you use? Oh. Uh -uh. Um, hmm, question. Uh, depends on the setting and what animals are available in South Elysium. There's a lot of different animals I would use. On Earth, it would probably be like, a, I don't know, fucking dog of some sort, I would imagine. Ah! Sorry.
What if I end up having just enough dirt? Wouldn't that be like so poetic and beautiful and sweet and cool? Probably won't. I think I'm gonna have a dirt shortage, but it would be nice. It'd be kind of, kind of cool. Kind of cool or whatever. Just saying. I will not have enough. Hey, oh, bro, yo. Baby time. Imagine being hunted down by 30 to 50 feral hogs. That'd be terrifying. I could fight 30 to 50 feral hogs. I think I'd win. Nah, hog. Hogs together strong? Oh yeah, prove it. All right, set me out there with 30 to 50 feral hogs. They're going down. In fact, don't, don't even, I'm not bringing Zephyr. Just me, my hands, my teeth, and a lot of free bacon, baby. Yeah. Like a bear. I'm in my pig wrestling arc. You underestimate hogs. I don't underestimate hogs. I understand quite well how dangerous hogs can be. Why, when I was a young lad, I once had to fight a hog. Wasn't great. Spoiler, I did not fight the hog. I ran from the hog. Have I not told you guys that story? You guys want to hear my hog story? There's a hog part of your tragic backstory? First of all, my backstory is not tragic. It's just a backstory. I just, I'm, I'm, I'm a person who has lived experience, believe it or not. Uh, I have lived through things. Things have happened to me uh, and happened around me. But when I was just a wee babe, when I was a little lad, my father, uh, he was, uh, you know, he was, he was a quirky little guy, I guess. Uh, he owned a pot-bellied pig who he called Boss. And this pot-bellied pig was very, very unfriendly to me and my siblings and very much wanted to eat us. Yeah, he took me into a city. My father took me into a city. You see, he wanted to see a marching man. And he said, <laughs> no. <laughs> anyway, so we had this uh, pot belly pig, and his name was Boss, and he was a dick, and he really wanted to eat me. And he really wanted to eat my el elder sisters, and he really wanted to eat my little brother. And we, you know, we, we were always avoiding this damn pig. This damn pig was a real problem. A real problem pig. So one day, my older sister, not my oldest sister, but my older sister, took one of my shoes off me, like an asshole, grabbed it, and threw it in a boss's cage. So, uh, this, by the way, side note, have you ever seen a quill bore? You know what a quill bore is? With like the bones growing out of their backs that they use to like shred you? Anyway, it's in my, it's in my lore video. You've probably seen it. Baby Ruse was running from a quill bore. So she threw my shoe in a boss's cage. So I had to go in after the, into this quill bore's cage, right? And this quill bore's as big as I am. It probably weighs twice as much as I do. I was a tiny, tiny little lad. I mean, I was like probably 70 pounds until I was like, I don't know, 16. Uh, I was very small. Anyway, so I climb into this fucking cage to get this stupid fucking shoe back. And it was like a fucking coming of age movie about like I, 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 don't, I don't even know how to describe it in a way that makes sense it was like a fucking cinematic moment I creep up real squat you know kind of shuffling forward afraid of this fucking pot bellied quill bore coming out of his fucking dog house yes my father kept him in our great dane's dog house that my great dane was no longer using at the time uh so this quill bore would just sit there avoiding the hot hot sun 
and he's just waiting there and it's like shadowed it's dusk you know it's like it's like it's dark in there i can't see anything it's like there's like there's kicked up dirt all around me because this fucking pig is eating all the grass in the area so it's all super fucking dusty right right here and i'm just like shuffling forward real quiet so just a full size yes exactly pedal just a full sized house so i'm trying to crouch up to it real quiet like hoping he's asleep because it's hot outside and no sooner did i touch the fucking shoe at the mouth of his weird fucking dog cavern that i hear this fucking unholy pig squealing like and this fucking thing comes charging at me full speed so i kick up dirt turn in and start sprinting as fast as i can right and my little punk ass like barely four foot tall piece of shit body had to have done a seven foot vertical leap i threw my shoe over the fence jumped with it got half of my body over the fence my legs went up over my head as the rest of my head went down on the other side of the fence and i did like a fucking full like handstand flip over that front fence not not cool not awesome not like i had my hands on the fence and i was doing a handstand like i jumped my hips hit the top of the fence my front side went down my legs went up and i landed on like my shoulders and hands on the other side and that pig was on my ass. It was a terrible time, terrible time, terrible memory. Ooh. No, it was not cool. It was very much the awkward, like tumble off the other end that you expect from a child. It was not acrobatics, it was not parkour. It was just an insane vertical leap born of fear. The pig did not eat me though. So, you know, I guess who really won here? <laughs> Wink wonk. How are you alive? You know, I don't know, actually. That same older sister used to, like, fucking purposely trigger asthma attacks out of me. That was great. <laughs> Can I trauma dump at you for uh, for the next hour or two? No. Is this the same sister with her cinder block in my head? Yes, same one. Did I not tell you guys? Oh, wait, I did tell you about the cinder block. Never mind. She wanted you gone. Nah, I think she was just angry and didn't know how to take out her anger. Wait, I didn't. How, how many of you have not heard the cinder block thing? I thought I talked about this already. Wait a minute. Are you guys telling me that's not normal? That that's traumies? Oh man, I thought they were just funny stories. <laughs> me my whole life, every time I tell a funny anecdote and someone's staring at me like, oh no, Ruse, Ruse no. And I'm like, I'm like, what? You're supposed to laugh at that. And they're like, Ruse no, that, that was abuse, buddy. <laughs> Hey, buddy, that was abuse. <laughs> they they did an abuse to you. <laughs> they, they did a what? No. <laughs> Somebody laugh with me, guys. Guys. No. <laughs> That's so fucking funny. All right, I'll tell you the cinder block thing, okay? So anyway, uh, my sister, at one point, I was fucking sitting around and poking at an ant hill. I was just kind of poking at it with my finger because I thought, you know, ants are pretty interesting or whatever as a kid. And I was, I was kind of like, I don't know, I was bored. I was bored in the middle of nowhere. Lived in the middle of nowhere. It was a fucking shitty wagon park. Everything sucked, uh, and there was nothing to do. So I was sitting there, and I was poking at this ant hill, and my older sister, again, not my oldest sister, was bored and wanted something to do. So she had it. Oh, thank you for the therapy funds. I don't need it. I therapized myself at this point. I've got that edumacation now, and <laughs> I guess. Um, so she wanted something to do. So she took half of a cinder block <laughs> and was like, I want to throw this over there. And I'm like, no, I'm over here. There's a whole fucking yard. Throw it wherever you want, not here. So she got up on the fucking porch <laughs> and said, move or I'm throwing this at you. And I was like, no, you're not going to do that. Because I'm like, no, no, no shot. Like, even as a kid, I was aware of how ridiculous that sounded and how, like, absolutely a bad idea that would be. Sure fuck enough, I turned back around and poked at that anthill, and this motherfucker threw that goddamn cinder block on my noggin. Ooh, it was good. As my mama would say, my noggin got me good, too. Woo. She said, bet. She sure fucking did. <laughs> yeah, it was fine. It didn't hit me on a corner. It was just a flat. It flattened my head a little bit. Probably explained some of the uh, quirkiness. <laughs> yeah. 
Did I bleed? Yeah, I think it was just the hit that made me bleed. It wasn't like it like sliced me or anything. Like it didn't hit me on a corner. I think it was just the impact. It was fine. Yeah, I, I did die, but I'm fine now. <laughs> Listen, my dodge skills have gotten insane since then. I'm not going to lie. Uh, I, I, I am the world's greatest dodgeball player. And that's how I became a VTuber, exactly. You're glad I'm here? I don't think so. I think I think this is maybe my divine punishment. Maybe I pissed off some sort of eldritch being and that's how I ended up here. Ugh. Damn. Oh well. I could give you a couple dozen stories about that sister, but we should probably save that for another time. How's that sound? It's cozy Minecraft hours. It's not uh, sister trauma hours. <laughs> I can tell you about the time she almost drowned me in a river. I can tell you about the time. <laughs> never mind, never mind. If, if I tell you, if I tell you the footnotes, you're gonna get me and be like, "Oh, no, tell me the whole thing, though." Yeah, I gotta drip feed my traumies, that's right. <laughs> oh, good idea, Alma. What if I do... <laughs> hey, everybody. Hey, everybody. Thanks for coming. Um, I just bought this brand new ASMR mic. It's one of those like cool ones where you can go in the ears or whatever. Um, but instead of doing that, I'm just going to tell you about my traumas for the next four hours. <laughs> hey, sit down right there. Okay, so let me tell you about the, <laughs> about the time my sister threw me out of a moving golf cart so hard that... <laughs> That I had an asthma attack, but then while I was laying there struggling to breathe, she stood over me screaming at me to stop having an asthma attack so she didn't get in trouble. <laughs> That's so fucking funny. <laughs> oh, God. That's hilarious. <laughs> the most sibling thing ever. It sure was. Oh, man. I love that bastard. She's a real piece of shit. All right, what am I doing? What am I doing? Okay, uh, oh yeah, I was gonna build the actual like uh, fence around the um, pasture real quick. Should I laugh or please laugh? Please laugh. That's fucking funny. It's not, it wasn't funny at the time or whatever, but it's, it's kind of fucking funny now. I mean, come on. You know what's funny is I did stop having asthma. I, I just kind of grew out of it. Isn't that weird? Isn't that wild? I remember distinctly uh, when I got like diagnosed or whatever, my parents were like, is there anything we could do? Is there anything that could fix it? And the doctor's like, no, no, it's permanent. It'll be there forever. And I was like, well, maybe I could just like kind of grow out of it if my lungs grow. And he's like, no, no, you, you're fucked. Your asthma is, it's just going to be there for the rest of your life. You're just, you're screwed, kid. You're fucking screwed. He didn't say it like that. He was much nicer than that. But I was like, nah, I could, nah, I'd win. And I grew out of my asthma. <laughs> <gasps> Maybe I poked my lungs in the correct, like, order. Maybe I did, like, some sort of cool, like, fucking hotkey code into my lungs. Maybe I knew the fighting game combo to, like, end asthma's fucking life. <laughs> I reached under my ribs and said, boop, 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 doo -doo. I said, quarter turn A, back turn fucking B, heavy, low kick, low kick. <laughs> asthma said, fuck! <laughs> I'm gonna need 
so many ventures. Oh boy. Oh boy. Up, up, down, down, left, right, B. No, it's B-A. Start belongs. How dare you, man. Man, no counsel. You betrayed me. Hey, Ruse, where are you going? Are you taking a break for a week because of the title? Yeah. Yeah, I'm going to go see some family, some friends, whatever. And I'm going to do homework on my trip because the homework, homework never ends. <sighs> so, I got a laptop recently, actually. Fun fact. Thanks, by the way, that you, uh, that, that that was you guys who did that. Uh, I was I was lucky enough that uh, you guys were supportive enough that I managed to grab a work laptop so I can work on, uh, uh, you know, when I'm mobile, when I'm moving around and doing stuff. So that's pretty cool. Thank you. Thank you. It's not like a super fucking high end thing or whatever, but I mean, it's cool. I've, I haven't had a laptop in a while. Please don't get flung for another. If I get flung for another golf cart at this point, the worst it would do is make me go, hey, dick. Damn, enticing thorn. That's brutal. But also, you know, sibling shit, I guess. Personally, I don't think I ever wounded any of my siblings, though I may have psychologically traumatized my poor little brother. I was a real dick to that kid. Not even, like, really bad, but I would occasionally just, you know, do some fuck shit. Like, be like, hey, can you make me, you know, like a cup of tea? And he'd be like, no, no, I'm not, I don't have to do that. I don't, I don't have to do stuff. And I'd be like, well, I mean, I guess you don't have to, but I won't love you anymore. <laughs> <laughs> then he gets sad and go to <laughs> uh. <laughs> oh, what an asshole. <laughs> what an asshole. Ah, <laughs> uh, good times, good times. That's it? That's all I made? Oh shit, I'm gonna need so much more. That's fine. We'll start with this, though. Oh, I was super about that, uh, fucking mental anguish. That was the only way I could fight back against my, like, eldest siblings, because my, uh, my older sister was, you know, stronger than me and kind of heavier set than me, and my oldest sister was, like, six foot four since she was ten. So I'm sitting here like 60, 70 pounds, soaking fucking wet, barely four feet tall. She's six foot four since she was like 10 and could pick me up with one hand easily. So like when we'd get in a fight, she would usually, her like go-to tactic was to grab me by my throat and pin me to the wall, right? Like just lift me up with one hand and pin me there and then just like, you know, be an asshole. So I would always like fight back by just being a dick. Like I'd be like, do it. I'd be like, do it, do it, you punk. You won't, you little bitch. You know, I'd be like a little asshole or say something really mean or hurtful that I knew would really get under her skin, which was fucked up and evil, but it was the only way I had to fight back. So we'd basically play this game of chicken where I knew she couldn't like really permanently hurt me because she'd get in real big trouble with, uh, you know, our parents. But she also knew that like I wasn't going to talk too much shit because there's always the threat that she could like, you know, I don't know, fucking crumple me with a punch to the nose or something. Bunny Hugger said, I've crashed a golf cart. Never been thrown out of one, but I just crashed one. I remember most of my injuries as uh, funny now, even if they weren't at the time. Yeah. She taller than you still? A little, yeah. Not by much, but yeah, a little. I grew up pretty fast once I hit, uh, like, 16-ish. Unfortunately, I was really small for my grade up in, like, freshman year and uh, sophomore year. But once I hit junior year, I got pretty, I got pretty tall. Yeah, yeah, she was way bigger than me when we were kids. Which always ended in me getting my fucking ass handed to me. <laughs> I probably deserved it, though. I'm sure I earned it by being a little prick. I, I'm sure I was just a little fucking barely tolerable. Not even barely tolerable. I was probably, I, was, I would argue I was intolerable. There was definitely times where I would say some real mean shit. You know, we were kids, and I didn't have as much of a filter. Or rather, I didn't have as much empathy, I guess, at the time. And kids can be cruel, so... You know, I'd make fun of her height or weight or whatever, and then she'd pin me to the wall, and then I'd, you know, make fun of her even more. Uh, you know, it would get to the point where she'd be like, she'd be real threatening, you know, real mad. Like, like, you got anything else to say? You know, holding me up, and I'd be fucking struggling for air, just sitting there, like, hanging on to bolt, like, with both my hands, trying to, like, get some, like, leverage so I could breathe. I'd be like, <gasps> you big-ass bitch. You know, say something mean. 
<laughs> she'd really get mad because you know she can't like fucking snap my neck because I get <laughs> she'd get in trouble and I can't really say anything really much meaner than that because I don't know anything else because I'm a fucking idiot because <laughs> I'm a dumb kid. So I mean, you know, just, just stalemates. It's basically a battle of wills where it's like, are, are, do you have the patience not to kill me for being an asshole? And how much pain am I willing to endure to be an asshole? And it turns out I'm willing to endure quite a bit of pain if it means I get to be a dick. <laughs> Welcome to being a Rosader. All right, let's see. Okay, so if I build the fence here and then I go, no, hold on. I don't want to do that. I think I want to border this whole area with fence, essentially. Like, I want to do a fence that doesn't connect to the wall, because obviously that would defeat the purpose of the fence, because then monsters can get over. But I want to, like, border the wall and follow it, so it's a huge fucking pasture. Oh, sibling uh, combat can go to uncharted levels of petty, yeah. I want you guys to know how much restraint I am exercising right now. <laughs> I almost I almost went into another anecdote off of that, what I was just talking about with my older sister, and was like, oh, uh, it's okay, though, because it prepared me for later in life, but I'm going to resist doing that because that's going too far down the trauma-dumping tree. <laughs> Am I gonna double the fence? I mean, I could, I guess. It would look more like a farm pasture, I guess, because it would be like, ooh, well, now your sheep can't get out. But then my horses couldn't jump it when I wanted to leave, so meh. Maybe not, maybe not. No, fuck that, I'm not turning this. She really sound absolutely unhinged. Somehow I can relate. I think we were all a little unhinged. I think there was just nothing better to do. We were young and impetuous and assholes, I guess. I don't know. There's really no other way to describe it. We were just kind of fucking dicks to each other because I guess there was, I mean, if you leave kids to their own devices for too long and you don't like give them a fucking iPad or a, a fucking at least a hobby to partake in, they're probably just going to be dicks. That's the reality of it. They're going to be dicks to each other. Especially siblings because you got to live in close proximity constantly. So, you know, arguments start over dumb stuff. Yada, 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 yada. I should sleep before things start spawn. Whoa, uh-oh, they're already doing it. Bye-bye. Ah, sleepy time, you too late, dum-dum. Cringe, cringe, you missed your chance. Cringe, 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 stay in the hole. You stay in the burn hole, because you're dumb. Oh, you may here. Cloud, confident. Hey, thanks for being an axle. That's real big of you. <laughs> you're just like me for real, for real. Oh, I thought I heard a fucking creeper. <laughs> he spooked me. pretty cute. I kind of like it. All right, let's keep that up. Uh, I got to go get some more oak, though, which means I need to go up into the birch forest here and start slapping some oaks in the face. Uh, we, 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 we. Welcome back. Oh, 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 oh. This pen's going to be massive. It's going to be great.
that's good, Patty Christmas. I mean, I think I get along well with my siblings now. I would argue that I'm, I'm, I'm in pretty okay relations with my siblings. I don't know if I'm like the closest in the world to them. Like I'm probably not their best friend or whatever, but I think we all like each other okay. I don't get to see them very often, but get along, all right. Ooh. Well done, Life Swordsman. I'm proud of you for pissing off those elves. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> I got like a tiny bit of visual lag there. Annoying. Leave the world better than you found it. Remember to plant your leaves. Mmm, yes, that is my wisdom to you. Boom. I gave my brother a sick-ass scar over his eyebrow, so you win some, you lose some, you know? I don't think I ever got any scars from any of my siblings. Well, no. I did get a scar on my leg from a goat. Man, I really was in the middle of fucking nowhere. Holy shit. Change the wall. Yeah, my dad had a goat once. <laughs> I promised we weren't farmers. My dad just likes to trade random shit for random shit and gets a hold of, like, weird stuff sometimes, like a goat or a pig. Um, so we had a goat once, and I got too close to its uh, cage, and that goat was on and didn't like me, so it fucking ran me right, uh, right in my legs, hit me on the inside of my leg, scarred my inside of my leg. Not real bad, but it gave me, like, this little slash across, like, my thigh, I guess. Yeah. It was a mean little goat. My goats are gay and very sweet. What is this, 700 BC? I mean, I've been alive for like a really long time. Like longer than your grandparents. So... That's wild, Jade Wolf. That's a beautiful story. Stay close to that person. That's super unique. Yeah, that goat might have been going for something else. That goat might have been like, I am targeting. <laughs> I guess I'm lucky I dodged <laughs> for the most part. You know what's really funny about that? Do you guys want to hear the rest of that? <laughs> Is that trauma tagged with animal violence? Uh, I did not hurt this goat. I swear I didn't. I have no control over dogs or animals. However, somehow, later that night, my dogs got out, uh, my Great Dane got out, and a couple other dogs in the neighborhood got out. And, uh, we're not sure exactly what happened, but all we found of that goat was a horn. And I'm not saying my dogs did it for revenge. Or the neighborhood dogs did it for revenge. It was probably a coincidence, but it was the same night. And I was like, well, that's weird. Anyway, don't live in the middle of nowhere. <laughs> That's my advice to you. <laughs> the, the longest story of this story is don't live in the middle of nowhere. A ritual happened? Maybe. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. A dark spell was cast upon the woods that day. That's a cool dog. Good dog. Too bad about that goat. Good dog, though. Very sweet dog, which is what was weird about it. Maybe he didn't do anything. I don't know. Maybe maybe it was like neighborhood dogs. He just happened to get out that night. I don't know. He's a really sweet-natured dog. I can't imagine him hurting anything. He's a pretty strong dog, though. Anyway. I want to hear more about the Great Dane. Oh, he's a sweet, sweet Great Dane. Super sweet. Smartest dog I've ever seen. Ever. My dad loved that dog. Was his name Scooby? 
I can't tell you his name. It'd probably dox me. I mean, it probably wouldn't dox me. I mean, it's whatever, but eh, better safe than sorry. Uh, it's, it's just a, it's not like a unique name, but it's not exceptionally common either. So it's probably for the best. Crimson Ruff. Yeah, that dog was really cool. He acted like a little nursemaid. My dad would tell us about when we were like babies or whatever, and we would like wander around in the fields. That dog would follow us like basically on our fucking heels to make sure we weren't getting in trouble. And he swears up and down. I feel like it's, I feel like it's a little fantasy story for babies, but he swears on his life. And so does my mom that that dog would nip us on the ears or bite our ears gently and start tugging at us. if we were getting near like snakes or badgers or anything we shouldn't be playing with. I feel like that sounds a little far-fetched, but he says that's what happened. I need more sticks. Hold on. That was an abrupt cutoff on that music. That was weird. Uh, one sec. I'm thinking. I'm thinking. I'm thinking. I'm thinking. Okay. Let's keep it moving. Uh, ba -ba 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 boom. I got to head out now and be a responsible adult. Thanks for two months. Have a safe trip and see you when you get back. Goodbye, Lemmy Bobs. Okay. Sorry. What were we talking about? Could use a dog like that when the turkey went after me for sure. Oh, my dog would have fucked that turkey up. <laughs> <laughs> it wasn't my dog. He was my dad's dog, but he was a good dog. Don't know why my dad was obsessed with Great Danes. I feel like we always had a Great Dane in the house when I was growing up. Guess he liked big dogs. I find that every Great Dane thinks it's a lap dog, which is actually really cute. Everything about you greatly cons- No! Beagles? Ah, oh, beagles are pretty cute. Beagles are pretty cute. Are beagles like those little wiener dogs? Is that what I'm thinking of? You know what I'm talking about? Those little uh, rat dogs, I guess. And I don't mean that as in like rat dogs negative. I mean, they were bred for like hunting rats and rabbits and shit. Nope, nope. Beagles are not those. Oh, I see. Your mother sends me a kiss. I parry. Oh, those are Dashens. What the fuck's a beagle? Oh, beagles are like those classic dogs in like kids' movies and shit, right? Yeah, the big floppy ear guys. Yep, 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 yep. Let me sleep. Let me sleep. Let me sleep. Let me sleep. Moo Chantorel. Thanks for the raid and welcome in. How was your stream, gamer? What'd you get up to today? Let me sleep. Thank you. I have never had a golden retriever, actually. Fun fact. They shed a lot. That's eh, okay. My cat shed a lot too. I can handle it. Labradors are great. I am, in fact, still streaming. It's true. Oh, I see. 
Dashens used to be quite large. Oh, I hear Samoyeds are really expensive. I wouldn't mind having a Samoyed, but I don't think I could afford to take care of one. Not how it needed to be taken care of. And in the area I'm in right now, I don't think I could like take them outside and run them as much as they would probably need. So, yeah. Not for me. Not right now, anyway. What the hell? Why do you look like that? Oh, it was the rays of light. I was like, what is going on? Why are you so dappled? Why are you such a dappled gentleman? I want nothing from you. Aw, oh, man, I really wanted this to be inside. Well, I guess I could do that. Yeah, that's fine. We'll build it into the tree. Yay! Nice, 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 nice. I don't want to fence too close to the cliff. That's just... That's not safe. Okay. Well, we're almost there. Getting pretty close now, and I've got a couple bone meals, so I can just force grow a few trees. Or, you know, I'll just plant them and come back for them later, because I feel like forcing these few trees to grow isn't going to be a fast enough process, especially with how little bone meal I actually have, so I'll just go get more trees up here. And I will come back. Melons! How do I harvest melons? Mm. Oh, you would. You would eat your chicken nuggets with a rooster stream, Carmezzi. What are you? What are you, uh, part of the modern era? What are you, a, a little baby zoomer? You need entertainment to eat your food? Couldn't be me. Couldn't be me. I, I, I can, I can eat food without... A YouTube video on. Anyway. Oh, man, why are you all the way up there? How much higher do you go? Oh, okay, cool. Damn, these trees are huge. These trees are massive. You'd probably give me a lot of oak sprouts, though, if I can get up there and get them all. Give me, give me. Hold on, I gotta get I gotta get all these uh, pieces of wood out of here. Otherwise, they're just gonna stay floating. I ooh, I can't stand floating trees. Ooh, ooh, when I get you floating trees, when I get you. Ooh, nothing drives me insane in Minecraft like somebody who cuts down trees and then leaves the fucking like a piece of it just floating in the air. It drives me insane. Spaced out pup. Well, thanks for saying so. You're pretty cool yourself. I guess. Minecraft doesn't believe in Sir Isaac Newton. Why was he a sir? What's that about? Is that guy knighted at some point or something? Like, where'd he get that title? Why? Because some warrior old tart threw something at him? No, <laughs> That's a little Monty Python reference for it. That's a reference for your grandparents. Hmm. Damn it! There's another fucking tree over here. Oh man. Uh, okay. 
thought I cut them all down, but now I'm gonna have to cut this fucking tree down so that it won't, like, it's wood won't keep this. Well, maybe it'll just look like one really big tree. Maybe that's okay. Yeah, that's okay. That's okay. I just want these leaves to die. Die. Grandparents? What's Monty Python in high school? You call me Ancient Rose? Monty Python could not have been watched in high school. When did Monty Python come out? Hold on. There's no fucking way you watched Quest for the Holy Grail in high school. When did what year did that come out? Yeah, see, no shot. You fucking you, you lying? Nineteen seventy-five. See, I mean, maybe you could have. I don't know. No, I'm not saying you're ancient. You're only as old as you fucking let yourself be. You know what I mean? Like, you can have a youthful spirit. Enjoy youthful things. I'm too old to be playing Minecraft, but here I am, baby. And goddamn, am I loving it. You're never too old to have fun. Your dad was born in 1975? Damn, your dad's getting old. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> I'm like, you're never old. You're never old unless you feel... Damn, your dad getting old. <laughs> That's so mean. I'm kidding. I'm kidding. I'm kidding. Streamer help, my spirit can't add their twos and threes. Get fucked, I guess. Sucks to suck. You're as old as dinosaurs? You knew Gerard's family? Ugh, sorry you had to deal with those assholes. I heard they were real tyrants. Some people even called them lizards. You call your own dad, Grandpa? That's fucked up. Anyway, I'm older than all your dads and moms and grandparents and shit. I'm older than everybody here, okay? That's all you need to know. None of you are old. You're fine. You're all fine. You're chill. Don't be babies. All right? Get out of your own head. Yeah, 1975 is not old. I'm older than that. You sure about that, Ruse? Yes, I am. I'm a totally average, regular human age. Ah, shit! <gasps> I fucked up. Ah, fuck! Please! Please! What did I just do? Oh, I made a bunch of fences. Okay. Shit, did I turn those all into sticks? Oh shit, what a waste. Oh no, oh no, oh fuck. Oh no, ah shit, ah fuck, oh no. Ah shit, fuck. I'm back. Ooh, that grass is growing in real nice. <sighs> hey, I'm back. Whew. All right, this is going to be a really big pin, and I'm totally okay with that. I think that's going to look really cool. When is your turn? Nice. And then I just, uh, I guess what I'll do is I'll go around here and we'll set this up as the foundation area where the barn is going to be. So the issue with this pen is that I'm going to have to light the whole thing, which will be hard. Hard while maintaining aesthetics. Like, it's not hard. I could just throw a bunch of torches on the ground, but I'm not going to do that. Um... I guess music's kind of going. It's okay if you're older. Thank you. Thank you. I do what I can.
I can't help it. I'm so old. So old and decrepit. I'm just, I'm an old man now, Steve. I'm a, I'm a changed man. I, I give out backpacks. That's what I do. <laughs> Dude, I can't wait till I'm old. I'm so excited to be old. I know a lot of people fear being elderly, but I think it's going to be a lot of fun. God damn it. Why? Well... I think it's going to be hilarious to be in some nursing home or something. Because, I mean, obviously I ain't having no fucking kids. My bloodline ends here. Um, so it's going to be cool to be in, like, a nursing home or something. And then, like, the poor old nurse is like, All right, Roos, let's go ahead and get your medicine in you. And I'll be like, uh, Okay, Chad. Thank you for the member chips. Thank you for the delicious gifted member chips. She'll be like, No, Roos, I'm just your nurse. I, I, I'm not. I, I'm not chat whoever that is let's here have some soup oh thank you for the soup chat you were you're so nice to me <laughs> i would say hop it all the way oh no he's, he's going into cardiac arrest i'm like i just fuck it with you <laughs> it's gonna be great That's okay. Uh, let's see. Yes, I, one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two. <gasps> so five. So these two are the middle, which means I have to pick one. Um, I like this one. Meow. Uh! Oh! Wrong. There we go. Oh, ah, wrong. <laughs> Just right. First try. Do I think I'm going to be in the same nursing home as the rest of Armist? I sure fucking hope not. I hope those assholes die before me. <laughs> That's so fucked up. <laughs> Doctor, we think he's getting worse. He's referring to the Southern Elysium place. Yeah. Oh, that's so fucking funny, dude. That's fucked up. Oh, God, it's 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 it, it's a little messed up, but it's kind of it's kind of really funny. I don't care. I don't care. Ah, uh, that's so. Oh, woo. Man, I make me laugh. And if you're not making yourself laugh, what's the point? You know what I mean? What's the fucking point? Well, damn. Cool, that's going to be the entrance on this side. Now I got to go find the entrance on this side. Because obviously we don't want to be locked in on every side. Uh, let's go ahead and pick. I mean, this is like a pretty natural lip. So I think right here is ideal. Which does mean I need to work on this hill a little bit. Because I can't just have a hill sitting here and just staring at our fucking entrance, can't we? Sir Radical says, hey, Ruse, do you have cookie hair because you are going gray ungracefully? Two things. One, if this is how my hair went gray, that would be the most metal thing in the fucking universe, and I'd be all about that. Two, nah, I was just born like this. I was just born part of the cookie run kingdom. Well, now that we've said that, that's a perfect segue to say. This stream sponsored by Raid Shadow. Lo I'm just kidding. <laughs> just kidding. No sponsors. Just kidding. Ha <laughs> ha. Hee 
It's a little joke, a little prank. Get more wood. It's always more wood. That's the problem with this place, isn't it? There's always a desire for more wood. Never fucking ends. Wood here, wood there. Would you, won't you? I've had enough of it. I've had a fucking enough of it. What is my favorite flavor of cookie? Uh, maybe peanut butter. Mm, or Oreos, maybe. No, I haven't thought about it too much. I kind of just think cookies are okay. Cookies are okay. I like oatmeal raisin cookies. I hate walnuts. I hate nuts in my cookies. I don't want any nuts in my cookies. Thank you very much. Peanuts, peanut butter is fine, but I don't want to crunch in my cookie unless it's chocolate chip. Um, I also hate white chocolate cookies. While I'm here, you have a pretty uh, awesome fantasy uh, takes. Do you agree the crossbows need to be given more protagonists? Bows are overrated. Yes, Soundwave. I do think crossbows need more credit for what they are. I think crossbows... Crossbows, I feel like, give a character an immediate sense of, like, utilitarianism or, like, being kind of grounded or more down to earth. I feel like bows have a sort of artistry associated with them, which is kind of weird, right? Because, I mean, bows were a pretty common man's weapon. Like, if you were wielding a regular hunting bow in combat, you probably didn't have very good gear. A war bow, maybe, but... Uh, the, the hunting bows we constantly see, like, rangers and, like, elves running around with. I'm like, mm, I don't know about that, dude. But uh, I think crossbows give you, like, a sense of, like, sort of being very, very ahead of the times and just willing to move forward with whatever is a good weapon, right? Like, in the sense of being fantasy, crossbows are probably pretty high tech. Uh, CJ says, Ruse, what color should I paint my nails? Whatever you choose, there will be glitter. Oh, one more thing about crossbows. If you want a crossbow protagonist, play Divinity Original Sin 2 and play the dude with the crossbow. He's a mercenary of some sort. He's pretty cool. Um, as far as your nail color, go green. Do glitter and green today. Thus has my wisdom been passed down from the mountains, and thus you must obey. And then everybody you talk to is going to be like, <laughs> wow, you're so festive. Did you do green for St. Patrick's Day? And you're going to be like, no, I didn't. They're going to be like, wow, you must be a really big St. Patrick's head. <laughs> are you are you St. Patty's maxed? Are you leprechaun maxed and fucking St. Patty's pilled? And you'll have to tell them no in every fucking turn. It's going to be very annoying. I have saddled you with a chore. You're welcome. Are you Patty pilled? If someone pinches me on St. Patrick's Day for not wearing green, I am going to grab them under their waist, stand up so suddenly that I tip them backwards so that their shoulders are on the ground. I am going to leap at least 10 feet into the air. I am going to do a triple axle flip right off of the fucking handle, and I am going to screwdriver spin slam their skull into the concrete. I am going to drill that skull into the concrete so hard there will forever be a corkscrew symbol in the ground wherever I dunked them to remind everybody everywhere forever that if they ever touch me for any reason on a holiday and I have not expressly said go for it, they are dead. They are dead. Is that a membership perk? <laughs> If you play your cards right, <laughs> or wrong in this case. What do you mean pinched, said just change my name? Well, in certain circles, it is popular during St. Patrick's Day to say that if somebody is not wearing green, you are allowed to pinch them. It's like, ha, ah, you're not wearing green, pinch. Uh, and then they pinch you. 
Uh, I grew up getting pinched by my mother a lot. It was very annoying. It was her, it was her ha ha, I'm being funny thing. It wasn't funny. It was just very frustrating and annoying. Um, so I have, I don't know why it just sends me into an immediate rage. It's like, a, it's like, it's not like, it's like a, it's like a, a rage trigger. It's instantaneous. If someone pinches me like out of the blue, out of fucking nowhere, it sends me into a frothing fucking fury. Like I'm talking like berserker rage, like uncontrollable, unfathomable fucking like I will end your entire bloodline type of rage. Sir Radical says, the axe is just for show. You're truly a grappler, huh? Uh, no, I don't play grapple characters. I'm a poke character. <laughs> poke a rush down. <laughs> Did you just grow to cancel my jump? Are you fucking me right now? Did you just grow in front of me? I've literally never seen a Minecraft tree grow without bone meal, like timing wise, and it grew specifically to cancel me jumping. Are you fucking me right now, dude? Why is my negative one luck the worst thing? I, you know what? I'm gonna cut you down with a fucking egg. That'll teach you. That'll teach you. It'll be the slowest death you've ever suffered, you bastard. You're gonna feel every single crack of this eggshell against your frame as I lightly, gently tap it against you until your bark gives way. Until the sap blood within your veins runs all over my hands and the ground. And then, when you desire it most, when you wish for the end to come and you cry out to your tree brethren through your roots and through your leaves to topple you over, I'll say no! fucking tree. Good luck on your blink. Blink well. Blink fast. But remember, don't blink ass. You heard me. No, no, say it again for the class. No, 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 no. You'll just have to clip it. Wow. If you want it, come and get it. Is this still Minecraft music? Sure is, volume beta. This one is, uh, uh... It's one for all my motherfucking wicked brothers and sisters. <laughs> Welcome to the dark corner. No, I'm just kidding. Uh, I don't know what this one's called. Hold on, let me check. It is Meloki. It does sound like mischief making music, doesn't it? Yeah. 
What's up, little llamas? A group of rats is called a mischief. <laughs> so is a group of ruses. What of it? <laughs> a group of ruses is called a prank. <laughs> oh, the, look, Papa. A, a prank of ruses on the horizon. Aren't they wonderful when they're in the wild? It's just a prank, bro. It's just a prank. No, that's that's canonical now. A group of Rosaders is called a prank. It's a prank of Rosaders. Like that's that is canonical. I have se I've sealed that in the in the canon. You're welcome. Hell yeah. Like it. I like it. Duh. Oh no. No. Oh, never mind. Ah. When did it turn into quiet building hours again? Hmm. Huh. 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 Ah. Ah. Ferrets is called a business, so I can say I own a business. <gasps> the more you know. Ha! Got it. Easy. My life is so fucking. God, I'm so smart. I'm so cool. I'm so smart. God damn. And so humble. You know, that's what I really like about myself the most, is how humble I am. <laughs> cool. So there's our massive pen. It's a little ridiculous. I love it. I live for it. I'm here for it. It's going to be great. Now I have to do a mass exodus to this place, get all of my animals down this road, carefully, somehow, um, up this road. Oh God, it's gonna, I'm gonna lose a lot on the way, but you know what, we'll make it work. Wait a minute. Can animals even walk out of these? I can't remember. How am I gonna get my animals in and out of this?
You motherfucker. You motherfucker. All right. Cool. So now I <laughs> Yes, I may have to temporarily destroy the gate. I too was thinking this. Your least favorite block in Minecraft? I don't hate granite. I think it would make interesting road design if you used it that way, but um I don't know that it fits in exceptionally well with the rest of what I've got going on. It's hard to make granite work, is my problem with granite. It's not that it's like an ugly block, it's just it doesn't sit very well with a lot of different designs. Kind of weird how nearly symmetrical this is now. Oh well. I stretch. Nice. Woo! Long Minecraft stream. Where are we at? It's about six hours. I mean, yeah, I guess I am gonna be taking a widow break soon though. Vinyl scratch. You're listening to 92.3 Ruse Radio, where we play your least favorite hits. Ah, this ain't a Tempest Station. I'm waking up to Ash and Dust. <laughs> wow, thanks for the orange super. Yum, 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 yum. <laughs> to open my new map and see my big long road uh, yeah you're listening to 98.3 tong ting real dwarven radio kong kong with the sounds of the deep and none of that prissy elf stuff Playing only rock and stone 24-7. It's a love story, baby. Just say yes. Out there, what would we do? Huh? Is that you, my friend? Please come inside where there are refreshments and murder. Come, 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 come inside. Come inside, my friend. Huh? Ah. Come inside. Come, come inside. I have punched Gerard off this bridge, yes? Not since it was done, though. Yeah, get in there, bud. Not you guys. Not you guys. <laughs> and no one was around to witness my dastardly murder. <laughs> suppose these are mine now. Oh, <laughs> yes, quite. Not my llama friends. You can stay here. Enjoy. Oh, I ride the llama. Can I, like, uh, if I name tag these, do they stay forever?
I'm gonna go get some name tags for these bad boys. Those are my llamas now. Wow, wow, wow! I gotta roll on the axle wheel one second. And then I'll decide what their names are. I gotta do it before nighttime falls, though. I gotta hold on. I'm opening my axle wheel. One second. My wheel of axles. And the first roll is going to end up as Chameleon. That's you. Hey! What do you mean no? What the hell? It's a love story, baby. Just say yes. I hate you. An anvil? Don't I need like a billion iron for an anvil? Ugh, come on, man. I don't think I have enough iron left for an anvil. What do you need, like a full iron block? And then, wait, isn't it like three iron blocks? Yeah, it's three iron blocks. That's not going to work. Ah, uh, well. Guess those aren't my llamas today. Oh, wait, I have some iron, raw iron. Hold on. Hold on. Wait a minute. 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 We got to cook. We got to cook. We're going to cook. Let's cook. Stay there, llamas. Don't leave yet. I'm not stealing somebody else's anvil. Yet. Cook them let. Cook them let. Lay says, sit on the llamas until they have hearts and they won't despawn. Save your iron. Really? How do I sit on them? It's like, horror, I see. Oh, they're like horses. Cool. my baby llama right now. Ah, ah, ah. Can you get down? Yay! They love me! I like those llamas. I like those llamas because they're good. Thank you very much, and hello, Sharkfin Tempura. Welcome, 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 welcome. Hmm. I'm gonna need more wood. Also, we need to start asking ourselves important questions like, uh, what kind of wood do we want to build our little farmhouse out of? And what do we want to do with our farmhouse? And what do we want to do with our barn? And yada, 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 yada. Okay, boys, come on. Those are my carrying llamas now. Mangrove. I don't have any mangrove. I would love mangrove, but I don't have any.
Yeah, but I don't have any llama dies right now, so it is what it is. Oh yeah, my map. Oh, and I get to test out my road on my horse. Yep. This is going to be great. I love this. I love this moment for me. I love this moment for me. This moment, this one's for me. Woohoo! Yay! My road, it's working! Punskina, thanks for being a Rosator. So is my fence. Good, 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 good. Yeah! My fence is on the map now! Woo! Nice. <laughs> Welcome to the prank. Welcome to 92.5. 55 the th thrive Damn we're getting a little bit of rubber ending out of here. Whoa, <laughs> gotta be careful. Welcome to 92.75, the almost there. <laughs> but not quite 100%. Yeah, You're listening to the prank here on Rosator Radio. Anyway, here's Creep. Nice job, bud. I love road. I love maps. I love roads. It's so cool. It's so fucking cool. It's so fucking cool. It's so fucking cool. Look! Oh! And then one day there's gonna be a little building right there. And then there's gonna be farmland right here. And right here on this little ledge. And look, my, you can see my, you can see the fence. You can see the fence. <sighs> so cool. Oh, that's so cool. Maybe I do a dock here. I could go from the crossroads and add a fourth road and have it like go up here and come down the sail and land on a dock. Hmm. Because this road's going to go south into the desert. I don't know. We shall see. 
All right, anyway, I'll be right back, gamers. Uh, I am getting toasty, so I gotta figure something out. No, don't do that. Hey, 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 nobody told you to do that. Stop, don't, don't, don't you, don't appear out of the ruse, you wait there.
Sing, my angels! Sing! Psych. Hi. I'm back. And I brought stamina potion. <laughs> One second. Uh, go. Uh, Oh, no. Oh, no. Okay, never mind. I figured it out. All right, we're good. Woo! Scary. Bro, still loading. I was. I was still loading for a moment. Getting too many of you guys. Uh, Roosting's Phantom of the Opera karaoke? Real? Fake. What kind of stamina potion do you like, Roos? Says Maya. Uh... They kind of give me stamina. No, I drink uh, Guacamole Gamer Farts 9000, specifically mixed with... Um, Sprite or 7 up. Ew, the fuck is that? It's delicious guacamole gamer farts 9000. This stream not sponsored by them. <laughs> I have a blueberry fa flavor, Flavior. Uh, I don't know, maybe. Boom, that's seven blocks. Let's do it. Bam, boom, bam. We did it. I'll never have to worry about iron again. Wow. Wow. Hey, everyone. Welcome. Um, how's it going today? This stream is sponsored by water. It's true. Okay, true. The name is a little wild. Uh, what we wanted to do was we were going to make some mud brick, weren't we? Can't believe you got sponsored by Big Water, Ruse. Cloud really changed you. <laughs> <laughs> Not you kidding. <laughs> That'd be funny though. That'd be kind of funny though. Typical. Sponsored by Big Water, and now you think you're all that. And life really changed you, Ruth. I'm gonna take a little nap while it rains. I've got to put away my little cop out. Shit. Oh, fuck. I've got too many bones. Too fuck. Uh. Uh. What? 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 What is my sponsor code? Um, five, 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 five,
Damn it. This sucks. When's it going to stop raining? It is raining, right? Yeah, it's overcast. I promise you if I step in between those two flames, it's raining. But we can only count to four. Oh, man, that sucks. Well, I guess if you try to count to one, two, three, four, four, that's what it is. <sighs> Tokyo ghoul meme. <laughs> This rain is sponsored by water. Shit, hey, uh. One, two, three, four. One, two, 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 three, two, four, two. One, three, two, three, 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 four, three. <laughs> Don't worry, guys. I'm figuring it out. You know, it's actually pretty funny. I found out a lot of cultures don't count the way you think they do. Hold up your fingers. Hold up your fingers in front of you right now. So what a lot of cultures will do, right, is instead of counting uh, one finger at a time, they'll actually count the joints on their finger, and they use that as the way to count. So they'll count like, you know, they'll they'll touch their thumb to the bottom joint of their pinky, and then go one, two, three on their pinky, and then they'll go four, five, six on their ring finger, and they'll go seven, eight, nine on their middle finger. <laughs> you know what I mean? And so they have a, instead of using a decimal system of tens, they usually use twelves, because they'll count the twelve, you know, of their main four fingers. Does that make sense? Pretty cool, right? I think that's fun. I think that's fun. I think that's fun. I like that. It's nighttime now. I see. New maths. Quick maths. Quick maths. Okay, we got our nap in. Let us go. Figure out what I'm going to do about mud. So to make mud, I could build my stable or my farmhouse, but I don't know if I'm ready to tackle another building just yet. So I think I'm going to work on mud first. I'm going to focus on mud. You can deploy another arm to count about 12. <gasps> Never mind. Everything's fine. Oh, lolly running. <laughs> you get that little joyful hop down the stairs. Remember, if you can, jump down the last step. Jump up the first step. Why not? Have that youthful exuberance. Ha ha. <laughs> Say ha ha when you do it. little sense of whimsy make link the noise go to says yeah the grass is getting there on these fences the slowly very very slowly but surely mm, water oh <gasps> <laughs> 
Is the word Riz already outdated? I don't think so. Maybe, though. The world moves fast, after all. Who knows? Mud. 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 Mud, 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 mud. Do I got a cookie? I probably got a cookie, don't I? Mud? No. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mud? Mud. Oh, that one. Ah, oh, for fuck. Oh, come on. Ah! Kind of a cool block, though. Wait, does it eventually dry out and become dirt? I don't want to do that. That's a hassle. Well, I guess I could start my wheat farm. No, it doesn't? Okay, cool. Cool, 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 cool. I gotta make a natural staircase for this. Probably along this area here, so... Maybe I take some of this jet. Okay, okay. Mud returns to dirt as dirt becomes mud. What is this song called, Roos? It is Moog City, apparently. M O O G City. pretty good I have a ton of dirt that's so much dirt I got dirt out the ass what oh, oh. what what huh huh you should probably get that looked at. No, 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 no. Octavio told me that's the right way to handle it. If you don't have toilet paper, you gotta, you gotta cram fucking cactus dirt in your ass. Octavio wouldn't lie to me. Come on. What do you think? I'm gullible? So you can leave that to the elves. <laughs> Wink. Sorry, Cassian. <laughs> that wasn't very nice. I take it back. I don't take it back. Is that a monster? What did Cass ever do to you? Nothing. Just so happens Cass is an elf, and sometimes I like shitting on elves. 
since I'm not an elf and I'm a very regular average normal human. Thank you. I am not an elf. Thank you. Need more dirt. All right, hold on. Let's see. Uh, there we go. Easy. <laughs> I'm not gaslighting you. I'm gatekeeping you, and I'm girl bossing you. So why do you have pointy ears? What the fuck? How, you can't just ask people that. Do you just roll up to people and be like, hey, dude, why is your nose big? You can't just ask that shit. That's fucked up and evil. I am no jester. Um, random question. Do you have shoes with bells that uh, curl up in a tent? <laughs> what do you think I am? You think I'm a fucking keyboard off? What are you asking me right now? Demon I don't have any demon blood. I'm a regular human. Thank you. <laughs> All right, I'm going to wait for one more time. Let's see. Hold on. Wait for it. What if you're half elf? Sure hope not. You're telling me my dad didn't tell me something? No way. No shot. I'm not a fucking oily. I'm just a guy. I'm just a dude. There it is. There it is. <laughs> <laughs> oh man. Huh, that's funny. Hey, uh <laughs> I don't think it's working, Voidwalker. <laughs> I don't think it's happening. Sorry. <laughs> It was, it was worth a shot, though. <laughs> it was worth three shots, though. <laughs> uh, that's pretty good. That's pretty funny. To be fair, that's... I like it. Oh, man. <laughs> okay. I think what I'm going to do is I'm going <laughs> to have a road that goes behind the farmland, you know, and maybe travels around this way or something and comes down from there. So maybe I'll build, like, a... I'll carve some of this mountain away a little bit so there's flat land and then there's a little road carved into it. And then we'll have the road have some stairs and lead you up here. Boom, bam, boom, doing. I might need to open this a bit. I might need to open this a little. Have any more fences on me? Yeah, I've got enough to make it work. I guess I could open it here. Let's see. Yeah, opening it up about this much is probably the right move. Now it looks a little bit more like a good entrance, which is great. Uh, I'm not going to be able to get farm animals into it still, just because they don't really... I don't feel like they fit through these gates very easily. But I'll figure it out. I might raise this one. Uh, hey, mud. <laughs> it's kind of nasty sounding. Oops. I should get one of those uh, little villager bells, you know what I'm talking about, from the villages. Should put that up right above this. No hablo espanol. Sorry. <laughs> Good luck, Kinga. Oh, exactly, Bunny Hunger. Yeah, Great Dane tugged on my ears. Duh. That's what happened. <laughs> Wink. You 
just spoke. No, 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 He saw me! Ah! Well, we tried. <laughs> Whoa. <laughs> Scary. Yeah, I was just thinking I need more dirt. Well, isn't that lucky? Damn, he really fucked that wall up. Damn. I mean, I guess I was going to carve a pathway, but it's not exactly how I intended to do it. You're ruining my artistry, Creeper. Ooh, right, I got to get more dirt. Uh, that's a hassle. All right, more dirt. Here we go. Whee! Jesus, fuck me, dude. Why'd you whoop right by my face? God damn. Damn, I want some fish and chips. Why would you say that to me? Why would you say these words to me? I'm back with fish and chips. How we do it? I'm alive. I'm kicking. I'm digging a path to my uh, thing. My thing, my thing, my thing, my thing. The pasture. That's the word I'm looking for. At this point, the is Ruse a vampire question has left my mind because of redacted knowledge. Yeah, because I'm not a fucking vampire. I'm a regular human. Let me sleep. And because I like garlic. Yeah, guys, clearly I'm a gnome. Oh, I'm posture checking. I'm posture checking. I checked. My posture's terrible. I'm keeping it that way. <laughs> Thoughts on live action monkey DJ. What? Huh? What? I haven't watched any uh, One Piece. Sorry. And I really do not intend to. <laughs> well, you see, I just uh, am not. I'm not going to do it. You can't entice me. There's no words you can say. Damn it. I'm going to get fucked up by a creeper or something. This is going to suck. <gasps> do I read in crazy positions like the kind you drew that one time? It depends. Sometimes. Unless it annoys my arms. After a few hours of doing that, your arms start to get kind of tired. Uh, typically, I don't read like that. I often sit in weird positions, though. Like on the arms of chairs or over the sides of things. Or so that I'm like halfway in the chair, but halfway out of the chair. But one, one leg's hanging over the leg and the other leg's hanging over the side. And yada, 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 yada. Maya really said, he was a fairy. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Yeah. 
I sit like a cat, sure. <laughs> Silent sheep. I have no time to fuck around with your garbage. Oh, it seems like I'm going to have to make my farm before I can make anything else, which is kind of a bummer. It does mean I need to make my farmhouse at some point soon, too. Ugh. <laughs> Not ready. I'm not ready to make my farmhouse yet. Oh. Oh, hey, there's like a little shelf there with water in it. That's cute. Look how cute that is. Oh. That's a little scary. Oh, there's more water down there. Ooh. Okay, so, uh, so, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, okay, I gotta go find a cave so I can get a little bit of iron, so I can go ahead and work on, uh, getting a shovel going, because I'm tired of digging with my hands, and I don't want to use stone, I mean, I could use stone, but, it's honestly about the same speed, it's just, it breaks a little faster, Don't be a baby. Spirit gum and latex is fine. Maybe I just wear elf ears. Yeah, maybe I just put on my elf ears before every stream. You guys think about that? Maybe I'm just playing. Maybe I'm just making it. Maybe it's all a ruse. Ha! <laughs> Didn't see that coming, did you? Oh, no, he's chuny. Maybe they're just attached to the ends of my ears. You don't know. Have you checked? Maybe I'm just really exceptionally good at blending my foundation and I made it look like they're my ears. Huh? Yeah, just like my deployable arms. You thought those were mine too. Damn, I thought there was a ton of caves around here. Oh, there's one. Oh, okay, maybe not that one. Why is everything a massive drop out here? Oh no, this is that giant ravine, isn't it? Mm. Then again. Oh, I think I've been on that side. Okay, we're gonna go over there and drop down in that ravine. Real careful though. What? Wow! Ooh -hoo -hoo. All right. Hello? Is there any iron down here? Hello? I'm just lost. I'm looking for iron. Don't be weird if you see me. Don't attack me. Don't be weird. Ooh. Ooh. Oh, water. Water. What do you want, man? Ow! What are you saying? Oi, 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 Keep it in the language I can read or I'm gonna get in trouble by my managers. Nah, I'm just kidding. I would, I would ban you before I got in trouble. <laughs> Ow, you son of a bitch. You know what? Maybe two iron's enough. Maybe we can just go. 
I only need to make two shovels anyway. Maybe sometimes greed is not the answer. I know. It's a hard lesson to learn, and one I hate learning. I don't mind spirit gum. Liquid latex is just no, not fun to use. Yeah, liquid latex can be pretty annoying. It also smells pretty bad, which I am not a huge fan of. Um, but... Eh. So I could say a curse word in a different language? No, I'll ban you immediately. And I'll know too. I'm a genius. <laughs> Where's my bed? Did I leave it up there? I left it up there. Damn it. Will you though? I don't know. You want to find out? Test me. Ah, I see avocado. Thank you for letting me know. Meow. Oh! You the most heinous one you could say. You choose to meow your curses at me. That's it. You're banned forever. You're banned for life, actually. I'm banning your entire lineage. Everybody in your family is banned. <laughs> and your cats. Every cat you've ever owned, banned. Not allowed to watch my streams anymore. Sorry, it is what it is. Still fucking. Oh, it's still one taller than I want it to be. Uh, I thought that was the last layer I was gonna have to dig through. Okay, one more, one more layer, one more layer. We. your super chat say Sarah also WJ thanks for being a resader there now I'm done digging layers I think I hope I pray okay so now this goes straight across and we fill this in Easy as that. Wow, 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 wow. I got my rouge rocks. No obsidian, but a coal black. Ooh, smoky quartz. Good taste. Saffy. Welcome to being a rosator. Meow. Your cat's name is Zephyr. Are you just messing with me? What am I working on? Says Luam. Well, Luan, I am currently working on a side road. Basically, what this is going to be is the entry into the pasture and or stable area up here. So what you're going to do is you're going to come down this area, and then you're going to go up. You know, honestly, I don't even know if all that's necessary. I might just build a little... I might just hit him with one of these and then you know one of those and now I've got a slightly flatter 
entryway, which is nice. Uh, I'm going to build a road basically from there all the way over here. It's going to loop around this hill. I'm going to carve out some of this hill. And I'm going to drag it around above this area because this is going to be farmland down here. So it's going to kind of like border this, staring down into the lake and into the farmland, which is going to be just idyllic and pastoral, I imagine. And then probably come down about here-ish, question mark. Um, and this will be a little farmhouse slash lakeside cottage. Day's going well. How's yours? Welcome into those just hopping on, and goodbye to those going away. Yeah, kind of cottage core. Yeah, 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 yeah. All right, I gotta put away some shit though. Um, guess I don't need these bottles right now, unfortunately. Uh, is that it? That's it for now. I need space to store yet, so I'm just gonna put away a couple things. And make a little room here. Hold on. Yeah, that'll work. There we go. Cool. Yup, that's me, Bruce the farm boy. Yeah. Well, I get down dirty with the, with the best of them once in a while. Me and my poppy, we, we, me, me and my papa, we uh, we work on the farm once in a while. That's a, that's an unfair stereotype to farm boys. I take it back. I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm gonna head on over yonder and just uh, take care of that uh, that their cattle. Oh shit, you know what I- ooh. <laughs> I almost forgot her. One second. We're going tractor racing, I'll tell you what! What are you telling me? Tell me what. What is it? Finally, we made it. I was getting a little ridiculous. Okay, so. Assuming the road is three to four wide. Probably one, two, three wide. So the road's three wide. Comes over, does this. Goes three. So this is the right side border of the road. Boom, 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 boom. Needs to curve and make sure it doesn't quite touch the wall. So it'd be here. Bum, 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 bum. Oh no, there's a lot of empty space here. Uh, don't want it hanging out over the air. Hmm, but I also don't want to fill up this entire track all the way up as high as it needs to be. That'd be a huge hassle. Huh, huh. Mm -hmm. Wow, that's That's really beautiful What the fuck? <laughs> I'm sitting here contemplating And the sun says ah. Whoa What the fuck did you just say to me? I saw something about a maid. I disagree, whatever it was. A 
Okay, uh, I guess I gotta dig into the side of this mountain a little bit. I really don't want to dig into the side of this mountain. <sighs> I gotta think. How am I gonna handle? Whoa. Whoa. Never mind, it's gone. Uh, <laughs> uh, hmm. What am I gonna do here? Oh, oh, hold on. Whoa. Um, what was I saying? Right. I'm trying to decide what I want to do with the road here, but the problem is it's too thin. It's too narrow around this pass to create a three wide road. And maybe I don't need a three wide road. That's probably a little, uh, a little ambitious, a little overly tuned for what it is that I'm doing here. What I need to do is I need to figure out how to make that entrance not three wide or come down three. And then maybe I make this sort of like a little walkway that splits off somehow. Okay, thank you, Zindu. You are wrong! But also, I've already been in made outfits. It's been drawn multiple times. Check it out. Let me lay down. Let me lay down. Let me lay down. Let me lay down. Come on, please, 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 please. Thank you. can only sleep at night my ass. That's the only time I'm awake. All right. Uh, okay, so let's assume. Let's Okay, let's cut this down a bit. Let's change it. We're just gonna, it's, hmm. I want it to be three wide from here. And we'll have it be three wide until we get to about... I guess I could just literally collide with the wall three wide. And then turn it into a one. And then have that one follow along a footpath. Yeah, okay. So let's start the one. I don't want it to be there, so I need to at least start carving out the side of the mountain from here-ish. Oop, didn't mean to do that. Hee <laughs> hee. Quinn says, Rose! Can I get a shout out for my friend? Ray? Who introduced me to your streams? Please! Yeah, I got you once I hand. All right, this one goes out to uh, uh, Quinn Silva's friend who introduced Quinn to my streams. Thanks again. <laughs> Thank you, Ray. <laughs> Ah, uh, I do love being a little shit, though. You have to know this about me. You must know. Okay, so I need the path to at least be too wide uh, at any given moment, I think. Because I like it better that way. It has no real, like need to be like that, but that's how I like it, and that's how it's going to be. So, uh, oh, sorry, I fucked up. Sorry, I threw up in my mouth a little bit because I fucked up. <laughs> Good night, banana. Yeah, that's not bad. Ha <laughs> ha, nice. No! Yes. Yes, good. Good, 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 good. So now I need to dig in here. Uh oh, we're starting to get down to the rock. <laughs> That's not good. Uh, it might be time for us to build a dig in reverse, which colloquially to, to you little fucking uneducated idiots out here is known as building. But I'm going to call it digging in reverse because it sounds funner. <laughs> 
Uh, okay. Rosaders, Rosaders, have you guys seen, um, I hope you little bastards are as brain rot as I am, but anyway, have you seen this fucking TikTok of that guy who talks like he's in Cyberpunk 2077? <laughs> he's like, motherfuckers, after they get the, uh, SpaceX chip in their head, and they're like, all right, Chooms, I'm gonna get, I'm gonna get out of here and get the creds, and, and I'll get, <laughs> oh, it's so fucking funny, oh, that guy's, that guy's funny. Oh, man. I'm tired of all these corpos. <laughs> Alright, we're almost to the point where we can drop back down, which is great. Because we need that soon. Um. Oh. <laughs> Fuck. Ugh. Nah, chooms is like a slur, I think, or like a curse word. It's kind of like bastards or, or assholes or bitches. When used with, like, your buddies, it's kind of like chill and something you're saying, like, kind of like, you know, uh, it, it's kind of like a sense of camaraderie. But when used on people you do not like or derogatorily, it is an insult. From what I understand, I am by no means a cyberpunk expert. I've never played a cyberpunk game. Um, I've heard good things. I haven't played it. Ah. A road, how to know? Ooh. Exactly, Safi. Yes, yes. Thank you, Snen. out here in the countryside we walk where our feet will take us and we climb the hills as they come save that for those city slickers OK. 
decay. Sugar peas! Drop them! Okay! Fuck, my, my damn brain rotted. The internet, what have you done to me? You turned me into a fucking quote machine. <laughs> One more on each of these. Pew, 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 pew. Probably not. Nah, probably not. <laughs> nice. Back in my day, we echo lolly in the sound of nature, not these damn Tic Tacs. Yeah, that's right. When I was young, we didn't say fucking one, two, buckle my shoe. We would say uh, chirpity chirp chirp like the birdie birds. Mm-hmm. Yep, back when the world was right and everything was as it's supposed to be. Mm-hmm. Those were the days. Ah, damn, I miss Jeffrey. That fucking war. That damn war. I'll never be the same. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> ah, that's funny. <laughs> Don't want to go down from here. Let's see. If I go down from here, where do I end up? We'll come out like right here ish. I mean, it does make a nice footpath. But, like, I was kind of open to come down and around here-ish, maybe? I don't fucking know, dude. I don't fucking know. I was thinking maybe, like, this doesn't have a path up to the hill. Like, this is all just part of the, like, yard. This is the house. And then maybe it has, like, a swing-around path up to the hill. But, man, that's going to be so much more work. And how much work am I going to put in this fucking footpath to make it look nice? Probably pretty, probably a pretty hefty amount because I'm a stupid, I'm, I'm a dumb bitch. I'm a dumb bitch. I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna put in more work. I guess I don't. I guess I don't care. <sighs> Fuck. What the hell is wrong with me? I'm on that grind craft, you know what I mean? <laughs> Why has nobody said that yet? Wait a minute. Why have I not heard that? That seems like such a, like, right, like, such a fucking obvious, like, bog standard ass thing. What the fuck? Grindcraft sounds wrong if we take the modern-day context of grind into interpretation. No, it doesn't. No, it don't. No, it don't. The modern-day context of grind is to work hard, to be on your grind set. Um, actually... No, nah, that's fair. I understand what you mean, though. I'm gonna try and get the actual shape down before I keep going. Oh god, it's so much further. <sighs> yeah, I can go down a tier first so I can like work on this because this is pretty open already. Yeah, maybe we go down a step. Let's go down a step. Because fuck me, this is gonna be a lot of work otherwise. Yeah, this is better. Okay. And then I'll get into stone less often, because right now I keep digging into the side of stone and stuff, and that's frustrating. Woohoo! Wow, we're doing it! Wow! Yay! He said, with a hollow feeling in his chest, as he realized he would be here for another 12 hours. <laughs> Yay! Yippee! But he was... 
but he was not feeling yippee that day. He was in fact feeling very... Oh no. <laughs> he was not feeling bonita. Sorry. <laughs> Almost lost my cool there for a second. <laughs> Woo! It's <was> close. <laughs> okay. Tee hee. Tee hee. You like that guy who was in the lighthouse? What the fuck's his name? You know what I'm talking about? He's like staring up. He's like, uh, uh. He's like got that like face of despair and abject horror. That's me right now. Yeah, Willem Dafoe. I, I feel like Willem Dafoe going. It's that this a little bit more like. Because I spit in the face of his authority. Is there something I did that was wrong? <laughs> Uh-oh. I'm fucking losing it. So now I have a footpath from here to whatever this little cabin by the lake is going to be. And then I just need another footpath up here around. Hello, Octavio and the Octoposse. I'm almost done with what I'm doing. Oh, thank fuck. I can just go downward from here. Ugh. Okay, 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 okay. And then this can just be a path that goes like this, you know? Okay. <gasps> Thank you. I am free. Hi, Octavio. How'd your stream go? How was Octox? Hey, Octopussy. We did it. I am free. I am free of the sin of this footpath I had to make into the hills to go around the farmland that doesn't even fucking exist yet that I'm gonna put down here. Uh, I'm making 
ground, go around the farmland for the Minecraft. I've been doing a lot of Minecraft. I've been playing Minecraft for like, I don't fucking know, seven and a half hours, I guess. Yeah, I'm mostly terraforming right now. I've been working on roads and stuff like that. And then I'm probably going to have a little walkway that comes down here. And boop, deposits me out into the farm field where I can harvest my wheat and stuff. Though uh, more often than not, I'll probably just run over from the house. But, you know, for the sake of, like, aesthetics, it will be like, oh, no, I go around the footpath up above. But I'm not actually going to do all that. Okay, cool. So this will be our eventual farmland. It's gonna be great. Uh, that's my beautiful little Hobbiton style walkway down to the farmland. I know, I know, you are you love it. We're just going for the longest stream in Hollow Stars the end at this point. Mm, I don't know about that. I'm not even gonna beat my own record. My last Minecraft stream, my record for Minecraft stream was uh, 11 hours and 15 minutes, something like that. So, nah, I don't think so. Do a little aesthetic work there. Uh, uh. Just beat my own record by one minute every time. That happened on New Year's Day, actually. It was a New Year's stream. All right, let's run the road back to the house. We're going to go get our maps. We're going to update our maps. And then I don't know what I'm going to do. I've got, you know, I've still got a little Minecraft in me. How about trying to play a non-chill game for 11 hours? Huh? Oh, you think you're so cool? You think you're so fucking cool? You think this is just, you think the only reason I could play this for a long time is because it's a fucking chill game? Don't test me, Octavio. I have no chill. I will play a non-chill game for 11 hours. The, the fucking, I played Monster Hunter World for 36 hours straight when I first got a hold of it. You think I give a shit? I will sit here silently, mouth a gate. If, if you want it, one of these days, one of these fucking days, I'll tell you what, I'll do a stream where like, I don't know. I'll go for 36 hours just because I can. And I won't say a fucking word to you either. I won't talk to anybody. I'll stop being a streamer and I'll turn into just a gamer. Is that what you want? Is that what you fucking want? You want me to take the mask off? Huh? You want me to stop being funny? You want me to stop being engaging? Because I'll do it, Octavio. I'll turn on just my fucking slack-jawed, mouth-open, bachelor fucking pad. I'm just playing games and playing League of Legends for 47 matches in a row. Because I will do it. What the fuck is your stream record? And did Uyur sleep? Because that doesn't count. Forty-two hours and no sleep. All right, somebody get the exact number for me. Go find the exact number for me right now. Rust, was it? Okay, 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 okay. I got you, I got you, okay. Go find me the number. Oh, my maps. Oh, I almost forgot. Why'd you guys let me forget? You hate me. You hate me! We had to wait for Timo Senpai to set up the Rust server, Octavio. I don't want to challenge Uyu. Don't test me. I said go find the fuck. I'll look it up right now. I don't give a shit. Here I go. All right. Longest Hollow Stars EN stream. Who and what is the longest Hollow Stars EN stream? Oh, sorry, you're right. I typed Ian. Longest Hollow Stars stream. Uh, 
Uh -huh. Wait, this is like years ago. Fuck that. Hold on. Twenty-four hour karaoke. Fuck that. I ain't doing karaoke for twenty-four hours. That's for sure. Sounds like a good way to lose my voice. Um. <laughs> Okay, this is hard to Google. I'm too lazy for that. I lied. Uh... Just give me the record. When you find it, you let me know. Yeah, Octavio can do 24-hour karaoke. Octavio's got that under control. That's Octavio's. That's Octavio's white whale. I've got to find mine. I've got to Captain Ahab this shit. And mine's going to be Endurance. All right, how long was you use Rush Stream? Tell me, fan. I need an exact number. No, no, it's too late, Octavio. You've got, you challenged me, and now I'm challenging you. It's only fair. A 24 hour Zatsunon. I'll send this super chat before the stream gets. Oh, hi, yo! Rears has been slaying on his builds and getting a W. No cap. I'll probably get yeeted in the skibbity dimension. Yeah, I'm skibbity you right now. How dare you say that to me? Who can yap for 24 hours? I mean, I could yap for 24 hours, I guess. I mean, I pretty casually yap for like 12 hours, 14 hours, no trouble. So I feel like if I really wanted to push it, where would I, you know, the question I think really isn't, could I yap for 24 hours? It's where would it start to be a strain or start to bother me to yap that long? Um, I guess at like 30, 32, 30-ish hours, I'd start to get annoyed at it. I'll tell you, you'll get in the voice chat, I've had enough. Yap engagingly for 20... Have I ever... Have I, have I... I'm sorry. Have I ever yapped at you not engagingly, Octavio? Do you have something you want to say to me, motherfucker? Is there ever been a moment I have talked to you where you have not been, like, hanging on every one of my fucking words like you were going to fall off a cliff if you let go? I don't think so. You're welcome. Right now, you could be eeping, but you're listening to my words because I yap engagingly. Get in the voice call, Octavio. I don't care if you have to sleep. Fuck sleeping. He hates me. He hates me, everybody. He hates me. I eat good bite. I parry your good bite, and I say, get in here. He hates me. He wants me to die. See, Octavio... <laughs> here, this will get him. See, Octavio's just not built like me, you know? I'm just built kind of different. I go right out of a collab into another collab. You know, I jump out of a fucking Sea of Thieves. I hop right in with Battle and Flay on. No problem. Me? I'm just built different. I'm a streaming fucking machine. I've got streaming in my blood, in my gears. You know what I mean? Every single piece of oil in my body is ready and lubricated for streaming. <laughs> Wait till I get into my workout. What the fuck does that have to do with anything, dude? What does that have to do with anything? What are you going to work? What are you working out? Your ability to stream? Wake the fuck up, Octavio. It's time now. What's a baton? What does that mean? What did you just say to me? I'm still in my baton era. The oh, fuck? Oh, good luck with that. Bye! I believe Octavio 2 one day will have Booba. One day, young Octavio. One day. Mm, I can go map some stuff out. Let's go. Let's go. Uh, let's go check out what this looks like now that we finished our uh, little road. I'm a bit, 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 b
Please stop spreading the Don Earth agenda. I've had enough. I gotta put lights on this road. Ah, what a hassle. Roads are great. Love roads. God damn, are they work. Look at all this road I made, Octavio. Look! Behold my wonders and weep. For my glory is... Ooh, look at the road. It's growing. It's growing because the map is picking up with the road I made that around the farmland. Ooh, that went down. Wait till it picks up the road I made over to the stable. Ooh. Oh, 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 there it is. Yeah. God damn. That's beautiful. Oh, 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 yep. I did that. That's me. I did that. Indeed, behold, all ye mighty, and despair. All right, now I can go put this back on the wall, and it should be up to date with all of my little things, my little stuff that I've done. Sixty-five plus hours of game. I'm sorry. Who did sixty-five hours of gaming? Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Back up. Back up. I had forgotten we had that conversation because my brain is everywhere. What do you mean sixty-five hours? At, no, he sat down and played Rust for sixty-five hours nonstop. Are you sure? Are you sure he didn't sleep? He didn't take any breaks. Not all at once. Someone said not all at once. The no break record is 22.75. Yeah, I want to know like how long he went without stopping. Yeah, I need someone to fact check this. I need someone to fact check this right now. I need to know what I'm up against before I start this battle. I will, I, I, at the expense of my own content, because here's the thing, for a single continuous session spread over four streams of 42 hours, okay, I can do that. I can beat 42 hours easy. That's not even a competition. That's baby numbers. This is nothing. We're not even in the same fucking ballpark right now. That's fine. Here's the thing. At the expense of my own content, because I'm aware no one's going to sit down and watch me for 42 hours, and I know it's bad. It's li it's bad. It's not only bad radio, it's bad streaming, it's bad content, it's not going to help me numbers-wise or anything like that, and that's fine, because it's about pride. It's about growth. It's about Uyu and I looking each other in the eyes, embracing in the most halcyon, majestic of moments, as we both realize that we're running side by side. We can do it. It's not about, it's not about doing good. It's not about what the government wants at this point. It's about honor amongst warriors. Not ooh woo, ooh you. We stay hungry. We devour. It's about having our, exactly, it's about having our chariots of fire. It's, it's about sending a message. Who are you, senpai? One day, one day, I'm coming for that record. Maybe not yet, because I, you know, I've got a couple things coming up. But, you better watch out. Let me know so I can schedule some time. I'll, I'll put it on the schedule. Don't test me. I will wait until a game I really want to play is coming out, and I will put that on the fucking schedule. And I'll be like, all right, we're going to be doing this for, I don't know, 72 hours probably. You better watch out. 
You better do cry. Is there going to be... So here's the thing. When we hit about that, I'm going to guess around the 18 to 20... I'm going to say around the 20 to 26-ish hour mark. I'm probably going to quiet down. I'm probably just going to play that fucking game and keep my mouth shut and just <laughs> play for like six hours silently. But I mean, I'll, I'll, pop, I'll pipe up here and there. Dragon's Dogma 2. Maybe. Maybe. I might. It might be Rust. It might be. I've never played Rust, so it could very well be Rust. It could keep me engaged enough. Uh, it could be Rust. It could be Dragon's Dogma. It could be uh, the new Monster Hunter. It's po very possible it could be the new Monster Hunter. Uh, who knows? Um, but it's going to be something. And I'm just going to. Ooh, ooh. When I get you, you. What about that game you've been no-lifing? No, I haven't been no-lifing it. I've played a little bit of Last Epoch. I probably put about 10 hours into it uh, in like one-hour segments when I give myself half an hour or an hour every night to play it, um, which isn't a lot, unfortunately. Usually, I would have put like at least 40 hours into a game like that by now, but no dice, so... Ooh. Liza P would not take me 42 hours to beat. There's no way. Yeah, it might have to be like a sleepover type of deal, right? Like, it's probably got to be a sleepover type of deal where I'm like, okay, Resaders, like, here's what we're doing today. Get ready. Everybody get your, like, get your little blankies ready. Get get ready for a little nap time. God of War. I don't know if that would keep, would that keep me engaged for 72? I'm trying to think about games I've played for that long straight, and there's a few of them. So the games I've played for, like, two days or more than two days without sleeping are games like... World of Warcraft, Monster Hunter World came close. It was only like 36 hours though, or 32 hours. Um, what else? What else? Uh, what else has come close? Wow, Monster Hunter World. Actually, maybe I was pretty addicted to Albion for a while, but I probably only played that for like 14 hour spats. Uh Hmm. Yeah, League of Legends has kept me going for like, you know, 12, 14 hours at a time, but never never really like longer than 24, I don't think. You could do all of Baldur's Gate 3 since no one else. <laughs> Yeah, I mean, I could do that, but I need something kind of action-y, I think. I think I'm going to need things that has, like, heavy periods of action to wake me up. To get me back into it, you know what I mean? League of Legends? Probably not League of Legends now. 12 hours of Tetris. <laughs> nah. Mm -hmm. Does it need to be one game? I guess it doesn't technically have to be one game, but I'd have to cut off the stream. Well, I guess I'm going to have to cut off the stream every 12 hours anyway. I guess I could change games every 12 hours. I don't know. I'd have to cut off the stream every once in a while to switch because obviously I don't want to put multiple games in one um, stream because that's just not cool to the, uh, you know, the developers and stuff. It wouldn't be like, like, you'd be pretty mad if you're like, oh, cool, this Holostar is playing this game that we made. Like, I hope he's, uh, you know, being cool about it or whatever. I hope he likes it. And then you tab in and he's fucking playing, I don't know, fucking Hello Kitty's Island Adventure. And you're like, God damn it. <laughs> Why are we saying Octavio X Ruse? Next Octavio X Ruse gets banned. Or at least muted for 24 hours. <laughs> Sometimes I want to Peppa Pig after all the Monster Hunter, you know? <laughs> all Souls games in 72 hours? Could I do all Souls games in 72 hours? Hmm. Maybe. Now Ruse Ruse, that that I that I do not accept. I accept Ruse hates Ruse. That that'll take. Let me hop into the I think I'm done here in Minecraft for now. I think I'm gonna hop over for a bit of wind down to the bar. So I'll see you there.
Bruce hate Bruce? No, 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 no. See, you're you're seeing this through the lens. You're seeing this through the lens of Homestuck romance, which does not exist. <laughs> I am not a troll. I do not perceive the world through troll romance structures. Um, no, Ruse just hates Ruse. Just outright fucking hates. Can't stand that motherfucker. <laughs> That's what it boils down to. <laughs> All right, let me stretch here. Yeah! Nice. So... Worse by hating everyone. True. So true. I'm unshrimping. I'm unshrimping as we speak. Anyway, thanks for hanging out for Minecraft gamers. I did want to take a few minutes. Probably, I'll probably be talking for the next 20 minutes or so. So I'll still be around. Stream's not over yet. Uh, I'm going to talk a little bit about what's going on and what's going to happen and what this week is going to look like. Uh, Moonshiro says, Uyu uh, and Ruse will either be really strong duo in Rust to fight against Tim and Izuru or Izuru or... They will be the worst of enemies to each other and try to one-up each other. Don't test me. See, the thing about me on survival games like that is that I already never sleep and I'm kind of already everywhere. I don't know if you guys have... I, I, I dropped out of Discord. That was the noise. I don't know if you guys have noticed, but um, I'm fucking everywhere. Like, everywhere. Uh, so... I get the feeling what's going to happen in a Rust arc is that people are going to be like, okay, now we're going to go... We're going to go hit... We're going to hit... You know, armor space, and I'll be like, I'm awake, and they'll be like, what? And I'll be like, yeah, I'm here. They'll be like, why are you here? Why are you up? And I'll be like, I don't, I don't blink. I don't fucking blink. <laughs> I don't ever blink, and I never would. <laughs> See you later, Michaela. I never sleep. Exactly. I'm the Twitter mutual. You don't know their time zone because I don't blink. But yeah, I don't know. I'll think about I'll think about that uh, competition at some point. I do want to beat 42 hours. So what would I have to do? Probably like 45, 50 ish. I think would be good, right? Like I don't want to be like, oh, I did 42 hours in one minute. Like that'd be pretty lame. And also, I want to set the record far enough that it's annoying to get over. I guess I could do like 50, 55. Seventy-two, huh? Forty-eight wouldn't be bad because that's just two days straight. That's actually a pretty good number, yeah. Sixty-nine. Whoa, whoa. Switch through different ruses every hour. Yeah, sure. I'll just pull out forty-two different ruses. Why not? There's only one ruse. It's me. Do your best. I will do my best. Anyway, I don't know what that looks like. I'm not worried about it right now. That's a, that's future stream content. That's that's a competition for me, myself, and my ego later on down the road. But not right now. And I don't have a game right now that I would play for seventy or forty eight hours straight. So it's gotta wait. It's gotta wait. Now during the Rust arc, it's very possible I get so into it that I decide to go for it there. Um, Hell yeah. Yep. Need to hold Octavia to 24-hour karaoke? I will try my best. It's a terrifying prospect to think about, isn't it, though? Moving on from that, though. Point is, yes, at some point I will try to do that 48-hour stream. Should be easy enough. And I don't think that's going to be a real trouble. I mean, at worst, I might have ISP issues. But, I mean, it's been pretty good to me lately. But moving on from that. So, this week... I'm going to be taking a little bit of a break. I'm sure you all saw the schedule. I will be taking tomorrow off to work on some stuff, finish up some homework. I got to wrap up some loose ends. I got to get a couple things out of the way. And then I've got to get ready to pack and stuff because I'm going to go see some friends and some family. Um, and then... Yeah, Monday I'm going to be doing a stream. I don't know what the game is yet. Depending on what perms I get or don't get... It could be a couple different things, so no promises, but I'll let you know if it is a certain game that I'm not going to say the name of because I don't want to put them under the bus if I don't get the perms. Uh, it'll probably be an endurance stream or at least a longer stream. If it's not that game, it'll probably be a relatively normal stream, you know, anywhere from four to six-ish hours. Nothing crazy, but we'll see. And then I'm going to go get that milk, so you know how it is. And then I will, yeah be taking a bit of a break for the week i'll try to stream where i can but realistically i'm not gonna have good enough internet to do that so we'll see 
Secondarily, a few points, uh, a, a few, a few rules of order here. No shipping in chat. No ship in my chat. Anybody, me, others, I don't care. You, you can do that on your own time. That's totally fine, but don't do it here. I will start handing out bands. I'm not kidding. That's not a ha ha hee hee. Don't be like that. We are still people. Like behind the screen, I'm a person. Everybody else here is a person. Please don't be like that. It's fine if you, I don't give a shit if you do that on your own time. I don't care what you draw. I don't care what you write. That's okay. Just don't bring it into other people's spaces. Did a quick scan of Uyu's page, and it seems that he has multiple streams broken up into 10 plus hour streams, some of them bordering on 12 hours. Ready up, lads. Fuck yeah, baby. But, I mean, I, I'm cool with however you want to behave in your own spaces. That doesn't bother me. Just keep it out of the tags for myself, and keep it out of my stream, and we're good to go. Okay, cool. Moving on. What else was I going to say? There was other things I wanted to address before I closed out. Oh, uh, what was I? There's something that uh, I was supposed to do for the government. Uh, oh, if you have not already, feel free, uh, make sure that you, I think you might be either you're running out of time or you're already out of time, but grab your meet and greet tickets for Hollow Expo because I will be there doing meet and greets and stuff like that. Um, and what else do I? All right, that's it. I have, I've had enough. I have to do it. I'm so sorry. Goodbye. Goodbye forever. Not forever, but you know, goodbye for a while. Can't go, sadly. That's okay. Okay, it's timeout time. Bye-bye. <laughs> uh, hey, thanks for the stream and enjoy your holiday. Thank you, Blank. And I hope you have a good one. Woo! I'm not actually leaving. Hold on. Wait, 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 wait. Relax, 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 relax. I was bye-byeing somebody else and putting somebody in timeout. Uh, unfortunately for them. Sorry! Sorry, I'm still here for a second. Ugh, I still got a little bit of time to chill. It could be a language barrier thing. That's understandable. But for now, timeout will have to be enough. And if that doesn't work, I mean, fuck it. I'll ban them. Show me it. All right. Uh, why am I... I can't... I'm trying to figure something out. One second. So my... Discord is doing that thing where the borders are outside of my window, so I can't resize it, so I can't see my DMs. But I think I'm getting a message, and it might be from a mane -san. So how to resize window. Oh. Oh. Ooh. So, 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 so. Alt plus space in the window can open up the window menu. Wow. How very cool. Okay, cool. Darn those tricky windows. I don't know why my computer keeps doing that. It does that thing where it'll like take the top bar outside the top of the screen and then it'll take the bottom bar and push it underneath the actual like toolbar. And then I can't activate my shit. And it's very annoying. Um, so what else did I want to say? I'm trying to think, I, I'm trying to cover all my bases because I'm going to say bye to you guys for a while after this. Well, for a day. And then I'm going to... Then the next stream is genuinely saying bye to you guys for a while. Um, there's something else I wanted to say. Ooh, I'm not cooking hard enough. I did want to tell you guys I'm not going to miss you no matter what. Oh, there's another one. All right, here we go. 24-hour timeout. That's, that's your little slap on the wrist. Bam! Did I want to say I hate you guys? Oh, I did forget to say I hate you guys. You're right. I hate you guys. I hate you so fucking much. You are the you are the fucking uh, most vile part of my lives. Every morning I wake up and I think about how much I would rather have not woke up when I think about you guys. <laughs> Thanks for my grab book club update. All the best for your family stuff and homework. Hey, thank you very much, Iwashi. <laughs> Iwashi, rather. A hammer! Don't hammer. I tell you, aren't you supposed to be in bed? You guys will be fine for a week. Don't be babies. It's not that long. Watch VODs. Be all right. Um, was there something else I wanted to say? Also, I mean, it might be more than a week. I don't know yet. It depends on, like, what happens with, uh, you know. I'm going to go see some family, and then I'm going to go see some friends, and it depends on how long I end up hanging out around the friends. So we'll see. I don't know yet. It also depends on how long my little hotel works out for. So I'm not saying it's going to be that long, but it might be a little bit, just so you know. It might stretch out just a bit past Sunday. Or Saturday, I guess, is when our weeks end. 
since I start mine on Sunday. I always mistake my schedules for other people's schedules because they start theirs on Monday, but I start mine on Sunday, so. Mm -hmm. Can I leave you the cardboard cutout decoy? Yeah, yeah, I'll, I'll leave a cardboard cutout as long as Octavio and Gerard and Goldie promise not to use the cardboard cutout to pretend to be me at any point. I will leave you with a cardboard cutout. How's that sound? Fair? Fair. I watched all the VODs! What am I gonna do? Uh, if you've already watched all of my VODs and every single bit of all of my stream content, like literally all the stream content I've put out, my suggestion is probably to seek medical help um, and or psychiatric. Uh, probably both, just in case. It's be best to cover all your bases. Uh, and then I would say you could create an imaginary friend version of me that streams indefinitely forever. <laughs> Bro, hit him with a get well soon. I never hit him with a get well soon. I hit him with a get worse soon. <laughs> I'm kidding. I'm kidding. Uh, I, if you've watched all my content, I'm sorry. I don't know what to tell you. Uh, you're going to have to make content, actually. Why don't you, you work, work on a creative enterprise? Why don't you work on some map of Imperium or do some world building or you can start reading the book for book club? You know, there's a lot of stuff you could get down to. Plus, all of my incredibly talented coworkers who I hate very much. God damn, those pieces of shit to hell forever. Uh, but they are sometimes pretty entertaining, I do have to admit. So, you know, you got that. Make clips, go re- Listen, I'm not saying you gotta make clips, but I do cherish when you make clips. I love uh, I love that because it means I could save myself looking at my own content for a while. Sometimes I watch my VODs and I'm like, ooh, because I see the parts where I feel like I'm going kind of slow or I'm not being very funny or I got quiet for too long. But if you guys just hit the highlight reel for me, I don't have to see all that. I just see the best parts. I'm like, nice, 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 nice. That's a good idea, Sia. <laughs> do whatever you just said you're going to do. I don't know what that means. But yeah, you make an entire comic series out of Mappa Imperium somehow. Ooh, not cheesy. You know what? Actually, maybe I take it back. No more clipping. You're done clipping. You're done clipping. I've had enough. Oh, she goes on break, forced to touch grass. It's the hardest moment of this VTuber's life. This just in. VTuber forced to go outside and touch sand. One of the hardest struggles of his life, he says. More on this at 11. We're going to have an individual interview with the Crimson Ruse. It's Crimson with a Z. Yes, the Crimson Ruse. <laughs> yeah it's also what it's, it's what i'm always running from i'm trying to get away from the sand so i don't have to go outside and touch sand or touch grass or whatever sand it's rough and it gets everywhere i hate sand <laughs> i haven't watched the star wars movies in forever not since I was a kid. What was I talking about? You guys keep getting me on my fucking sidetracks. Hold on. Let me think. I gotta, I gotta, I'm not gonna read what you're saying for a second. Cause I gotta, I gotta cook and really figure out what the fuck I was gonna say. I don't remember what I was going to say, guys. What'd you do? Why did you do this to me? It doesn't matter that much. I guess what I'll say is this. Uh, don't worry. I'm not leaving yet. Don't mourn my loss until I'm gone because uh, I'll be here Monday. And tomorrow I'm going to be doing a little bit of reading. I'm going to be doing some more JP studies because unfortunately I have fallen a little behind on that. I try to get to it every day, but, you know, there's days where it's just a gap because I'm in the middle of, like, cleaning and also preparing to go on this little trip and also getting all of my homework done, which I have fallen behind on. I will be doing the karaoke rebroadcast on Saturday, I believe. Uh, but I've got a lot of homework to do today and tomorrow, and then I've got a bit more packing and stuff to do. And then on... Monday, I'll be doing my final stream before I take my break, and then I'll come back, and then we'll act like nothing happened. And when I do come back, I will try to hopefully beat that record some point. At some point. I don't know. Maybe I'll save that for next month, actually. Maybe I shouldn't do that in March. That's packing a lot in. I mean, I've already got this trip, and then i got to do some regular content, and then i got to do another karaoke for this month. And then I've got my 
book club. Uh, uh, maybe I'll save that for next month. Maybe we'll do the whole. Uh, maybe we'll do the UU thing next month. Who else is gonna call me a dork? Clip me calling you a dork, and then here, let me. Get, okay, all right, all right, everybody, come here. Get real close, Crusaders. Come here. Get on the table. Hop on the table, little guy. There you go. All right, look at me. Look at me. Let's get this out of our system real quick, okay? <clears throat> I'm going to split these up so you can clip them. I hate you. You fucking dorks. You're cringe. You disgust me. You're the worst people I know. God damn, I can't stand you. Ugh. Gross. Crusaders. Okay, that should be enough, right? Yeah, great. Okay, clip those. Use them whenever you need them. That's your negative affirmation ASMR. Um, Octavio, I'm gonna I'm gonna leave you a list here. Uh, I need you to feed the Crusaders at 10 p.m. EST and 2 p.m. EST every day. Um, they don't like whole foods. Uh, they like squishy foods because it reminds them that their brain is mush rotted by the internet and TikTok. Um, Gerard, if you don't mind, I'm going to go ahead and add, I'm going to give you the responsibility of making sure that they don't get out. Every once in a while at about 2 a.m., they get what we call the Rosader Zoomies or the Rizumis, and they try to escape out of any opening in the building. So I need you to close all the windows, close all the doors. Uh, if you have to, you can lock them in their playpen and just put the roof on it. Uh, don't worry too much about that. Um, don't let them near any sharp objects. It's partially because they are a threat if they get a hold of them, but more so they're a threat to themselves. Uh, they uh, they shouldn't be let near any edges that aren't rounded. There's a good chance they'll just fall over and, you know, pop their little eyeballs out, unfortunately. Goldie, if you don't mind, can you take over making sure that their diet stays relatively consistent? I know I said to give them all soft foods, and that's true, but they do still need their proteins and their veggies. You can kind of blend it up and hide it under some cheese, and usually they'll eat that okay. Okay? Thanks, bud. Cool, that's the list. Uh, oh, also, don't forget to play their negative affirmations for them when they go to sleep. They have trouble sleeping without uh, hearing how much people hate them because they're a bunch of little weirdo masochists and freaks. Um, so make sure you do that, uh, you know, around bedtime, 5, 6 a.m., maybe 8 a.m., depending. Uh, you can let them stay up a little late on the weekends till like, uh, you know, noon, 2 p.m. Uh, try not to give them too much dairy. Uh, it's usually fine. But every once in a while, they uh, ruin Octavio's toilet reviews, if you know what I mean. Is there anything else I need to keep in mind about the Rosetas? Rosetas? Uh, let's see. We got the Rizumis. We got diet. We got bedtime. We got sharp objects. Oh, uh, sometimes they need to be stimulated. So you could play Subway Surfers or Minecraft at the bottom uh, while you're telling them things. Um, and if you want to, you can drop a little traumies on them. They love that. They love a little traumies. Honestly, it's kind of like dessert to them in a way. You know how there's like energy vampires that get power through other people like being annoyed at being around them? The Rosaders kind of get power by saying like real fucked up shit, but presenting it as a joke. You know what I mean? They kind of live vicariously through that energy. So if you can drop some of that on them just once in a while, that would work. Um, and if you want to let them play Fruit Ninja, don't. That's a trick and a trap. What you want to do is you want to use an actual axe and play IRL Fruit Ninja in front of them. Don't let them have the iPad. They will hack into every government building within the general vicinity and fuck up the infrastructure. So just get an axe out. Just cut up fruit in front of them. They love that. That's their Fruit Ninja. You can distract them with that all day. No problem. They'll watch that for hours. Um, oh, and if they offer you super chips, say yes. Just say it, and you don't have to eat it all or drink it all. Just, you know, just take a little of each so they don't get offended, and then put that to the side. They, they'll, they don't have object permanence. They will forget that it's on the side. Can we get more World of Warcraft hours on the computer while you're gone? Yeah, Soundwave, it's all yours. No problem. I think that's it. I think, we, I think we've covered the, um, I think we've covered the Rosaders now, right? Okay, cool. Dad, I want my iPad! No, no, iPad time is up. Now, wait a minute. No, you can't flow up yet. They're not even taking care of you yet. I'm leaving. I'm writing the list down. I'm going to leave it for them. Hold on. Let me get my papers. Okay, I'm writing my list down. And I'm going to leave it for everybody. I'm going to leave it for the other Armist boys, and they're going to take care of you. Okay? Okay. You hate us! I don't hate you. Stop. Relax. Man, I can't wait till Fleon's in a caretaker position so that someone's going to be like, You hate me! And Fleon's going to be like, Fuck. That's what it feels like, huh? Damn. <laughs> Damn. That's wild. 
Okay, so this has been eight hours of Minecraft. Well, technically it's been seven hours of Minecraft and 50 minutes of yapping. Uh, it's been eight hours of yapping, though. I can promise you that. It has been eight hours of me saying just fucking garbage and just endlessly spewing forth a cavalcade of, like, nonsense words that vaguely string together into a roughly coherent line if you're willing to zigzag a lot and make rough circles around things. Uh, I am going to take you over to Axel Senpai, who I believe is getting ready to start karaoke right now. So once again, I spoil the shit out of you little bastards. I've held out long enough to take you over to more entertainment. You're welcome very much. Stick around. You know you want to hear him singing. It's going to be fucking great. It's going to be a good time. And uh, yeah, there you go. I'm distracting you once again, which will give me enough time to abscond. See you in hell. Uh, I will see you Monday. Bye, Resaders. Bye. Rusaders, raid!